It is time. At long last. <laughs> After nerding out about Nier for how long? It's finally time for us to conquer this one. <laughs> oh, the nostalgia just from hearing that sound. I just know that this is gonna be so freaking good. Hi, everybody! Near Replicant, here we freaking go. I have not been able to shut up about this game ever since debut. Because I love Yoko Taro and I love his works and... Oh, I'm so excited that I finally get to play this. I'm so freaking excited. I should say, I am playing on the PC, which I have not done with Near Replicant before. I played it on PlayStation 4 initially. Like, you know, the remake version, the original with Papa Near. For the West, I played on the PlayStation 3. Was it PlayStation 3 or Xbox? I don't remember. I played the original Nier, at least. <laughs> mm. And as, I, as you can see, I, I am a little bit dressed for the occasion because, yay, we can use assets now so that they actually stick to us. All right, without further ado, shall we give this a try and hit new game? I think normal is good middle of the road. Ooh, let's see. Enter name. You guys want to go canon name? We, we, I, th I think we'll go canon name. At least, it's canon to me. In my, in my book, the protagonist is named Nier. It even says so on the Nendroid. It says Nier, so I'm, I'm gonna say Nier. Set your name is Nier? Yes. I want, oh god, the, the loading screen's gonna be so fast, I don't know if I'll be able to read those. It begins. Oh, I'm so freaking excited! There's the man, the myth, the legend! Also, for you guys going the music, you're gonna be doing that a lot. This game has amazing music! Not going full screen, Ike? Haven't decided yet, because I don't want to cover anything important. Twenty fifty three summer. Summer is looking a little bit different. Is this summer in Sweden? No, it's not. I take offense to that. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> Seems to be going through it. Oh, hi, hi there. Hello. <laughs> All right, they're just going to drop us right in here. Okay. Welcome to Nier. Oh, if you say so. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Whew. Oh, 
my Umi. Are they gone? Hey, you okay? I I think so. I'm sorry. <laughs> It'll stop in a second. I promise. <laughs> no, take care of yourself. Don't push yourself. But what about those monsters? Are they... Are they gonna come back for me? Don't worry, Yona. I won't let those things anywhere near you. Yona. <laughs> Sit tight. I'm gonna go see if I can find something to eat. What a good brother. <laughs> oh, and Yona. Yeah? Don't touch that book. Not ever. Got it? Got it. All right, let's make sure that nothing happens to Yona. Metal pipe to the rescue. Damn, how many of these things are there? They just keep coming. I won't let you lay a finger on Yona. Yeah, boy. Oh, well, that was short lived. Come on, get up, dude. Get up. I need more power. I need to protect Yona. Ooh. Ooh. Anybody play Bayonetta? Oh, and then the track Snow and Summer just starts. Mmm, <laughs> so good. <laughs> Look at that. We can use magic. Stay away from my sister. All right. Let's see if I remember how to play this. Okay, dark hand. Yep. Okay. So this is the power of the black book. I can give them just like really like really over the top magic like, backhands with this thing. Oh. Ouch. Oh nice, now we get the blaster too. Magic backhands. <laughs> oh, now they're adding layers to the song, too. Uh, dark execution. Woo! That's cool. God, I love this combat system. It's so satisfying. Oh, here come the boys. Ah. Oh. 
Dang, now the guys with projectiles are gonna come out. Oh, I missed him. <laughs> That's another thing. Bullet tail patterns. That's the thing we're gonna have to deal with. Okay, anybody else? Am I missing anybody? Oh, you're still alive. Oh, here we go. Best spell in the game. Oh, I love the lands so much. Level 10. Oh, great. Now we're dealing with flying boys. But thankfully, the lands has a new problem with these guys. Yoda. Oh, that's a big boy. Ouch. Okay, miss. Wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to parry. Oh, that's a lot of dudes. Just a few more hits. There we go. Oh no. Oh, I missed the attack gauge. It's okay. We'll just get it back. Ooh, nice. Get a miss in there. Ooh, close. Ah, there we go. And now. There we go. Easy peasy. <laughs> Yona, talk to me. It's okay. I'm fine. What about you? Ah, those guys were nothing. <laughs> okay, good. Hey. He's such way, a big brother. Look at this. I found it while you were gone. Wow. Is that a cookie? Here. We can split it. No, you take it. No. You need to eat too. Fine. I'll take the small half. No. Come on. You need to keep up your straight. <laughs> <laughs> Yona. What Yona. did you do? What happened? Oh no. I'm sorry. I dropped the baby. I didn't mean to. Yona? Why did you? We 
need help. Please, somebody, we need help. Help us! What a summer, huh? Yikes. That's rough. Oh, the music is so good. Kate Yokabe, I've seen him in person now. I'm <laughs> oh, I'm so, so excited about that. Oh, Yoda. That building in the distance there changes depending on where you're playing the game, I think. If you're playing a Japanese copy of this game, that's the, uh, the Tokyo Tower would be over there. And I think that if you play it in German, it's like the, the Berlin Broadcasting Tower or something like that. And now... 1,412 years later. All right. I'm sorry, what? What happened? You know, just a 1,400 year time skip, and these people are still somehow alive. Just something that happens, you know. Just roll with it. Better not. I'm probably going hunting. <sighs> okay. But I'll bring you back a book from the library, okay? Yay! Thanks! I'll see you later. Try and get some rest. I love these little segments because one thing that you'll come to know that this game does a lot is mix and match genres. For example, indoor segments like this happen on a 2D plane. Um, love you. Aww. <laughs> so that's kind of a neat thingy. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you so much. I should go to the library and see what Popola's up to. All right. Who is this Popola? I wonder. Uh, let's see. I think we might be able to do full screen. So let, let me try and fix that real quick. Let me get my my chat and slide it around a little bit. There we go, so we can go... We can go full, full story mode. There we go. I, th I think that works. I think that works alright. Oh my god, the music around here is so good. You can use mailboxes to save, save your progress. Okay. That's an, another thing that I like because you can you can find these mailboxes all over the game because it's just how you save the game. But it also kind of works as a story function because it's near sending letters home to Yona. That's how I prefer to view it at least. Whenever he's out and about. Lord knows what happened, but... Oh! Hold on. We're get, we're get, we gotta stay here for a bit. <sighs> so good. Sorry, I just had to.
But yeah, this is where we are now. This this is the village we're going to be in for more or less the rest of the game. Here's where we live now. If you're confused, don't worry. <laughs> Just roll with it. We're going to have a good time here. We are going to have a very good time. Oh, hello. She's doing. She's doing. I can only imagine what it feels like to hear all these songs live. It was incredible. Hopefully, we have a bunch of near newcomers in chat. So after this, you all will be changed just as the people who have played this before. So every time you hear any of the music pieces for th this game, you're just gonna get all emotional. Devil and Popola came to keep me company today. They even sang a song. It was great. I need to practice so I can sing for Nier when he gets back. Oh. The soundtrack, man. Good morning. How's Yona doing today? So this is Popola. Okay. Her cough's still pretty bad. Mm, that's worrisome. I know. I appreciate that every single line is voice acted. I keep hoping she'll at least get a little better, but I don't know. I feel like I'm failing her. Oh, stop that. You're the finest brother a girl could hope to have. Anyway, I was hoping you might take care of this for me. I got a request from someone in the shopping district. They need you to get some mutton from the Northern Plains. Got it. I'm on my way. Mutton? Okay. Since you're going to the Plains, let me give you a map. Trust me, it'll come in handy. Okay, good to know. Oh, and one more thing. Would you mind purchasing three medicinal herbs from the client while you're at it? Muttons, medicinal herbs. I used my last one earlier. Okay, I got that. Here's some money. Popola, this is way too much. Well then, buy some for Yona while you're at it. You don't have to... It's okay. Really. That's kind of sweet. Thanks, Popola. For everything. Clearly, if he and Yona seem to be living alone. I'm assuming their parents aren't alone, around anymore. And I guess Nier is just doing odd jobs around the town to support them but the town is just happy to like help them out and let him do work and give him money for his troubles so he can feed both, both himself and his sister what's this all about just the way you and the other villagers always take care of us yeah pretty much what i was saying we really appreciate it is all <laughs> think nothing of it people need to look out for each other right besides Everyone here wants to see Yona healthy and happy. So hang in there, okay? I will. Aww. I was like, yes, we are sticking with the, the English voices because I think that the English voices for this game is absolutely fantastic. Usually we tend to go like English subtitles and then like JP language to make it as accessible for as many people as possible. But I'm kind of nostalgic for this one and I really love the English performances. So apologies for that. We're, we're gonna stick with the English dub. Yona? What the heck are you doing out? Yona? Oh, hey. Yona, you're supposed to be in bed. See, now your ribbon's all undone. I'm sorry. I just thought I'd see if the library had any books about how to cure my sickness. Yona. Look, don't worry. You're gonna be fine. You just need to eat and rest. If you take good care of yourself, you'll get better. You really think so? I know so. Anyway, mm -hmm. I've got work to do, so I need you to head home. Deal? Deal. Maybe we can do JP uh, subtitling for JP viewers. I don't think I can do that without changing the entire game into Japanese, and I am not that good at Japanese. Unfortunately, I wish there was one where I could just press a button. People say the world is dying. Populations continue to fall while plague and disease run rampant. 
If that wasn't enough, monsters called Shades now roam the land as well, threatening our very lives. But I can't let any of that distract me. My sister is sick, and my only goal is to ensure that the two of us survive. It's not easy for a pair of kids to live on their own. Mm -hmm. But the villagers have been kind to us, and despite everything, somehow I feel like we're gonna be okay. We have to be. There's no other choice. That's one thing I really like about this setting, is that it looks very much like a fairly standard, like, sort of fantasy setting. Like, with the clothes, the environments, the architecture and everything. But it's set towards such a bleak, contextual backdrop. Like, this world is dying. The world is ending. This is the post-apocalypse. Yet everything seems fine. Like, people are, are having families, having works, like, going about their day-to-day -day business. It's just... I don't know. I don't see this setting too often. Alright, let's go get some mutton. Today, Popola sent me a new book about a giant big tree. I really hope it has a happy ending. There's nothing worse than a sad tree. Yeah, that is, isn't that why people hug trees? Gotta make sure that the trees aren't sad. Okay, lock on. Press R. Okay, so we have a lock on feature. That's good. I'm sorry. Okay, there's our first piece. Vijay Makawata, yeah! The fields have their own theme. Oopsie daisy. Confidant, no! Oh, I'm sorry, Confidant! It's nothing personal! I was just told to get some for the village! I'm sorry! I'm really, really sorry. Don't tell Futon. What are shades doing so close to Oh town? crap. Oh, level two, let's go. I had no idea shades were loose so close to the village. Oh my god, the, my footprints! Jesus, please, near, wipe your shoes. Okay, I needed to buy medicinal herbs too, so let's remember that. Oh, I'm so sad I'm covering the loading I can't screen. Even go hunting in peace anymore. In case you missed the loading screen, it's uh, a silhouette of Yona walking. Time to get this meat to the shopkeeper. Just running through this village with this soundtrack playing is just so oddly calming. Here's that mutton you wanted. Oh, thank you. You wouldn't believe how popular this stuff has been lately. Oh, and this isn't much, but I'd like you to have it. There wasn't blood from the, in the shades earlier, if I remember correctly. It was either the shades or the sheep. And tell Popola I said thanks, okay? You got it. I think Popola wanted three medicinal herbs. Yeah. Okay. Make sure you stock up on necessities before heading out to hunt. Let's see, medicinal herbs, how much are they? Okay, they're fairly affordable. I'm gonna get five. Why not? Come back anytime. That was blood? I thought it was just effects. No, 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 no. It's blood. This game is quite bloody. It's arguably even more bloody in the original. <laughs> because then there's like smoke puffs of blood just spewing out of everybody. The amount of blood is, like, a little bit comical, <laughs> admittedly.
Hmm. The loading screens are so sweet that it, that it's just Yona's diary. These books speak of ancient technology far beyond anything we could ever imagine. What could have happened to this world? Hmm. I do wonder. Here we go. I did your little questy quest. I delivered the mutton. Oh, and here's your herbs. Great. That should help with the food shortage. And thanks for the herbs, too. That's all for today. You should hurry back to Yona. Thanks. Neat. It's tomato, not blood. Yeah, you can. We can. We can say that if it makes people feel better. Director Yokotaro loves blood, rage, and madness. You know, very true. Okay, let's go check on Yona. Yona, Yona, Yona. Maybe strawberry. Now you. Now you made me want strawberry jam. How dare you? Welcome home. How'd it go today? Anything exciting happen? Cause I just stayed here all day like you told me to. I tried reading books, but I finished all of them. Aw, then we'll get you some new books. So if you have any fun stories, you should tell me. Hmm. Well, Popola told me about a legendary flower called a Lunar Tear. Have you heard of it? Lunar Tear? Huh. That's a silly name. What? I like it. I guess. But people say finding one will make you rich beyond your wildest dreams. If I ever found one, I'd buy you so many cookies your stomach would hurt. Could a Lunar Tear make me better? Sure. With that kind of money, we could buy the best medicine around. The kind that'll cure anything. Hmm. Uh, Yona? What's wrong? It's nothing. Good night. Aw. The next morning. Okay, I'm off to Popolis. See you later. Another day, a rise and grind. And please stay out of trouble today, okay? Okay. Don't you okay me? You snuck out to the library yesterday. Okay, time to do another days of work to support this little household we have got going here. Another great day of touching grass. Hold on. There's no crouch button, but if I jump from high enough, I can touch grass. There, I touched grass. You didn't see it, but... <laughs> I assure you, I did touch grass. Imagine being that acrobatic that you can just, like, spring jump over something like that. I'm gonna learn how to make awesome food for Nier. I better start working on a new secret recipe. Okay, when somebody says that they're working on a secret recipe, you can either expect to eat some of the most life-changing food that you have ever thought of, or you're gonna eat the most life-changing food that you can ever imagine. There is no in-between. Hey, Popola. Need a hand with anything? I do have something, but I don't know. It's going to be a bit of an ordeal. I'm sure I can handle it. I admire the confidence. Aren't you confident? Is it what she said? Uh, well, you know the little wooden bridge out in the northern plains, right? The one where the pillars all rotted out? Exactly. We had a team of carpenters working on it, but they were attacked by shades. Wait, really? But it's so sunny there. Oh, okay, so they can't stay in the sun. Okay. Well, they're- oh, of course, they're called shades. Makes sense. Yes, I know. Apparently, it was overcast that day, and the shades caught them off guard. One of the carpenters was seriously injured, but they can't move him so long as the shades are there. I'll go take him out. If you're up for it. 
It could be really dangerous. I'll be fine, Popola. I've been training every day. I'm as strong as anyone in the village. Heck, I killed a bunch of shades by the village gate just yesterday. Oh? That's a bit disconcerting. Anyway, are you sure you want to take this job? He's very confident. Hmm. I mean, good for him, I guess. Yep, I got this. As long as, you know, it doesn't backfire because, you know, hubris is very much a real thing. Popola's voice sounds familiar. Yeah, this game has a lot of really prolific voice actors, so you're probably going to hear many familiar voices, especially a little bit later. We're going to meet someone that if you, you watched English dubbed anime in the mid 2000s, you have absolutely heard before. Oh, there's a little thingy over here. What do we got? Oh, we got some berries. Yum. Oh, wait. Another thing. Mine. Medicinal herbs are gonna be our friends. You don't have fall damage? Pog. Exactly. No fall damage. Thank God for that. I don't like fall damage in games. Zach Aguilar is uh, near is perfect. Yeah, I think Zach does a really, really good brother near. This entire cast is just aces all across the board. Okay, there's the bridge they were talking about, right? Oh, yep. Yeah, here's here's the shades. Oh, crap. I thought I blocked. Ow. Maybe I should dodge, dodge more than parrying. Clearly, I don't know how to do it. Oh, never mind. We leveled up. We're fine. Okay. That's all of them. That should take care of the shades for a while. Okay, that wasn't so bad. I am going to give you guys a heads up. There are quite a few side quests that I am going to be doing. Some of them a little bit tedious, but it's going to be worth it. Also, there is a side quest line that is going to take us a while, but it's going to be okay because it features something that is important in every single video game released ever. Let me ask you this, chat. What is the number one thing that determines if a video game is good? What is the number one thing? If you you want if you want your video game to be good, what do you need? That's right, you need a fishing mini game. I'm so proud of you. Of course you know you need a fishing mini game if you want your game to be good. Popola, we cleared up the bridge. You're back. Hey, Popola. Did everything go all right? Were you hurt? Nah. I'm fine. Oh, thank goodness. I was so worried. I felt like I sent you into a really dangerous situation, and if something had... Popola, look at me. I'm fine. I know, it's just... I'm just relieved is all. Oh, she cares. Oh, here. Those carpenters left some money for you. Wow, thanks. How much did we get? Go buy something nice for Yona, okay? Ooh, a thousand gold. Oh, speaking of Yona, she... What? Oh, whoopsie daisy. She was supposed to stay home. Yona came by here this afternoon. I think it's okay. She just wanted to ask me a question. About what? She was asking about the outside world. You mean outside the village? Exactly. She seemed excited, too. Poor thing was talking a mile a minute. Huh. She's probably been getting nutty ideas from some book again. Don't worry. I made sure to remind her she isn't allowed beyond the gates. Thanks. But she was worried about you. So you'd better hurry home. Yeah, I will. Thanks again. 
Okay. Well, as long as she knows she's not allowed beyond the gates, everything should be fine, right? Like, Yona's a smart kid, and she knows. The subtle book slander? It's not the only time we're gonna be hearing book slander, that's for sure. <laughs> If you know, you know. Where is Yona? Yona? Where'd she go? Maybe she's still at the library. Okay, library? That's where we found her last time. It's okay, don't panic. Let's just check the library. Yona, you in here? She was to the left here. No. There's nobody here. Doesn't look like she's here. I'd better go ask Popola. So, yeah, Popola, we got a problem. Hey, Popola, I can't find Yona. Well, we can start to panic now. Yeah, maybe a little bit. Really? You have any idea where she might be? She stopped by earlier today, but that was a while ago. Did she say anything? She just asked if I knew where lunar tears grow. <sighs> She's so cute. Oh. I told her how they used to grow around the Lost Shrine long ago. Oh, no. Why is Yona asking about Lunar Tears? I, I wonder, my guy. <sighs> oh, crap. What's wrong? Yesterday, I told her that story about how Lunar Tears can make you rich. Oh. Then we got to talking about how we could use the money to buy medicine to make her better. You don't think she... I think that's exactly what she did. I have to go find her. What's the fastest way to the Lost Shrine? Through the Eastern Gate. Got it. Thanks. Okay, we can panic. Panic time is officially a go. Yona, I have to get to the eastern gate. Eastern gate, east, 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 east. This should be east, right? Come on, come on. What do we got here? What's that? Yona's ribbon. I can't believe this. She really went to the Lost Shrine. Well, guess that's me. That means we are also going to the Lost Shrine. The flags are all there. It's okay. We just gotta be fast about it. Ooh, something shiny. Okay, not the time. Yona. Ow! Let's go. How dare you! Listen, I was just minding my business, and you had to go make it personal! See, now I've lost a little bit of my health there. You good? I, I'm fine. I'm just... Why? I didn't do anything. Revenge of the confidence. Okay, you know what? You got me there. Look at this rock slide. Every time you're entering a new level, a new song is added to my playlist. Hell yeah. There's no way Yona could have made it past here. Maybe she found some other way in. Hmm. I do wonder. Also, <laughs> ladders are a suggestion. Ooh. Whew. 
That bridge does not look very trustworthy. I saw somebody say, seriously, guys? One handrail? <laughs> I mean... It's kind of there, I guess. Yeah, you, you, you could put your hand there. Okay, actually, this bridge is a lot bigger than it looked. Th this is not so bad. This bridge looks a lot better than I thought. Ooh, speaking of sad trees... I don't know if this is a sad one, but that's a big tree. Oh, I really, really love the soundtrack. All the words, by the way, are complete gibberish. It's a made-up language that was cooked together by w one of the singers for the soundtrack. The BGM, I know, it's so good. I'm never gonna shut up about it. What do we got? Rule number one, break all the boxes in any sort of game remotely similar to this. There might be items in there. I'm coming, Yoda. Oh, got a bronze key. Oh, the harmonies. Oh, now we're doing top down. There are shades here too? Because of course there are. She'll never make it out of here. I like how you can hear the strings just come in and just be like, oh my god, intense battle music, and then just, oh, never mind, it's over. Ow. That was a sparkly boy. Oh, so good. Are you going to any of the near orchestras? I've already been. I went and it was awesome. Oh, I can't make it up here. Dang it. Knock, knock. Anybody home? There we go. What do we got over here? Medicinal herb? Don't mind if I do, actually. Uh, let's use that to heal a little bit, actually. I'm totally not jealous. Sorry. Hey, I keep hearing about others going to Miku concerts and whatnot. Let me have this. I don't get to go th to things very often because it's always so freaking far away. What do we got here? We got the one-handed sword Nirvana dagger. Okay, let's change our weapons. Hey, would you look at that? By the way, some of the weapons are from Drakengard. Anybody remember that? The explaining Drakengard stream? They broke my guard. Woo! Ow.
There we go. Thank goodness for medicinal herbs. And they're very common too. I've yet to listen to your Drakengard stream, but as a Drakenir fan, I know what you're talking about. Yeah! That was a fun time. I think that's where my whole spice journey started too. That's when I really started liking spicy stuff. Oh, hello there. Please and thank you. I was worried there for a second. I was ready to parry, but then he died. I can never tell, like, when I'm allowed to go through or not. Thank you. Excuse me. I watched a video essay of the entire lore. Kind of jealous of Drakengard OGs. Dude, it's... It makes me very sad that I cannot experience that for the first time blind ever again. Because things just hit different back in the day. Like, especially when I was younger, it always felt like whenever you played a game, you were exploring, like, this entire untapped world where you weren't really sure where there might be a secret or where something might be or what is and isn't possible because data mining or, like, looking up things online wasn't super common back then. Okay, looks like we're near the top now. Yeah, here we go. Looks like you can get outside from here. Perfect, that's exactly what we want. I'm kind of miss that arrow gaming. I know, right? It's like when whenever there was like a rumor or something, like a playground rumor about a game. That sort of arrow mystique. Like for example, I know this is like really really like long long while ago. But I know that people always talk about the rumor of, of Mew being under the truck in the Pokemon Generation 1. Or how in Ruby and Sapphire, if uh, in Moss Deep City at the Space Center, if you waited for a hundred rockets to launch, you would get the option to board in rocket number 100 and you would go to the moon and get Deoxys or Jirachi. Things like that, you know, things that sounded awesome but weren't true. Why is the bathtub here? The church in Automata. <laughs> oh my god. Honestly, I loved that whole saga. The church saga was my favorite thing. Because everybody was so baffled. Once again, for any near newcomers that have no idea what we're talking about, don't worry. Everything will become clear to you within time. Just... Enjoy the journey with us. That ladder's broken. Stay away I from spoilers. Get up there if I had something to stand on. And we'll all be able to enjoy a thrilling tale together. I am worrying. Don't worry. I, I assure you it's going to be okay. Whoop. Nice. Also, mailboxes heal you, so we have that going for us as well. Hi, Hajimete Nunia this. Nice. Enjoy your stay. Yoda! There she is! What is it with these things? Excuse me, could you please leave me be? I would greatly appreciate it. Are you... Oh, they're not attacking me. Okay. Give her back! Get out of my way! Give me 
my sister back! Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so ready. Introducing Ike's favorite character. is holy would you please stop pounding me <laughs> then move yoda by the heavens i have never been treated in such a manner liam o'brien yes being of incalculable importance and yet you approach me as a common cockroach i just realized something about the chat excuse me i'm just gonna do that so you guys can read the dialogue Say something! Oh, a little bit lower, I guess. A little bit lower. Like so. That should be alright. That's better. Yoda! <sighs> this is why I loathe dealing with people. The mysterious book joined you. There. So how do we save Yoda? Once I destroy these shades, the magic barrier preventing your passage should simply disappear. You can really do that? <laughs> I am Grimoire Vice. My very name brings kingdoms to their knees. Then do it already, Vice! <laughs> you will refer to me by my full and proper name. Yes, Grimoire Vice. You should not have turned your place on me, foul creatures. With a single word, I, Grimoire Vice, will shatter the very universe itself. Now, prepare to... Prepare to... Uh, uh, yes? Uh, oh dear. Oh dear? It seems that the frantic bludgeoning you gave me earlier has caused my memory to escape me. Are you for real? Sorry, I didn't mean to hit you that hard. Oh, obtained a sealed verse. Obtained dark blast. Okay, okay, okay. Nice magic. Let's go. Uh, did you just suck the blood out of those things? Okay. Okay. You all right, Vice? Hang in there. It would seem I can regain my powers by defeating these monsters. Then we'll just do that. Is this magic? Magic indeed. This is the true. Ow! I'm getting knocked around. Hold on, Yona. I'm coming. Okay, thank God. We're done. Alrighty. Okay, maybe we're not done yet. These guys are called Hansel and Gretel. It seems our task is going to be more difficult than I first envisioned. Oh God. Ooh. These foolish creatures charge heedlessly into battle. Still, dealing with both of them at once may prove to be a daunting task. Ooh, please do not hit me with that. That sounds bad. Oh, okay, they're gonna alternate. Okay. Like I said, bad. That said, the enemy cannot move so long as the barrier is in place. Focus your attacks Ooh. on the Haha, you missed me. Ah, 
Haha. Talking fucking moving statues? Really? This is all too real, lad. Lad. Oh, Jesus, I did not know he was going to do that. Ha, you missed me. Watch their blades at all costs. Oh, there we go. Now, put it out of its misery. I'm trying. There we go. Oh, we're using spears now? Oh my god, careful! You literally just learned magic. Please don't hurt anyone with it. Okay, now we get Dark Lands. Learn the pattern of its shots, then finish it off. I've got my hands full just dodging. Is this more of your power? It would seem so. Are you Ow. sure you know what you're doing? It's fine, trust him. Ouch. There we go. Nice. Okay, we got it. Woo! Oh, that's a lot of spears. Ooh! Ooh! They did not like that. They are not but a horde of faceless minions. Swat them aside. He's so high and mighty. <laughs> oh god, that broke my guard outright. Focus on the small ones first. I know, I'm trying! Come on. Ow. That statue does not look happy. Anger is but a form of negative energy. Nothing to fear. Oh, God. One, two! This one excels in close combat. Keep your distance. Time to okay. <sighs> that should be it. Okay, I don't think they should get up after that. Okay. Easy peasy. Yona! Okay, now the magic is gone at least. <coughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I just wanted to help. I'm the one who's sorry. You must have been scared out of your mind. Are you okay? Aww. Ooh, we gotta get out of here. <clears throat> Perhaps we'd best depart. Hmm? I agree with the talking book. The shrine's about to collapse. Come on, Yona. Let's. Oh, <laughs> let. Accidentally hit skip.
Okay. At least we made it out. But we're not getting back in there for a while. You're faster than I thought. I tried. I really did. But I couldn't find a lunar tear. I'm so sorry. I, I just wanted to make you rich and get rid of this disease. I'm sorry. Don't worry about... Oh. Go on. Oh no. This again? Yeah. The Black Scrawl. Is that what we're calling it? Okay. When did this happen? The weird coughing started about a month or so ago. The disease curses the afflicted with strange runic symbols that gradually spread over the entire body. And I fear it is fatal. Hmm. Yeah, I know. Oh, Yona. Come. It's best to let her sleep. Well, that sucks. This is so unfair. Yona hasn't done anything. Why do terrible things keep happening to us? I would gladly help the lass had I the means to do so. One moment. I'm gonna go open a window because it's getting way too hot in this booth. I'll be right back. She's just a little kid. She doesn't deserve this. I return. Hopefully things will get a little bit more cool now. <sighs> Oof. Welcome back. Thank you. Tadaima. Okay. Let's see. Uh, where do we go now? Oh, I guess we can check with Devila. You're back. I was worried about you. I heard you went through the Eastern Gate and... Wait, is that a book? Yeah, it's... Now see here, I am Grimoire Vice and you will treat me with the proper respect. Yes, Vice, we heard you. Wait, you're Grimoire Vice? Oh, that is so cool. Hold on, what? You know him? Of course. He's the white book I was just singing about. Oh. 
He's in your song? Yeah, the Song of the Ancients. It's an old tune that's been passed down through generations of villagers. Song of the Ancients? It's in a forgotten language, so I doubt you could make much sense out of it. There's a dog next to me. Do you know what it means? Well, it's not like I studied it or anything. But there's this terrible Oops. black book that shows up and starts spreading disease all over the place. But then this white book appears and saves the world and everyone's happy. You know how it goes. The black book that spreads disease, that's probably the one we saw earlier. Can you pet the dog? <sighs> as ashamed as I am to say, in this peak game, you can unfortunately not pet the dog. What is it? Uh, it's nothing. So how exactly does this white book save the world? It's just a song, yeah? I don't really know the details. Oh. Aw, don't be sad. Uh, look, why don't you go ask Popola? If she's got a big brain, maybe she knows something. That's a good idea. Thanks. All right. Ah. Uh. A white book, a black book, and a disease. Is something the matter? No, I was just thinking. Oh, I never get enough of it. So let's see what's the deal about this thing with vice. Would you sing Song of the Ancients if you could? I would give a, give it a try, but I don't know how to sing in Chaos language. I heard about Yona. I I don't know what to say. I'm so sorry. Well. Maybe you can help. What do you know about the song that Devilo was singing? Wait, is that Grimoire Vice? You know Vice? Finally. Someone who appreciates quality when they see it. <laughs> I love Vice so much. He, <laughs> he always cracks me the heck up. Yes, well, the Song of the Ancients. Let's see. Okay, let's hear out. Hear out. What about... When the great black book, Grimoire Noir, brings calamity upon the world. The white book, Grimoire Vice, will appear with his sealed verses. He will then use them to vanquish Grimoire Noir and purge the calamity he wrought. Okay, I, I'm covering things. Maybe we need to go back to What's not full screen. Verse? No such records remain, so I can't say for sure. But they seem to resemble some form of magic. No, don't? Okay. Magic. And that's it. It's good. It's fine. Are you guys sure? I'm, I was covering the subtitles. Are you guys going to be okay? It's okay. All right. If you guys say so. Uh, what is? So the song says Grimoire Vice purchased the world of this calamity, right? And he does so using these sealed verses. Oh, and do you believe the matter I infused in the shrine is one of these sealed verses? Exactly, Vice. With your power, we can cure Yona. Guys, don't get too excited. This is just some old legend. I mean, it's an old legend in this sort of place where magic and myths are clearly a thing. I feel like it's reasonable. Hey, Vice was just some old legend yesterday, but here he is. That's true. And if he's real, the rest of it must be too. He can cure the Black Scrawl. I know he can. Do we know anything regarding the whereabouts of this Grimoire Noir? Sorry, but there's nothing about that in any of the records. All I can say for sure is that there are a number of sealed verses out there. And we just gotta get the sealed verses, right? Also, it appears the shades you fight and these verses are intrinsically linked. 
Then we'll go kill every shade we can find. No, that's far too dangerous. What an absurdly reckless plan. So I should just sit around and do nothing while Yona suffers? I don't think so. But, uh, well, it's clear I won't be able to talk you out of this, so... I've heard the Shades are gathering near a village called the Airy. The Airy? It's past the bridge on the Northern Plains. They should be done with the repairs by now. <laughs> Absolutely a reckless plan. I marked it on your map for you. Maybe you could find one of the sealed verses there. Hmm? Once you arrive, be sure to speak to the village chief. He lives in the house up on the highest point in the Airy. Got it. Highest point in the Airy. And be careful. I will. Okay, to the Airy. Hmm. I think that... Oh, okay, we can start doing quests now. There's one quest that I, I need say, to do. That song of the ancients is a rather catchy number. <laughs> I can see why the bards kept it alive through the eons. Yeah, it's a real toe tapper. Wait, do you even have toes? <laughs> Excellent question. Very catchy oh, number. The gods are here. We've got trouble. What kind of trouble? There's a wild boar in the northern plains who started attacking villagers. The victims all made it back, but who knows if we'll be so lucky next time. So you want me to go take care of it? Yes, and we'll be sure to pay you well. Hold on. I think that we can put the chat in a little bit better of a place. Let's see. Uh, there's the chat. Okay. Let me plop you guys over here. I think this might be better. There we go. Accept the quest? Yeah, sure. Boar hunt. Sounds good to me. Oh, and a word of advice. Once you kill it, make sure you take a boar tusk. Let's just say it'll come in handy. Okay. Books have ears? They do? That's news to me. W w okay, enlighten me. Where does a book have ears? Where do you put them? Because I'm looking and I don't see it. We're above Ike. <laughs> the covers? Really? You're 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 gonna tell me that Vice listens with his covers? You can save Yona, Vice. Heck, maybe you can save the whole world. Can I though? I wonder. I guess I won't use you for kindling after all. You really should treat omnipotent magical beings with more respect. <laughs> they bicker like an old married couple and it's my favorite thing. We're gonna be here for a little while. This boar, we're gonna have to kill it. And that's gonna take us a while. But there's a point to it. Trust me. I have a point with this. Hey, it's a wild boar! Have you the skill to hunt one of those down? I don't know. They look pretty strong. Yeah, this is this is gonna take a while. <sighs> this is impossible! I don't mind side quests, it's just that it's a little bit too early for me to do this, but I'm gonna do it anyways. It's just gonna save us a lot of time, trust me. Is the boar tanky AF? Absolutely it is. Come at me, come at me. Come here. 
cheeser. Hey, if it works, it works. And what's wrong with cheese? I love cheese. Oh god, jump! Woo! For some reason, the jump button didn't work there, so I got a little bit scared. Come at me. Uh huh. Okay, come back at me. This is gonna take a little bit longer. Okay, nice, that worked. There we go! Took us a while, but now we got it. Alright, cool. Now we can keep going. Pig is tankier than my depression. Jesus Christ. You wanna hug? It's okay. Just ask. <laughs> we don't mind we don't mind hugs here. <laughs> this it appears to be deserted hmm what do we got here ooh that's pretty okay let's see the village chief is what we were looking for the highest point of the area I believe Oh, mailbox. <whistles> One thing about this uh, remake or remaster of Nia Replicant, they redid the soundtrack. And while some tracks I think sound fantastic in their new versions, there's some per, uh, versions where I prefer the, o, uh, the OG version from the 2000, 2010 release. This song is one of those. Because in the original, it fe I felt like there was like a choir of male singer doing the chants, like the low chants. Whereas in this, it sounds like one or two guys just going, bum. <laughs> See what I mean? It just sounded... A little bit more full in the original. The area is a creepy place. I agree. This this place gives me the creeps. This is a weird place for a village. How are we supposed to reach the chief's house? Uh, I assume using that bridge. Oh, shades. Oh, obtain words. Oh, that's another thing. You can obtain words and then apply words to your magic and weapons. And also you gain tutorials from enemies too, for some reason. Another one of those things that I'm just not gonna question. Who builds a village on the walls of high cliffs? Apparently these guys. Oh, okay, he fell off the edge. Goodbye. Was there... Oh, excuse me. Was there a choir at the concert too? Yes, there was. It was a live choir. Is anyone even here? And it sounded awesome. You don't trust your kind. You don't trust your kind? What's that supposed to mean? Excuse me, part of me coming through. Oh, there's the bullet help. Magic. Did 
the magic is a little bit obsolete because the best way to counter magic, you can just slice right through it. And when you slice right through it, it also refills your own mana. So if you're ever low on magic, just slice some enemy bullets and you'll be fine. about the sealed versus he's just like her like kindly well, like who is to be a glorious waste of time the villagers here don't seem to be too keen on me this must be the chief's house who goes there uh, well we're be gone strangers wait listen to no Leave this village at once and never return. Okay, dang. What a pathetic bunch of a rebel. Alright, well, this was a giant waste of time. It would appear there are no powerful shades here. The sealed verses would never be found in such a place. Yeah. Let's go talk to Popola and figure out a new plan. What did I miss? Uh... Not a lot, but also a lot. We've only been playing for like an hour and a half, but in that hour and a half, a lot has happened. Oh well, we tried. Let's just grab our meteorite and leave, as one does. Vice destroy his front door. <laughs> the thing is, I don't think Vice would say no to that. The thing we checked out earlier. It feels like it's been 30 minutes. I don't blame you. This time flies with this game. Nice flowers. Oh, are those lunar tears? What is that drawing? Those are lunar tears. Legendary flowers of almost perfect beauty. You're kidding. Those are the ones I told Yona about. Somebody has found enough of them to make a necklace. Hands off the flowers. <coughs> uh, Vice, why is that lady in her underwear? I fear we have greater issues to deal with. Ooh. Wait, is she a shade? Oh, okay, okay. I guess we're fighting. Sorry about this. Son of a bitch. I knew this would happen. The mouth of this lady. Stop dodging. This woman is certainly not to be trifled with. Okay, if you want to be difficult, here, I can do this. Can you do this? Thought so. Did we get her? You okay? Are we gonna keep doing this? Oh. Okay, so you can do that. Never mind. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I just looked over at chat. <laughs> you guys need to calm down. Heck. <laughs> By my pages, the girl wields magic. Yay! Doesn't matter. Oh, okay, here we go. Everybody, this is Hook. We don't like Hook. Uh. 
Ugh, that's gross. Look at those dangly things. Oh, come on. Are you serious? Oh my god, Jesus. What the heck is going on here? Beware the shockwave. Yeah, I got you. I got you. He's mine, you idiots! Okay. It would appear we are not the focus of our anger. Guess not. At least we can be unified against this guy. Ow, that didn't go well. That's one. Are you just going to stay up there then? Okay. Just spat something out. Doesn't matter. Too? I can shoot him out of the air. Doesn't matter. I didn't know shades could get that big. Whoa, god. Ow, ow. Like nothing you've encountered before. Ouch. Ready or god. She said the thing. I'm gonna pull out your teeth and cram them up your ass. That woman's mouth is as fierce as her sword work. <laughs> Let's yeah. just focus on defeating this thing. What he said. Oh damn, ma'am, she's yeah, kinda has quite quite the vocabulary. As you will come to know. Come on, give me the circle thing. Oh crap. There it is. And we're done. Finish your time. As someone who has hit a potty mouth, she sounds just like me. Okay. Okay, are you gonna buzz off now? Ooh! Um, thanks. I told you to stay out of the way. Watch out, Kaine. Nice hit. Right in the eye. Okay, he's leaving. Back here. Yeah. The symbols are disappearing. Huh. Is she human? This one has been possessed by a shade. Why is her dress shade so revealing? God, there is a reason Martha. for it. I feel bad for treating her like one of those things. We have to help her. Oh, we got dark hand. Nice. You're awake. There is a reason? Yes. The first uh, the first couple of reasons are story related and in my opinion make a lot of sense. The second reason Yokotaro really likes girls. The man likes his girls. Let him like his girls. You. I'm sorry we attacked you. We thought you were a shade. 
Well, you're half right. Now get the hell out of here. Now see here. We made our apologies and came to your aid. The least you can do is grace us with your name. <sighs> it's okay, Vice. She's probably just exhausted. Brother Nier is so polite. That's one thing that's interesting about Nier Replicant and uh, the original Nier for the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360, also known as uh, Nier Gestalt, which features Papa Nier instead of Brother Nier. The way that they speak is very different. Papa Nier does not take crap from anybody. He is very blunt and very to the point. Whereas Brother Nier is a lot more wide-eyed, thinking of the best in people, and like, a borderline naive. He's very polite. Dude, the song is beautiful, I know. Kaine's theme is beautiful. My name's Kaine. Ah, the name we heard back in the village. Look, nothing good is gonna happen if you stick with me. So do like I said and go. Laura Bailey as Kaine is so good. Papa Nier is so macho. I love Papa Nier. One more thing. That monster back there, it's mine. Stay the hell away from it. Yona as a daughter always felt more compelling narrative-wise. I agree. I 100% agree. I think that the narrative between, uh, of a father trying to save his daughter is a lot more compelling. But I think that other things that the replicant does, different from Gestalt, I makes it feel the overall more co cohesive narrative when placed in the timeline with the, the rest of Yoko Taro's works. Papa Nier is literally the father that showed up. <laughs> For real. She's kind of pretty, but she's really intense. <laughs> is something awakening in Nier? She's kind of pretty, but really intense. Do I like that? <laughs> and let's see. Let's go check on Yona. I'm worried about Yona. Let's go see how she's doing. Only kind of? <laughs> I see that you guys are on the same page as Brother Nier. It's good to have a relatable protagonist, don't you agree? <laughs> Excuse me? Now... I need to go deliver this boar tusk to the guy in the village. That shade. I'm certain of it. Maybe. But there's no way we can take that thing on now. I need to get stronger. I think we were doing pretty okay against it. Are you sure you can't take it? But yeah, I love Pop on here. I'm one. I'm a Papa Nier defender. Even though Replicant is my preferred version of the game, I ha I have a soft spot for Papa Nier. Okay, we gotta find that guy in town so we can get the boar tusk delivered. I love a woman that hates me. Are you guys okay? Hunted down the boar. Oh, thank you. And it looks like you found a boar tusk, too. They say boars become tame around folks who carry one of those. Ooh, handy. Apparently, they'll even let you ride around on their backs. <laughs> Sounds like hokum to me. But if you're brave enough, you might as well give it a shot. It doesn't sound so good out loud. I mean, that's what I thought. Nice. Now we have a boar friend. <laughs> Women, hard eyes. <laughs> That's one thing that I like about you guys, is that it doesn't matter, like, what type of person shows up. If, if, if they are nice, if they are, are pretty, if they have a, an appealing... Uh, personality no matter the case you guys are always just like oh my god yes queen king my liege like doesn't matter there's always appreciation going around what am i doing here i was supposed to go check on yona 
Don't expose it. Hey, I'm saying that it's a good thing. We are here to simp. <laughs> well, if it makes you happy. Who am I to tell you no if it makes you happy? We love beautiful and cool people. You know what? That's valid. Ooh, a sparkly thing. Mine. Ooh, a spirit drop. Defense drop. And what do we got? Strength? Oh, no, just gold. Nice. Yona? Yona, what is it? It hurts. Oh, Yona. I'll go get some medicine, okay? Just hang on. Wait. What is it? Just don't do anything dangerous. Stop worrying already. Yeah, it'll be fine. I don't know where to get medicine, though. Where would I get that? Black scrawl appears to be advancing at a furious rate. She needs something to stop her pain. Let's see if Popola has any ideas. Okay, check in with Popola again. I guess that's the thing that you gotta do as the village leader. Whenever somebody needs help or needs some guidance from what to do next, you gotta be able to answer that. Really want to give Yona a hug? I don't blame you. It's always a tough time seeing somebody suffer. As a gentleman such as I, I must say that Lady Kaina's language does not match her elegant appearance, though her attitude is <clears throat> preferable. Hey, is that like a cursive way of medicine? saying, like, <laughs> that you want to be verbally abused? <laughs> Which I'm not judging. I'm, I'm, I'm just. I want to see if I'm reading that correctly. <laughs> pain medicine. It's for Yona. Her pain is. It's getting really bad. That poor girl. Well, I guess we could try a shaman fish. Cursive for wood. <laughs> okay, that's one. <laughs> that's one way of putting it. What's that? It's a fish found near seafront. Their livers contain a chemical that's said to dull even- Did somebody skin. say fish? Did somebody say fish? That sounds perfect. How do I get there? You can find seafront out past the southern plains. Shades have been spotted there recently, though. Oh, hold on. What do you want? Ah, good. Just the man I needed. Could you gather two medicinal herbs from the northern plains for me? I've been exhausted lately, and I need a boost. I think I have that, though. They usually grow in patches of grass or by the bases of trees. I don't think they'll be too hard to find. Two medicinal herbs. You got it. I got him. Thanks for securing those herbs for me. <laughs> I must be getting old if I need this stuff. There we go. Oh, so she doesn't look that old. I always appreciated the creator's reasoning for pretty women. It's so relatable. Yeah, like sometimes... Sometimes the thing just speaks for itself. You don't gotta elaborate or like overly explain it. Sometimes you can just be like, hey. It is what it is. And I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sugarcoat that. And you know what? I respect that. It's like when people ask like why why so many guys prefer to play as like uh, female characters in various games when you get to pick you, when you get to pick um, your player character or customize anything. Sometimes people just like want to be like, hey, I want to look at something I find appealing, and I don't think there's anything wrong with that personally. And al also. Gir like girl characters or like feminine characters in games tend to get the way more visually appealing customization options or like uh, any sort of cosmetics. More often than not, the guys get shafted. <laughs> I wanted to become a rich man for my girl, but it's not going as well as I'd hoped. 
Guess I'll just have to save up what little I can. Aww. I don't need money. Just being with him makes me happier than anything. Aww. Well, isn't that sweet? Damn, I feel single. <laughs> uh, it's okay. <laughs> There's plenty of solidarity for you in the chat. Don't worry about it. <laughs> and now, if everything worked correctly, we should have a little friend outside the gate. After Valentine's Day as well. Now, why did you have to say that? You didn't have to say that. Yeah, there he is. Here's our friend. We're not going to use him right now because there is some stuff that's going to happen, but we are going to use him in the future. Oh, what is happening over here? Damn shades, go away! That villager is under attack. Coming through. Oh god, that hurt. Jesus. Oh god. Whoa, they hurt. Die, you foul beasts. Did not expect them to hurt that much. Ouch. Medicinal herbs for the win. Where'd you go? There you are. Why are you running? Why are you running? There we go. Where'd you go, buddy? There you are. You saved me. Things are getting really bad here lately. Here, take this. Make good use of it, all right? One-handed sword, moon rice. Ooh. Sword. Moon rice, let's see. Ooh. Cool. That's a cool looking sword. I wanna see, is the guy here? No. Sometimes there's a big boy here. Oh, it's a beach. Well, makes sense. We are getting close to a place called Seafront. Since we managed to clear the path, I might as well show off the boar. Because we're going to be using it a lot. I just got a haircut while watching your stream. Hey, say hi, say hi to your hairdresser for me, I guess. Alright. We. Deja vu! Oh. Oh. Deja vu! Noom! Boar drifting. Yes. It's my favorite thing. Welcome to Seafront. Easily the most visually appealing place in the game, in my opinion. It feels like a place I would go to for vacation. Reminds me of Greece. I agree. Oh, I'm so tired. Stairs are rough going on these old bones. Oh no. Yeah, stairs would be tough. What if he if he returns today? Can't let the lighthouse stay dark. Aw. Little lady running the lighthouse. I doubt we'll have much luck blundering about blindly for a shaman fish. Grease mentioned. What should we do? I don't even know what one looks like, so if you've got a better idea, I'm all ears. Perhaps we could try asking some of the townspeople for advice. It seems like a good idea. Works for me. Heck, we might even find a place that sells them. Oh, the music is so nice. So 
a lot of shops here. Seafront is more or less like the side quest hub. Well, how's the fishing going? Fish is great for your health, but you don't want to Um, there's one place I'm looking for. Uh, I think there's a place that sells a map. A shaman fish? Hey, but since you're here, why don't you buy something? Uh, let's see. Medicinal herb. There we go. Seafront map. That's what I wanted. Hope to see you again. There we go. Now we got a map. I'm covering it so you don't really see it, but I assure you the map is there. See? We got it. Have you played the original Nier? Absolutely. Yes, I have. Many, many years ago. Oh my god. Sea doggos. Hi there, buddy. Hiya. Oh, is that a yawn? You good there? So cute. Eh? Huh? Shaman fish? Oh, sure, sure. They're a cinch. Practically jump into the net, they do. Oh, okay. I won't do it for you. So take this pole and go fish one up yourself. Oh, and you can't catch them here at the pier. Go dip your line at the big beach on the west side of town. This line right here. <laughs> they, a I think they added this because everybody would start fishing on the beach here. There's a different beach where you get the fish that you need. It's not here. <laughs> Is that a serious question? You gotta move your body away from where the fish is going. Got it? Here, let me give you a lure while I'm at it. Fishing is a test of wills between man and beast. Never give up the fight. Okay. Obtain fishing rod and lure. Now the real game begins. Yeah, and then people would just start fishing right here. The fishing tutorial was also worded really wordedly. So, a lot of people's playthroughs in the original Nears just straight up stopped when you got to the fishing. Because nobody could figure out how it worked. But once you figure it out, it's not that hard. Let's see. When B fish is displayed on the screen, press B to choose your bait to begin fishing. When your rod bends, Press B to hook the fish, then tilt the left stick in the direction opposite of the fish's current position to reduce its HP. When the fish's HP reaches zero, you will automatically land it. See, much better phrase than the original tutorial. So it's super easy. You just look at where the fish is in relation to near, and then you put your left stick in the opposite direction. Like this. Easy peasy. There we go. We got a shaman fish. We're all set. Let's get this back to Yona. Fun fact: I didn't know this until I saw it on YouTube. But if you fail like too many times, the game will just land the fish for you and say that it took several hours. Ba basically, making fun of you a little bit. Let's get two, because why not? Can you try? I mean, I've already gotten it, so... <laughs> it doesn't work now. Oh, I'm so tired. Oh. Hi there, lady. Oh, I guess I can't talk to you. Just ignore an old woman in need. Oh, I weep for this generation. I tried! You didn't say anything to me. The children of this age are nothing but selfish, heartless cads. What? Uh, are you talking about me? Oh, ignore her. We've a quest to complete. People like that are best left to their own devices. Oh! Oh! oh. 
What's wrong? Is everything okay? My illness has returned. It must have been the shock of seeing this rude, floating book. <laughs> rude? Book? Now, see here, madam. I'll have you know. You, you did this. Calm down, oh, Vice. What a terrible thing you are. Why, you insolent crone? How dare you dress me like some common paperback? Vice, knock it off. You there, would you truly abandon a pitiful old woman to this cruel world? Surely I wouldn't. Now, what, what, what can I help you with? Are you asking me? Oh, do please ask me. Sure, why not? How can we help you, ma'am? So polite. Oh, good heavens. I can't believe how much cajoling that took. Floating talking book is insulted to be called a floating talking book. <laughs> I am at a loss as to what aid we could possibly give a woman who is so clearly able to talk her way into anything. <laughs> I love how much of a hater Vice is. I need you to go to the post office and tell them to deliver my mail. I can't fathom why they haven't been here yet. Oh, 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 oh the pain! Okay, okay, we're going. Look at us go! All right, to the post office. If my memory serves me, post office should be over here. Yep, even it has a mailbox outside of it. Remember to save often. Oh my god. Oh, this piece here. The music right here. Hold on, we're gonna we gotta listen for a while. I got my drink. I need this music to help me sleep. There's a lot of calm ambient tracks in this game that are excellent sleep aid. Trust me, I have put them to well use. Yeah, all of the BGM is so wonderful. Afternoon. Hey, so there's some old lady who yelled at us to come here and check on her mail and... Oh, you mean the lighthouse lady? The very same. Now could you please deliver her parcels and silence her flapping gums? <laughs> That's... Okay, that is so out of pocket. That is so uncalled for. Sorry, but I injured my leg. I won't be delivering anything for a while. Oh, that's too bad. Maybe we can... A hurt leg? What about your sacred postman's oath? Neither wind nor sleet nor terrible monsters of the night shall keep thee from... Hey, if your leg hurts, we'll just deliver it for you. Vice has so... Like, he doesn't have any chill, and I'm so here for it. Uh, oh, that would be a huge help. Uh, just be careful, all right? That lady has a bit of a temper. Thank you very much, deep voice to Yuri Lowenthal. Don't say. Oh, you know, since you're here. Oh, what is it now? You're from Popola's village, right? Yeah. Yeah, 
How do you know? Huh? Well, you're dressed differently, and you just have a certain air about you, I guess. Anyway, would you mind taking this letter to Popola when you go back? Uh, sure. sure. Oh. <laughs> Might as well take the postman's oath ourselves. <laughs> Calm down, Vice. I never knew this was Yuri Lowenthal, but I can hear him now. Yeah, it's him. He's just speaking lower. Stop laughing at me! Okay. Now. Quildren. When you're delivering mail for someone... What is one thing that a postman, or if you're delivering a mail, like mail or a message for anybody, what's one thing you shouldn't do? What do we not do with other people's mail? You don't open it. Exactly. You don't open other people's mail. To Popola. I write to you regarding the urgent matter of the Airy. As you know, shade activity in that area has been much increased as of late, and we now fear the worst. Numerous letters to the village chief have yet to, to be returned, and our merchants have recently lost all contact with customers there. While Seafront has yet to be troubled by the shades, we fear their arrival is only a, a matter of time. I encourage your village to take all the necessary steps to defend yourself from this terrible scourge. The loss of two output posts would be almost too much to bear. I hope to hear from you soon. Love letter? Let's see. Love letter. <sighs> now either... This is ordered properly, so it's the 2nd of December. Or, it's ordered in a weird way, and it's the 12th of February. I don't know which one. <laughs> which one do you guys think? As a Swede, this is the 2nd of December for me. Same for me, December 2nd, December 2nd. February 12th makes more sense for Love Letter. I mean, I guess, but I don't really think they care about Valentine's Day in the year 3340. December 2nd, February 12th. It's a civil war. <laughs> Alright, let's be nosy. What did this old lady write? Or what did she receive? My dearest beloved, please forgive the lateness of this letter. I have recently fallen quite ill and had some difficulty finding a doctor in this foreign land. The people here, however, have treated me with great kindness, and I now feel my body getting stronger by the day. If my recovery continues, I hope to attempt the journey home soon. I think about you every day and yearn for the moment when we can be together again. Please take care of yourself. I know that I am doing everything I can to return to you. Oh, the old lady has herself a little lover that's sending her letters. How sweet. Oh, she's gone. I don't hear the crone, and I'm sure I would if she were here. It's making me feel single again. O oddly enough, when I see, like, old old married couples or, like, anything like that, that's one of the few times where I don't feel like, oh, God, I'm so lonely. At that point, I just feel like it's sweet because usually those people have been together for, like, 30, 40 years. They call her the lighthouse lady, right? Well, let's go check the lighthouse. Lighten up, Vice. Come on, Vice. Who doesn't like a little bit of love? Stop being such a stick in the mud. Or is your attitude so dry because you gotta keep those pages from getting wet and tear? 
このクエストい、うん、一番好きうんいいクエストですねこれアニメーションを WWE スマックダウン。As soon as he delivers a rose, my brain just goes smack down! We need to get the shaman fish to Yona. I think that SmackDown is WWE. Any wrestling aficionados that can correct me on that? Okay, let's get the fish back to Yona. It is? Okay. Good thing. <laughs> Good thing that, that I didn't mess that up. Work was exhausting, so I'm taking a little break. This is a great place to come and relax. There's a lot of, like, old school anime voice actors in this. So keep your ears peeled. You'll probably hear quite a bit of them. Or if you like DD, I know that quite a few regulars from Critical Role are also in this game. My ears are open. <laughs> okay, good. Actually, let me go check something. Zack is the first one I noticed. Yeah, he, he's the protagonist. And obviously, Liam O'Brien is Vice, and Laura Bailey is Kaine. So, you went and caught the fish, did you? Well, since you're so insistent, I suppose I better reveal one of my fishing secrets. It's time. Obviously, Matt Mercer is going to be somewhere as well. Hmm. The Fisherman's Gambit. Uh, was I being insistent? Enough. If you catch ten sardines, I'll reveal one of my most closely guarded secrets. Ten sardines? All right. I feel like I can do that. Still no fish. Shh, you're scaring them away. Oh, I, I see. Yeah, Vice, don't scare the fish away. What the heck did I catch? That's a big one. Look at that health bar. Nothing is happening. What is on my hook? I don't think this is a sardine. I am fairly certain this is not a sardine. I mean, I can still try and catch it. It's just gonna take ages. What if it's a shoe? I'm gonna be mad if it's a shoe. Ah, oh, I lost it. Yeah, I wasn't landing that anyway. Okay, let's go buy some bait. The boss music. Yeah, when you fish, there's like really intense percussion for some reason. If you're ready to get serious. Okay, uh, I don't know if it's lugworms or earthworms, but let's buy 10 of each. Because they're cheap. Come back if... 
I think it's an earthworm that we need. And I think it's on the other beach. So let's go to the other beach, try our different types of bait, and see what we get. I think it was shoe- no, 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 no. Like an actual shoe, not our shoe. That's a different shoe. When I say shoe, I'm not talking about shoe. I'm talking about a shoe that's in the game. <laughs> try wrapping your head around that. Okay, this is a little speedier. Hopefully it's something nice. Okay, then let's try a lugworm then. Okay, what about this? Surely this must be something neat. Oh, that's a fish. Shaman fish? No, that's not what I wanted at all. Uh, literally. <laughs> what, just because it was seaweed? Hey, if it means anything, I can always sell it. It doesn't sell for a lot, but it's something. Let's try fishing from here. Maybe I can use an earthworm here. Come on. Give me, give me a bait. Right? What kind of fish do we have here? I'm not doing too well, guys. This is not going very well. Can you cook in this game? Uh, no, but there is a side quest where you let Yona cook for you. Oh, this one takes a bit longer. Maybe this is a sardine? Maybe? Yes! Okay, we got it. Let's go buy some more bait. Fishing in Genshin is harder? Ooh, I don't know about that one. If you're ready to get serious about fishing, when you... you'll need more than just a lure. Good. Fishing in this gets pretty... pretty intense. Sometimes, like, if you want to catch a fish that's a little bit harder, like, that's a bit, uh, a bit higher level than your fishing proficiency, you can sometimes be ready to sit there and fish for, like, 10 to 15 minutes. I played both, and Nier is harder. <laughs> I haven't played Genshin, but there's, there's few fishing minigames that test your patience at, as much as this one. Fishing in Stardew is the hardest. I have not fished in Stardew Valley. Actually, yes, I have. It was pretty tricky. P5? P5 just tires your arm out because you get a mash. Hi, Ike. Hello, avocado milkshake. Is that a thing? Is that a thing that you can buy? I am admittedly a little bit curious. Yes, actually. Really? I didn't know that. I'm not a huge avocado guy to begin with, but admittedly that does sound interesting. So delicious? Hmm. Well, I do like milkshakes. Well, I like milkshakes. Milkshakes don't like me. Yeah, see? This is not a sardine. Whatever this is, this is not a sardine. Okay, super focus. Let's see if I can land this. Okay, like a fifth of the way there. All right. 
It's gonna take a while. Gotta move my controller stick so that I don't lose the fish. No, 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 no. I almost lost it. Okay, halfway there. This is a very stubborn fish right here. Come on. I have faith. Trying not to look at the health bar. Be quiet, I'm fishing. Ooh, okay, scary, scary, scary. Not looking, not looking. Yeah, we got it. Bream. Whew. That's way earlier than you're supposed to get that, but. So, not what we were looking for, but yay for getting a Bream. My thumb was, like, slipping off my control stick there. Oh, it's another bream. I'm just gonna let that one go. If that was seaweed, I would have cried. Okay. When, when you have to wait that long, it's usually not seaweed. Okay, this might be a sardine. Come on, get me that sardine. Sardine? A blowfish? No, that's not what I'm looking for at all. H Hello, sir, can I help you? Maybe this is a sardine? Feels like it. Feel like this is a sardine. Feeling a sardine on this one. Yeah, there we go. Man standing. <laughs> Who was that? I don't know. He just wanted to see what I was doing. NPC jump scare? Boo. <laughs> non playable character. At this point, fishing is just gotcha. It's gotcha what, what fish you end up hooking. Okay, how many sardines do I have by now? Five. I need five more. Five more sardines, then we're done with this fishing request. We're going to be doing this a lot throughout this playthrough, by the way, because fishing is one of the best ways to earn money, and we're going to need money for weapons. Ike Unlucky is back. I don't know. I'm pulling some decent sardines, so so far my luck isn't too bad. The NPC is so funny to, for me for some reason. He's just minding his biz. Mind in my biz, so mind your own biz. Lotus juice is a treasure. There we go. Give me that sardine. Okay, 
how many is that? Seven? Man walked in, stared at you, then dipped. That's how you assert dominance. The only thing that would have uh, that was missing was him hitting a T pose. If he hit a T pose, I don't know what I would have done. Oh right. Thanks, chat, for reminding me. I haven't said I haven't said fish fear me yet. Here we go. Last fish. Sardine, come on. Looks like a sardine. If he had hit a T-pose, you might as well yeet yourself into the ocean. Not incorrect, you see. There we go, that's the last of the sardines. One more month to blue nib. I Yay! Almost soon! Parts. Almost soon. You're almost there. <laughs> English. So you did, so you did. Well then, here's a piece of advice for you. Near is not a fishing game. But it does keep us hooked. Hey yo! That's a pretty good one, actually. Two days later. Well, have your fishing fortunes improved? I sure hope so. We've done nothing but fish for two whole days straight. And you can do another one. Come, my apprentice. It's time for your next assignment. Wait, when did I become your apprentice? Just now. Don't sweat the small stuff, youngin. Now, your next task is to catch seven blowfish. If you can do that, I'll part with another of my invaluable lessons. Blowfish, huh? Well, we were fishing for that, weren't we? What did, uh, what did we use for the blowfish now again? Did we use lugworm or earthworms? I don't remember. No, not options. Grimworm vice. I think we have a fish menu. There we go, fishing records. Uh, blowfish. Oh, it doesn't say where. It just says the side. Lugworm, if you say so. Successful fishing requires patience, concentration, drive, ambition. Shh! Shh, you're scaring him away. Uh, yes, right. Not, not even a nibble. I just want to see if I can get a blow, blowfish first try. What could this be? Sardine? Blowfish? Place your bets. That's a sardine. I'm just going to use up my lugworms and then dip. Well, that seems like another... Like another one. That's a bucket. Man, remember Bucket Eveland? That was a while ago. <laughs> Oh, dang it. Oh, they ate my bait too. Ah, whatever. I'm done here. <laughs> my favorite thing. <laughs> I do now. <laughs> That's Cassine. Yeah, that was a while ago. Another drunk stream when? I wasn't drunk. I regret to inform you. I think I was sober during that stream. <laughs> Somehow. You were sleep deprived. Now that makes sense. Noom. What the heck was that? Oh, that's the guy. I'm gonna learn to make awesome food for Nier. I better start working on a new secret recipe. Ooh, there's a quest here. Hey, you there. 
Have you seen my Max around? Max? Max? Sorry, I don't know a Max. Max is my dog. He's been missing since yesterday. A dog named Max? Jason? Oh, I see. Um, any idea where he went? He usually likes to run around the northern plains. Most of the time, he just comes and goes, but I haven't seen him in over a day. A dog astray. I'll keep an eye out. If I find him, I'll make sure to bring him back. Thank you. Oh. Oh. Is something wrong? Oh, it's nothing. Mm -hmm. Just a little choked up about my dog is all. All right, if you say so. If you remember from Heavy Rain, like at the very end, we needed a password for a computer, and it was based around a dog named Max. Hey there. Uh, is something wrong? You don't look too happy. Yeah, I'm in a bit of a pickle. Listen, you know about the chickens we keep in the village, right? Lately, their eggs have been disappearing. At first, I thought it was a thief, but now I think the hens are just hiding them. Huh. I guess I can't blame them. But the village really needs those eggs. I need you to find the hiding spots and bring me an egg. That work for you? Sure. The lost eggs. These chickens sound pretty smart. Yeah, they're clever little buggers. Anyway, just ask around. I bet someone in town will have an idea where to look. Okay. Good to know. I'm just accepting a few quests as like while I'm running by them, so we can get to them later. Eggs. All right, Yona, I have your shaman fish. Two hour, two and a half hours already? Does not feel like it. Let's grab these things. Got a magic drop. 500 gold. Okay, thank God she's still here. Hang in there, okay? I got you some medicine. It's not gonna taste good, but I need you to take it anyway. How long are you planning to stream, Mikey? Probably for a while. Don't worry. I can handle it. That's what I like to hear. How many hours total is near uh, gameplay usually? If we're going for all the endings, maybe 35, 36 hours? Feel any better? Hey, how you feeling? Better. It doesn't hurt anymore. That's great. <sighs> That's really great. Heike, what about your sleep? It's like 234. It's 234 p.m. I'm I'm chilling. Hey, what's that book? Oh yeah. Guess I should introduce you. I am Grimoire Vice, wielder of Arcane. Oh, hi, Vicey. Vicey. <laughs> I love that. Now see here. My name is... Vice has been worried about you too. Really? Aw, thanks, Vicey. It appears impudence is the fruit of this family tree. I love how he just lets it go. Anyway, I need to go talk to Popola. Stay here and get some rest, alright? Alright. Hey, I was thinking about trying to make stew for you. Do we have any venison or wheat? S stew? Um... Why are you apprehensive about that? I don't want her to feel bad, but her cooking is... Oh no. Yona's cooking, let's go. Alright, Yona. Let me see if I can track down your ingredients. Really? Thanks. I'm sure you're gonna love it. I'm ready to make that stew anytime. Okay, just gotta remember the ingredients. Let her cook. I will let her cook. As a nice supportive brother, I will let her cook. For a home -cooked meal. Hmm. Is there something you want to say? Oh, no. No, no. Nothing at all. Uh, do, 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 do. Look, I know Yona's not a four-star <laughs> chef or anything, but she puts her heart into it. Only a real jerk wouldn't appreciate the effort. What kind of brother do you think I am? Did you hear me imply anything of the sort? <laughs> I guess not. Just, well, good luck. Yeah. 
<laughs> I love their banter. Their banter is so good. We bound to get food poisoning. Hey, listen. If it'll make Yona happy, I'll take any sort of poisoning. Hey, I brought a letter for you. Oh, thanks. Oh, dear. What's wrong? It's from the mayor of Seafront. He says that a horde of shades have appeared in the area. Yeah, we saw those. That's not good. My weapon was practically useless against the giant shade we fought there. I wish there was some way to strengthen my weapon. You know, there's a little shop at the entrance to the junk heap that might be able to help. The junk heap, you say? If you bring them materials, they should be able to use them to enhance your weapons. Oh. Interesting. Guess I'll check it out. Oh, but it won't be free, you know. I figure you'll need around a thousand gold or so. We got that. A thousand gold? If you need money, try visiting the tavern. That's usually where people go when they're looking to hire someone. Good advice. Thanks. The tavern. Maybe I'll go check that out before going to the junk heap. Will you eat Quildren's cooking? I'm sure- what? National Weapons Laboratory? We've verified a- Might as well check out the tavern. Hmm. What was that about? Strange. Oh well. On with the game. Answer the question, Ike. I mean, I'm w fairly certain that most of you are better at cooking than me. And I- I can- whatever I make is edible at the very least. I can eat it and I can think that, hey, this isn't so, so bad, I did okay. And if you guys are better than that, which I assume that you are because my cooking is nothing special, I don't think there should be any, any danger about it. Oh, hold on, tavern, tavern. Is this the tavern? I think so. Oh, hi, Devola. Want to let a girl buy you a drink? Uh, I'm not old enough to drink, Devola. Also, isn't it morning? Hey, it's five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> when the sun never sets, what difference does it make? Ah, never mind. You'll understand when you get older. Oh yeah, I probably should mention that too. Uh, the t time of day doesn't really change here. So... That, that, that is not just, like, that, that is a thing in the game's universe. The Earth isn't rotating anymore. I do love this tavern, though. It's the nerve center of the whole village. Folks come here to relax, or swap stories, or even look for work. Come back whenever you have a free minute. Hey, you ever heard Devola and Popola sing? Sure, Devola sings here all the time. I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about the two of them singing together. I know that voice. That's Spike Spencer, isn't it? You guys hear it, right? That's totally Spike Spencer. Uh, no. I've never seen that. They used to come here and sing all the time. Lately, they're so busy. Hey, I know. You ought to get them to come back and sing for us. The Ballad of the Twins. Uh, sure. I suppose I am kind of curious. Wait, it is? I'm fairly sure, uh, sure that's Spike Spencer. And for anybody that doesn't know who Spike Spencer is, he is the English, vo English voice actor for Shinji from Evangelion. He is in this game. He does play a, a, a kind of prominent side character that we will meet way la later. So I was surprised to hear him as an NPC. Shinji mentioned! <laughs> Wait, where am I going? Oh, right, I'm going to the Airy. Wait, hold on. Ballad of the Twins. So maybe I should go check out with Popola. Let's go to Grimoire Vice. Where's my quests? Quest. Uh, incomplete quest. Yuna's Cooking. Ballad of the Twins. Discuss the matter with them both. Okay, I guess I'll go to Popola first. 
Was he in Gurren Lagan too? I don't know. I haven't seen Gurren Lagan in English. If you need money, that's usually good advice. But I, I was here to discuss the ballot with you. <laughs> Whatever. I guess I'll talk to Devola later. Right now, we gotta go to the Airy. Again! 2010, physical attacks, thermonuclear attacks, useless. What? Hmm. Is that how you pronounce it in English? I don't know. I, th I thought it was Gurn Lagan. What do you know about this junk heap? I guess there are ancient ruins buried there? It's full of old scrap and other weird stuff that no one understands. To get there, we have to cross the Iron Bridge to the northeast. That thing? Popolis says these huge metal crates used to cross that bridge all the time in the old world. Humans certainly were wise back then. I don't know if wise is the right word. If they were so smart, why did we end up like this? Excuse me, pardon me, sorry. Don't touch me. Leave me be. Stay away. Pew, pew, pew. Away with thee. Pew, pew, pew. Okay. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Doesn't hurt to keep the levels up. That's one thing I like about games with level systems. It never feels like you're killing enemies for nothing because you're always getting experience. Oh no. Will that be the canine we were looking for? Oh, Jesus. Oh, that hurt a lot. Ooh, close one. Go down already! There you go. I'm just gonna- I was just straight up using that. Strength drop. Give it to me. Stop shielding me! I accidentally used it again, but that's okay. Oh shoot. Medicinal herbs for the win. It's the missing dog. Poor old man's gonna be pretty upset. We should at least give him a proper burial. Hey, wait. I think the dog has something in his mouth. What is it? Han? What do we got? Max's herbs. It's some kind of leaf. This is a rather dangerous location for leaf hunting. I wager this decision cost the animal its life. Well, the least we can do is bring it back to the old man. It's too bad about that poor dog. This is gonna be hard for that old-timer to deal with. Be they dog or man, no living thing can escape their ultimate fate. Hmm. That include you, Vice? In truth, I have never considered the question. I suppose at some point in time, I may simply wink out of existence. Well, that sounds horrible. Um, say... Hmm? Yeah? See here, lad. If I ever find myself departing this world. Quit being morbid, Vice. Besides, you can't die. You're made of paper. Hmm. One can always hope, I suppose. Aw. Wink out of existence? I, I guess he just vanishes. Like, poof. Unless you burn him. I mean, I guess. 
Uh, next time we're in the village, we have to break the bad news to the old man. I think there should be a mailbox over here? Yeah, here we go. Oh, my, my. Book's greatest fear. Matches. I guess if a vice ran into that, he would have met his match. Jacob, I'm hungry. Hello, Yuri Lowenthal. I know. Hold on. We have some old bread here. Hello, Sam Regal. Hey there. Oh, welcome. Please come in. What is this place? It's my shop. I'm the finest smith in these parts. Uh, usually. See, my brother and I build items from scrap we find in the junk heap. But we're a little low on supplies at the moment. Oh, I mean, isn't there plenty of scrap to go around? The junk heap, you say? That's right. You're such a comedic genius. Like, I'm laughing so hard. Why? What did I do? Folks say it used to be a military base. I don't know about that, but there's lots of great stuff in there. Hi, Ike. Hello. It's not exactly the safest place in the world, but we gotta eat, you know? So it's just the two of you out here? Our father died when Gideon was very young. And mom is... The pun, but I was being sarcastic. Hey, <laughs> hey, That's the good thing about sarcasm. It doesn't read well over text, so I just took it as genuine. She's out right now. Getting supplies. But I'm sure she'll be... Mom's been gone for seven days. When's she coming back? Seven days? That's a long time. It's getting harder to find good scrap. She probably had to go deeper into the heap. I said I'm hungry. So if you had the materials, would you be able to upgrade our weapons? Well, yeah, but it's really dangerous in there right now. We so can we deal can... with danger. No problem. We'll go. It's no problem at all. We dealt with plenty of danger. We're chilling. You, you will? I want to upgrade my weapon. And besides, you need inventory for your shop, right? Hmm. Well, yes, but... It's settled then. What do you need? Danger's my middle name. <laughs> well, Whenever so somebody mentions... Weapon, I'll need three titanium alloys. Titanium alloys? Okay, those are kind of rare. Whenever somebody mentions a middle name, all I can think of is that one Sonic Boom clip where Sonic says that something is his middle name and Knuckles just goes, I thought your middle name was THE. <laughs> you can get them from the defense robots around the mountain. Got it. Here's a map of the complex. You're probably gonna need it. And be careful, please. It's gotten really scary in there. Okay, we got a map too. Nice. Ike the Eveland. <laughs> I don't know if I like that. <laughs> I don't, I don't think I like that at all. I already have people calling me the evil end. I don't need more people doing it. Oh, give me that. All right, into the junk heap we go. Whew, look at that. Jesus. This feels, this feels a little bit out of place, doesn't it? With all the Aye, it is bright sort of again. traditional fantasy it stuff. Looks like the ancient machinery is still working. Not that we have any idea how it works. Ruins from ancient times, patrolled for eons by unstoppable machines. Yeah, and I bet they're full of rare materials. I would like for you to not zap me. This song kind of overstays its welcome, I'm gonna be honest. Doesn't seem to be working. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay. Is OST is a banger? It is, but you have to go here so often that I have heard more of this song than I could ever want in one lifetime. This place is hardly befitting one of my grand stature. You're a book. I sure do like to complain, Vice. 
Can I help you? There we go. Uh, which way do we go? I guess here first? I'm not sure which way is the right way. We'll figure it out. It's Wally. <laughs> Wally looks different than I remember. Doesn't seem to be working. Okay, no elevators for us. This book has so many demands. It's pretty rough in here. Yes, hardly suitable work for children. They both look so skinny too. I'm certain the Oopsie, I see. giving his share of their food to his brother. Ah! I was surprised I wasn't hit there. I really wish these guys went down in fewer hits. Ow! And that's exactly why. Come at me, Wally. Let's see what you got. Oh god, there's three of you. Oh nice, two for one. Hello? Oh, okay. I guess we're doing this now. Come at me! I didn't mean to do that. Ow. Nice, got him. They look more like the character from the movie, look, uh, the little one named Mo. Oh yeah, Mo, I remember him. Mo! <laughs> I love how he sounds like. Kablooey. I'm gonna sleep now, but have a great stream, Mike. Thank you! Sleep well. This door won't open, so then let's round the corner and see where this takes us. It seems we have been shut in. Oh, splendid. Wait for it. There we go. No kill quite like overkill. They're not attacking for some reason, but hey, it makes, makes it easier for me to dispatch them. Stabby stab! Oh, okay, I guess we're not done yet. Oh, you're... This is a red variant. These guys don't zap you. Oh, titanium alloy! That's good. That's what we needed, right? Okay. More of the danger mo's. Spicy variant. Yeah, they shoot magic instead, but on the bright side, it does allow you to regain your ma your mana. So we have that. And they don't stop coming, and they don't stop coming. Okay, you guys done yet? No, not yet. Oh, the spicy variant. 
Titanium Alloy. There we go. That's all of them. That should do it. Now, wouldn't it be handy to fast travel back? Wouldn't that be nice if we had fast travel? Right, everybody? Fast travel? That would be really nice to have in this game. You ever wish you could just warp back to the client after you get their stuff? Warp? Yeah. It's apparently a kind of magic that can zap you to faraway places in an instant. Ah, that one. Well, I would stay away from such devilry were I you, lad. How come? Because all of the sages who attempted said spell were reduced to mincemeat when they struck obstacles in their path. Uh, wow. All right then. Walking it is. Walking it is. Excellent choice. Who needs fast travel? Fast travel is dangerous. <laughs> the game is listening. <laughs> Walking is good for your health. I know, gotta get those steps in. Think this is the exit? Mmm. So glad that I brought drinks. Gotta get those steps in, says the streamer. Listen! Listen here! That's one of my goals for this year, to get more steps in. I'm even considering getting a treadmill. I hate being alone. I want to go find mom. Oh, hello again. We got your materials. Ah, oh, thank you so much. I'll get right to work on your weapon. Walking stream? <laughs> Maybe. Normally I charge Maybe that could be interesting. A walking zatsu. Treadmill foot cam. You're not getting a foot cam. Forging weapons. Okay. Here you go. And thanks again. This ought to keep us going for a while longer. I want to find mom. Is everything okay? I'm sorry. He's impatient for our mom to come back and thinks we should go look for her. We can Just look for way. her. Okay. She'll be back soon. I want to wait. Yes, yes, I know. <laughs> We're off to search for the misplaced mother, aren't we? Yeah, you're starting to catch on, aren't you? Big old tome. Please, no. I already owe you far more than I can ever repay. Oh, don't even worry about it. Misplaced mother, the wording is so funny. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's one of those things where it's just like, hmm, you're not incorrect, however. You don't understand. Our mother is... Hmm? Never mind. Mom usually goes pretty deep inside the mountain. I felt like you were about to say something pretty important. You're gonna need to use the elevator, so I'd better give you the activation code. Oh, alright. Cool. Elevator works. Heals, please. You would like me to do a treadmill stream in heals? I don't know for how long I can walk in heals, but sure, I'll do that. I'm not opposed. It's going to be very noisy, though. All right. He said their mom would be somewhere deep inside the mountain, right? Model walk? <laughs> yeah, I don't think I have the... I have the pizzazz to do the model walk. know what it feels like to miss your mother. Okay, uh, let's see. Where are my swords? Right now, this nameless blade is a little bit stronger, so I guess I go back to that. There we go, nice. Okay, the elevator should be over here, right? You have awkward pizzazz. Thanks. Treadmill fun. <laughs> Thank you, Midi K. <laughs> it's okay, I think I can afford a treadmill. Now nah, you'll slay. <laughs> that remains to be seen. Uh, 
Okay, what do we got here? Oh, the spicy variant. Ow. I gotta be careful of the spicy. Oh, pfft. he just fell down there. <laughs> oh my god! Excuse me. Pardon me. Sorry. Could you step away? Thank you. Whew. Wait, did I miss something over there? No, it's locked. Okay. Not to worry. Oh, great. Now I gotta do this. The clumsy bomb physics. Okay, let me just grab that. Yeet! It sounds like they're saying, I could steal you in the lyrics. And I, I don't know why, but I, I always found that amusing. Okay, so we've had character action slash hack and slash and a little bit of uh, a little bit of bullet hell stuff mixed in a little bit of 3d bullet hell so why don't we do a top-down twin sticks shooter because now we gotta do that pew 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 There we go. Come on. I know that there's more of you. I'm just pre-firing. I suck at aiming. You don't need to aim. If you hold down the shoot button so you do this thing where you shoot out like four little like shooty things, those are homing. You don't gotta aim for anything. They auto-aim? Yeah, they're homing. You see these tiny things that I'm, I'm shooting in a circle right now? You can aim those with the stick. So if I want to, I can just use these. But they're not as powerful. So it's better to... Whenever you see Vice charge up and you can release this... This homing shot. It's usually a good idea to do so. It's free damage. And things are good when they're free. There we go. I think that's the last of them. I can never get over the strings in the soundtrack, man. Me either. I love strings so much. Put them in everything. Put strings in everything. What? You can't possibly their mother managed to fight her way down here. Um. Or, for that matter, that she has been collecting scrap metal for a solid week. <sighs> Open your eyes, lad. The woman is clearly... She's alive. <sighs> Miracles don't happen if you don't believe in them, okay? A near. <sighs> oh, near. 
I admire the optimism. Can I make this throw? I'm not sure. Let me try. Carry, carry, carry. Yeet. Nice. Okay, not here. This way. Three points! <laughs> I remember in gym class when I scored two three-pointers back-to-back. For once in my life, I was literally, not figuratively, literally ballin'. I felt really cool, and I haven't done- I haven't been able to do it since. I succeeded once by a complete fluke, and then never again. Machines remain in this infernal place. What's going on? Hi there. Anybody play Mario 64? It's more or less the same thing. This game really likes to reference other games. This might be a problem. Be aware Ouch. No mere machine can defy us. I'm trying to get Stay up, Vice. Oh, all the fingers. What? Come at me. I am not scared of you and your pointy fingers. Okay, we're making good progress. Ow! Out of the way. I better get better at dodge rolling, especially for Sunday. Damage dealing acrylics? Don't let yourself be crushed. Oh, you think? No more material girl for you. Oh, what a troublesome piece of machinery. Oh, come on, now what? Clear them all out. That's the only way. Use those homing shots. Let's use them. God, there's so much stuff laying around here now. Yeah, I got another titanium alloy. That's always nice. This thing's got all kinds of moves. Okay. We're fine, we're fine. Get away from me, get away from me, get away from me, get away from me! Ooh. Ow! Yeet! Oh no! Ow! Well, that's not good. Nope, that does nothing. There was no yeet to be had. 
Excuse me. Ow! Where have I heard that man before? Hey, you don't know if it works or not. It's working. Such an obvious weak point because I, Grimoire Vice, have also played video games in my day. One should always know that the mouth is a weak point with any large creature that you engage in mortal combat with. Blah de blah de blah. Yeet! Stupid machine! Good, keep after it. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Oh my god, oh my god. Ow, 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 ow. 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 I got comboed to heck and back. Okay, please miss me. Thank you. Give me the bomb. Give me the bomb. Bomb, 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 bomb. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Yeet. The announcement system really went. Okay, you're you're you have destroyed the boss of Werno. That's basically what it sounded like. Dark gluttony magic. Uh, I do kind of want to stick with the lance, though. Uh, okay. Onwards. Oh. It's a woman, and she's dead. I fear we have discovered the delinquent mother. So who's this other person? Hmm, it's a male. This bag has nice clothes in it, and money too. Why would she bring this stuff here? It would seem she abandoned her children to seek comfort in the arms of a swain. Oh, that's awful. So much for miracles. Instead, we have discovered the worst possible truth. What will you tell the children? I don't know. What's this? Perfume bottle? It smells of roses. I guess we should bring this back to them. Well, that's unfortunate. Where's Mom? Ooh. Hmm. Uh, I feel like I should be honest. She's, uh, she's in heaven now. What? It's true. Your mother's left this world. Liar! I don't believe you! Did she die alone? Uh... Well, it's okay. I know all about it. Just tell me. Did she die with the ones she loved? We found two bodies. It appears they left this life as one. Okay. That's okay. Come again. Mom was always so frustrated, you know? Torn between her duty to us and her heart. I think... I think maybe this is for the best. Are you saying you forgive her? I mean, she's my mom, you know? The only one I'll ever have. We found this next to her. This is mom's perfume. It smells like her. Damn it. I can't let myself cry. If Gideon sees me like this, 
damn it. <sighs> Sorry I wasn't talking much. I didn't want to take away from the moment. I hope I did the right thing. Hey, safe travels, okay? And thank you for everything. Your actions were just. Never doubt it. Aww. Bye, guys. <sighs> Not only is the world dying, there's sad stuff happening all over the place. The music, I know. Let's visit the area. They've got shades there. Indeed. <sighs> we may just find a sealed verse besides. Geronimo! Out. Uh, little bit of a sad outturn, but at least we were able to help some people. I think that's a net positive. You fear these shades? Of course. I'd be stupid not to. But I have to save Yona, no matter what. I see. Then I won't try to stop you. You're a pretty good listener for such an old-timer, Vice. Ah, I should be offended. <laughs> you should, but you aren't. Now why is that? What's Geronimo? It's just something you say when you, like, jump or something. It's like saying Banzai or something like that. Oh! Oh, hi, Kaine. Shades. The hell are you doing here? We thought you could use a hand. <sighs> yes, and I do believe a heartfelt thank you is in order. I was about to say that. <laughs> That's not happening. Okay. Oh, <laughs> do you even need me? What could have caused these shades to appear in such force? I don't know, but they're all over the village, too. Oh. Then we need to go help. We might be able to find a sealed verse while we're at it. Oh, crap. Excuse me. Pardon me. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Just for clarity, those red orbs means that they're immune to magic. And if you shoot them with magic, they just reflect it back at you. This is hardly the time to be writing letters. Well, sorry, I wanted to save the game. Oh, crap. Is it the thing again? Oh, hi there, Hook. God, it's so big. Oh, look at its eye. Kinda did a number on this thing. Alright, let's beat the crap out of it. I'll raise my guard when I feel like it. Oh crap. Run in hell, you fucking asshole. Oh god. Uh, did you just say what I think you said? <laughs> I'll tear out your goddamn eyes. Piss in the sockets! Jesus! Good sweet lord. I have never heard such a thing. You guys should not be encouraging that. Oh, barely. I love it, though. She's wonderful. We might need the beep. Yeah, just a little bit of... 
whenever Kaina speaks. Which, funnily enough, that's what she sounds like in Japanese. All the swearing is bleeped in Japanese. But in English, no bleeping. You get to hear every single word Kaina says. I'll take care of the big one. You worry about the rest. <laughs> All right. But what if we want to help you? Out of the way. Let me through. Out of the way. Get out, half breed. You brought these shades here. Jesus. We don't want you. Just leave us with peace. Not the friendliest town in the world, is it? No. You disgust me. You disgust us all. Okay, dang. Don't you dare call yourself human. Get out! Get out of our village! What is wrong with you people? She's trying to help you. Don't defend me. Okay, if you say so. Man, this is really not a friendly place. We're literally helping you. saying such horrible things about you. Whatever. It's all true anyway. What is that supposed to mean? What is that thing it's holding? It appears to be spewing them from within. Well, whatever it is, we need to take it out first. Do the homing thing. What are these things? Is it just like tiny eggs? Are you gonna buzz off already? I'm not even doing any damage! Ooh. Come on, look up, look up. Ow! Oh, that was so close. Oh, nice. One spear, that's all we need. Grabby hands, let's go! And eat! Oh! I'll drive him to you. Get up there and wait for him. All right. Watch yourself. Teamwork. Where do you think you're going? I'll get a medicinal herb. Why not? No, that's the nameless blade. There we go. Ow. Thankfully, they die pretty quick. Don't let it get away. I'm it trying not to. Soon and I will have it Three for one, baby. Okay, I think that's all of them. Grabby hands again. Ooh. Whoa, okay. Acrobatic. I hate those dangly things. They're so gross. This ends now, asshole. 
checking in on Mr. Evelyn. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing pretty good. I'm playing near, so I couldn't be happier. Grab that. Uh, I guess never mind. I guess my inventory is full. I'm gonna ignore you. Here we go. You can escape us no longer. We got it cornered. It's great to have you on our side, kind of. Whoa, 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 ouch. Oh, Shut up. <laughs> Come on, Kaine. That's a lot of bullets. Look, just try and keep up, okay? I'm doing my best. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Ow. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, barely missed it. Come on. I believe. There it is. You're going to stop talking now, and then I'm going to slowly walk over to you, cram my hand inside your goddamn bitch-ass chest, and pull out your fucking heart! <laughs> my grandmother would never say that. She'd never tell me to give up on life. Never! My entire life searching for a way to avenge her death. She gave me the strength to deal with this goddamn mutant body. Mutant? Do you know how long I've been like this? How much I loathe myself? Jesus Christ, Kaine. Oh, I'm gonna fall again. Oh! Oh, the music is so good. Okay, watch out, maybe? Oh, no, he's just doing the thing again. Yeah, in case it isn't obvious, like, this thing killed... killed Kaine's grandma. Ooh, ouch! Offensive, I see. That attack's bad news. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Come on, almost there. No. Come on. Let it be enough. Yes.
Grabby hands! Oh, here we go. Hammer. Hammer time! Oh. I call this one the Tokyo Tower. If you know, you know. I think she intends to perish where she lies. And in truth, perhaps death is the greatest comfort we can offer her. Heck no! That's not your decision. Hmm? You don't get to decide who lives and who dies. She's a life. She has meaning and worth. And we're going to save her. Yeah. Everyone has something to live for. Mm. Even Kaine. Mm -hmm. Even Yona. Perhaps you should save your pretty words for her instead of wasting them on me. <laughs> Aww. I love this gang so much. Characters are so good. Tokyo Tower? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Whoa, why am I so laggy? Why am I laggy all of a sudden? That's weird. So tired. Kaine, Kaine, over here! Don't give up! You're stronger than that! Don't you dare give up now! This woman is more trouble than she's worth. Come on, reach reach out. That's it. Come on! You're going to live, Kaine! Live? What for? What? <laughs> I had my revenge, and now it's over. Oh, now, see here, this is rich. Vice? We help you in some mad quest for vengeance, and now you think to bid us adieu? How can a fighter so skilled be cursed with such a thick head? A true warrior would fight. They would give all in the service of their friends. Friends? That's right. He's right. Kaine, we're friends now. Uh, see here, that was hardly the point. Okay, then what is the point? Uh, Kaine, we need your help. Will you fight with us? Fool, you cannot simply ask her outright. There is a proper order to these matters. One must ease into the topic with carefully considered words before commencing Grimmel negotiations. Book. book! How dare you! I am Grimoire Vice, wielder of arcane... Vice, then. Do not abbreviate my name. You're an ass. <laughs> but you're right. I can't just live for revenge. You mean... You're coming with us? Hmm. These swords of mine need a true home. But you'll do for now. See what I mean with book slander? There's gonna be plenty of that. Okay, we got Dark Phantasm. Achievements. So, Black Scroll got your sister, huh? Yeah. And we need the sealed verses to cure her. Gotcha. <sighs> what is it? Well, I'm not sure if this will help. But I know a guy who has the same disease. Oh! He's a king, actually. And his kingdom has been trying to find a cure for a while. It's possible they may have something. Oh. You think they may have discovered a cure? I said it's possible. I didn't say it happened. Well, if it's a king, then surely he would, like, divert, like, a bunch of resources to finding a cure. I think that's a pretty good bet. Anyway, the place is called Facade. It's deep within the desert. We should go check it out. If nothing else, we might be able to find some clues there. Indeed. And if this proves successful, 
It would certainly make our task a good deal easier. Hmm. Yay, new party member! Welcome, Kaine. Alright, off to the desert city of Facade. And we got a sealed verse. Not bad. Yippee, hot girl joining. <laughs> <laughs> you and you guys' priorities. Today is New Year's birthday, but he's not here, so I had a party by myself. June 6th. How does one reach the desert? We need to head back to the village, then leave by the east gate. I imagine a tome such as myself will find an arid desert climate quite delightful. June 6th is New Year's birthday. The more you know. Sorry. We. Oui. Hey. Hmm? What's up? I'll wait outside. What? Why? It's way safer inside the village. It's fine. I like being alone. If you head out from another exit, I'll just meet you there. You sure? I know Yona would be really excited to meet you. <sighs> Don't force the issue now. Her mind is clearly made up. Mm. Not everyone loves the company of others as much as you. Hmm? All right. I won't push it. I kind of get it, though. Like, you guys heard what the other villagers said about her. I, I can imagine she's not a people person. See you in a bit. I can see Yona running there. Yoko Taro's birthday too? Is it now? I did not know that. <laughs> That's cute. Oh. What is this? Dear Nier, I'm worried about you. You spend all your energy focusing on my disease. And whenever I think about how upset you are, it makes me kind of sad. I wish you'd slow down a little and not worry about me, because seeing you in pain is way worse than this stupid black scrawl. I know that sounds weird, but it's the truth. Yona. Aww. That's sad. Alright, to the desert we go. Upsie daisy. Okay, we've been through here once before, but this time we're gonna head to the right. I write near letters every single day. He always worries about me, but I feel fine. I don't think we get a boar here, unfortunately, so we're just gonna have to walk it. Oh, what's this? Got some clay. Oh, another thing here. What do we got? Berries. Okay, we're starting to get somewhere. This looks desert-like. So, what's facade like? It's strange. Let's just leave it at that. Stranger than a boorish young woman who battles monsters in her undergarments. <laughs> Let's go. What is this? A fountain? Vice and Kaina cannot stop arguing, and I am so here for it. Hmm. Wonder what that's about. Oh. Wolves. Look out. Excuse me, wolves. Ow. Ow. 
Ah, ow, let me go, let me go, let me go. Ow, ow, ow. A shade wolf? That's interesting. Wait, they're leaving. That one appears to be the pack leader. Huh. Okay. Well, I guess the leader said leave them alone. That's nice of him. There we go. That looks like a door. Oh, hello there. The gate is sealed tight. Well, great. Guess we're not getting in. Where, where is she going? Oh, are kind of got here. on Ginda. Well, at least she's popular here. You know these guys, Kaine? Not exactly. JP? Uh, not quite. Nihongo? Nihongo chotto nitteru desu kido, Nihongo deba nai Here we go. This is the city of Facade. I love the look of this place. A while back, I saved a local kid from a pack of wolves. Ever since, this town's welcomed me with open arms. Gonna be a pretty screwed up place if they let me in, huh? <laughs> anyway, I don't understand a word they say, so I get too excited. Why is your voice so quiet, Kaine? I could barely hear you. The king lives in the big building. Figure out the rest for yourself. What about you? I'll stay here. I hate crap like this. I don't know whether to thank you or wish you ill. What is that supposed to mean? I suppose a quick stroll about town is in order. All right. The language they use here is pretty crazy. So, uh, good luck with that. Well, we'll manage, I'm sure. I mean, how, how bad can it be? Keisatsu? Um, what are they saying? Fascinating. They speak a language I have never before encountered. Police? Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> I'd wager that huge structure is the king's manor. How do we even get there? With willpower and smarts, my lad. That's Japanese, isn't it? It resembles Japanese, but it's not Japanese. It sounds like it, but it isn't. If you've ever seen a really old video about this uh, girl that did a video where she speaks gibberish in a bunch of languages, like, but it sounds like the languages. At least a lot of them do. Like, she will just speak absolute nonsense, but it sounds like it. If you don't have an ear for the language, it sounds like the language. She even does Swedish. She does Swedish, and even though I, I speak Swedish, and she says absolutely nothing, it sounds like Swedish. It sounds very much like Swedish, even though I know that she's not saying anything. I feel bad that I can't understand them. You could speak a thousand tongues and still fail if you lack knowledge of another's culture. Yeah. Very true. A big part about on, Vice, learning a language on. is understanding the culture. I am a the culture. Of value, not some dog-eared travel guide. What, Vice? But you seem so knowledgeable. You would be a great travel guide, I'm sure. Hey, if this whole book business doesn't work out, maybe you can get a part-time job as a pamphlet. Like here. If 
If only we could speak to the locals. I've no doubt we'd have little trouble reaching the king's manor. We'll just have to suss out a route on our own. Suss? <laughs> Sorry. No entry, it would seem. Dang it. And after we finally made it all this way. Oh, this is pointless. Let us go back. Ah, uh, oh well. To the town entrance we go. Upsie Daisy. Hmm? Oh, whoopsie Daisy. You okay there? Hello there. one lacks the power of speech perhaps she can communicate through gesture oh let me see sign language thank you you're welcome i am fira hello fira do you need help yes we came here to talk to your king but it turns out we can't actually talk to anyone i can guide you Oh, she will act as our guide. How fortuitous. But first, I must explain this town. Hmm. We really just need to see the king. No, there are rules to follow. Oh god, the rules. Here we go. Follow me. Well, there you have it. It would seem we are impeding progress. Sorry. Okay, now we gotta follow fear around. Is this an item shop? All shops and houses in this city must abide by the following rule. Rule number 106. Do not live on level ground. Rule 106? We have many rules. Is rule 106 the reason for your labyrinthine system of staircases? Yes, that is the rule. Well, I suppose eccentric people deserve an eccentric town. One hundred six? Yeah, one hundred and six. I mean, when you think about the amount of laws that we as humanity have, like... That's technically the same thing as rules, and we have so many of those. This is a sand skiff dock. Rule 115,017. You must view the town by ship before purchasing any items. Oh, come now. What could possibly be the point of such an absurd rule? <laughs> See, when, when I saw you guys freaking out about uh, about a hundred rules, I was like, oh no, they are not gonna they're not gonna like what what comes next. Okay, now that's a lot. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's a rule that was in place when I first came here, not a new one. Hold on. Your people are still making rules? Yes. I've heard that we passed rule 124,046 earlier this month. <laughs> 124,000 rules. You gotta remember all of them. That's the thing about the facade. People live and die by the rules. Is there a rule for breathing? I would assume that there is. How does she remember those? I don't know. Maybe they're just used to it. Oh, I guess our tour continues. This is a grocery. Rule 11,034. You must live at a level appropriate to your position. Ah, so the aristocracy lives in the top levels. 
while the commoners subsist below. Yes. Seems like a rather unpleasant rule for those on the bottom. Does this girl plan to drag us about the entire town in this fashion? She's just following the rules, Vice. Skip Fira's tour? No! Come on, Fira. Show us the town. Oh, I guess we're going on another trip. What do we got here? Why are there signs back there? Is this a J. Schlatt viewer? This is a strange thing store. A strange thing store? Yes, a store that sells strange things. Such as. I don't know. The things are so strange. No one, no one is sure what they do. Yeah, that is pretty strange. Those are free, Ike. They're not free. They are not free. You can't take those. <laughs> okay, what do we got? Oh god, are these wolf hides? This is a store that sells raw materials. We use these materials to make masks. Rule 12, do not neglect your mask. If you want to live here, you must have a mask on at all times. Yes, I was beginning to suspect that. Is there anyone that doesn't wear a mask? I wonder. Okay. I think this is the last point on the tour, maybe? This is a weapon shop. This concludes your tour of the city. Thank you for your patience. I will now guide you to the King's Manor. Thanks. These rules are enough to make a sensible man reach for the noose. Jesus Christ, Vice. I don't know how you survive in a place with so many inconvenient prescripts. It's not so bad. Although I used to ask the same question, and then someone told me. Rules do not exist to bind you. They exist so you may know your freedoms. When I look at it like that, they don't bother me. You're a good citizen, Fura. Alright. I'm sorry. I can't understand what you're saying. Right in some way. Maybe in this sense, in the post-apocalypse. Maybe it makes sense here. Come on, Fira. I believe. Oh, she's... <laughs> Her tiny legs do not carry her very quickly, but that's okay. She's trying. Who are you there? Advisor. This is the king's manor. However, we have no king now. You have no king? Our king was stricken with foul, a foul black illness, and so passed away. Oh, we're already too late? His son, the prince, now rules this land. The Black Scroll. This is the prince's, prince's royal advisor. He would know far more about these things than I. Thank you. All of this touring has been helpful for understanding your language. I believe I will be able to speak with this advisor myself. I wish I learned languages as fast as Vice. We need to talk to the prince. My patience for this kind of thing has long ago evaporated. Come on, Vice. I'm sorry. It's not your fault, Fira. Let's go back to Kaine for now. Oh well, we tried. <laughs> yeah, it's, it does it does very much resemble Japanese. 
。おやすみ。配信頑張。Thank you very much, Haruka さん。おやすみなさい。Sleep well. 偽 JP <laughs> It's a made up language. What would you call that in Japanese? Skurigo? <laughs> Come on, Fira, I believe. You wanna meet Kaine? You wanna meet Kaine? Kaine, if you could be so very kind and not swear in front of Fira, I would appreciate it. Oh my gosh! Do you guys know each other? Slow down, I can barely. The person who saved me. Surely you don't mean Kaine. Oh, so that's what she meant when she saved somebody. It was Fira. Kaine helps you. This foul mouthed hussy. Hussy? Get used to hearing the word hussy, by the way. Piss off, book. You guys done or what? Hey, did you hear the news? Oh. So r rule 83,348 is the, <laughs> the prince must not go missing. What's going on? Okay. The Baron Temple? Eh? Well, that's lovely. So, one rule says that the prince is missing, so we gotta go look for him. But because of rule 50,527, they can't go looking for him because he's in the Baron Temple, and only royalty is allowed there. What do we do? The rules are contradicting each other. Why'd they make a bunch of rules that contradict each other? This is their way and their system of laws. As outsiders, we have no say in the matter. Now come, we should be off. I respect that vice. Even if he doesn't understand it or might have his misgivings about their system, he's like, hey, it's their system. This is how they run things. It is what it is. I'm going to save the prince. Frida. Oh, screw the rules. Hmm. That rule only forbids your people from entering the temple, right? That's true. Hmm. Huh? So why not ask an outsider to save your prince? Oh, and what luck. We just happen to have an outsider who can't stop meddling in the affairs of others right here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, vice. I'm going to. Fira told me about rule 1024. You know that one. Right? Okay. What, what is that rule? Rule 1024. You must honor the request of any outsider owed a debt. That's how it goes, right, Fira? Why did I ever agree to travel with such a pack of do gooders? Come on, Vice. You like it here. Let's move. Good on Kaine for remembering that rule. Came in handy. Alright, to the Baron Temple we go. We have a prince to find. Let me show you the way. You'll need my guidance to get through the sandstorm. Alright. Escort missions! Everybody's favorite! You're part of this, whether you like it or not. <laughs> Are we leaving the girl behind? Sorry, Fira. Your little legs doesn't carry you very fast, and I'm a very speedy boy.
Sorry, I wasn't aware I was missing. Hey, <laughs> I see what you did there. Thank you for the super chat. Just gotta take a few small steps, a little bit of sprinting, then we walk. Ah, that faster than walking, but slower than running NPC. Yes. For whatever reason, that is a very common type of NPC. <laughs> Thera, you can walk around me, you know. There's nothing stopping. There's no rule against. Like, there, there's no. There's no rule. Sixty-nine thousand four hundred twenty that says you cannot walk around an outsider. Yes, this is the sandstorm, huh? <laughs> nice number. <laughs> it's the funny number. Everybody's favorite. I will guide you through the desert. Please stay close to me. Okay. Lead the way. And lovely, I don't see a thing now. Beware the wolves. Where? Oh. Come on, be nice, doggos. This sand is too much. I can barely open my eyes. The moment I open my mouth, the sand rushes inside. You have a mouth? You even have a mouth? How does Vera deal with this? Well, she's wearing a mask. Perhaps there is some manner of filter inside that mask of hers. That's what I would imagine. Keep a keen eye on your surroundings. I'm trying. Oh, there they are. Close to the girl now. Okay, sorry. Okay, that's one. There we go. Got a wolf fang. She sure is brave, isn't she? She is. Such a minuscule body, she seems to possess almost boundless stores of energy. That's the thing about tiny people. They are very they are so small but so full of energy. It's like a Duracell bunny. Ike is near, near as Ike. What? What did I do? What did I say? Why? Why am I near? As a tiny person, lies, I have zero energy. Well, maybe it's not everybody, but some of them. I'm small, but I'm a fast walker. You, mu you must take a lot of steps. Look at your outfit. Hey, it's just a quinky dink. Wolves. Look oh. Out. oh, behind us. There we go. Close to the girl now. I know, I was just taking care of the wolves. Okay, I guess we're done here. This girl must possess extreme patriotism. Look how she gives all for the sake of her prince. I'm 148, but with seven centimeter platforms. I respect that. Hi, Ike. What's up, Jollibee? <laughs> How's it hanging? <laughs> I miss Jollibee. <laughs> I 
The Baron Temple is just ahead. Oh, and one more thing. Oh, thank you for the map. Is that Jollibee? It's not the actual Jollibee. <laughs> this is as far as I can go. Thanks for your help. If I remember correctly, Fira is not mute. I think it's just that there's some sort of rule that prevents her from speaking. Oh, this song. This song is, is called Gods Bound by Rules. And it's so good. Okay, that seems to be sealed. I guess we'll have to check this room right here. And... The theme of this dungeon... In line with the rest of Assad... Every room has a rule that you have to follow. So... The following actions are prohibited in this room. The leaping rabbit. So what would a leaping rabbit be? What is a rabbit really good at doing? Hmm. Now what could they be good at? What was that supposed to mean? I mean, come on, Nier. It means that we can't jump. As much as easy as it would be for me to just jump over and skip all of this. Can't do that. That is not allowed. Sorry, what now? I guess we have to play by the rules. Even that doesn't work. What happens if you do that? <laughs> Ooh, whoops, AC. Also, if there's any Dragon Guard fans in in the chat. Am I the only one that thinks that these look like the gargoyle cubes from Drakengard? I can't be the only one, right? Let me just sneak behind you guys. I can't get hit? That sucks. Well then, let's do that again. Let me just get you guys out of the way. Okay, block that off. Excuse me, pardon me, sorry. Let's wait for them to finish. Pull, 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 pull! Oh, that was close. There we go. Just gonna push this. Almost there. Yeah. Whew! There we go. Oh, master of the trial, it is time to devote yourself to the next rule. Ah, what a bother. I wonder what this prince is like. The man is tasked to protect his people, and yet he's made them toil to save him. I think that tells us everything we need to know. That he is an incompetent fool. Did I just hear someone? Well, somebody's here. I heard that. Oh, 
there he is. Nate, stole it. Hello. Where did you come from, boy? Ugudato? A Santo to Daisim Kairamu de Argo. Wait, seriously? But you're just a kid. Tsutsuki! Tato Skitchi! Leiji! Huh? Hmm? What? Karuna! Oh, no! No! We need him! Get him back here! No! Well, that's unfortunate. Well, okay. We gotta go get the prince. Okay, what rule do you got for me? Let's see. Leaping rabbit and stationary owl. So I, j I can't jump and I can't stand still. Well, that was unusual. Come on, we have to help him. What a challenge. We didn't see him instead. Okay, time for some 2D platforming. Oh god. I'm covered in sand. Take care before all your health is lost. Sorry. You got this platformer king and immediately I fell to my doom. Platformer King of Niji Ian. <laughs> I haven't played a platformer in a while. I should do that. I've been curious about Super Meat Boy. I kind of want to play that. Okay, so Racing Wolf, no running. Evasive Mouse, no dodging. And Magic Spewing Bat, no magic. No running, no dodging, no magic. God damn it! This shit's starting to. Me off. Okay, it's calm down, Kaine. Oh no. What in the oh, are you fucking kidding me? Let me go. Let me I'm gonna kill you when I get out of here. <laughs> soon we'll have to find her as well. Yep. Yep. Oh, right, no running. They never said anything about attacking though. I, oh, never mind. Okay, what if I don't hold down any buttons? What if I just attack? Yeah, that works. Just wait for it to finish shooting. Nope. Oh, I ran. Dang it. Okay. Come on, near. Go through him. Just gotta wait for these guys to stop shooting. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Surely. Yeah, there we go, there we go. There's the end. Nice. Okay, we're safe. Ike dodge lens greatest challenge, no dodging. Well, I'm allowed to dodge now. We. What is the next rule? Maybe something about attacking this time or Okay, no blocking and no magic. Okay. Sure. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> as soon as they don't ban dodging and r dodging or jumping, it's so easy. Can I open this door? No. Hi, right, today is my birthday. Can I get a birthday wish? Have a nice stream. Happy birthday! Hope you have a wonderful time. Thanks for stopping by. 
Okay, next rule we got here. I might have to use the restroom in a bit, but we'll we'll knock out a few more chambers. Then it's bathroom break. I really gotta get a BRB screen. I feel like I'm kind of overdue. Okay, no dodging and no magic. I can do without dodging. Oh god. Ah! I got hit. I didn't see that coming. Stay away from me. Oh, that was close. Got it. Nice. Uh, sit tight for a bit. Yeah, boy, gotta use the restroom. I'll be right back. I'll leave you with some music. Don't worry about it. See you soon.
Hello! Hiya! How's it going? There we go. Like so. He scared me again. Is there any uh, any point where I don't scare anyone? I wonder. <laughs> jump scare. Next time I'm actively going to try and jump scare you guys. I'm going to hit you guys with a as soon as I come back. I haven't done that in a while. Oh wow, that's a lot. Why are there so many of them? Okay, so what's banned in here? If it's magic, I'm gonna lose it. Blade wielding tiger. Okay, so I just this just don't attack forehead. Easy, Vice. We need quiet, or we're gonna mess this up again. <sighs> These masked folks only enjoy their bizarre customs. Let them do their thing, Vice. Come on. Whoa! Okay, that was close. Excuse me, pardon me. Sorry, coming through. I don't know what that is, but I'm not about to risk it. I'm going to pick that up in a second. Oh, did I miss one? Oh, there. Woo! Nice. Easy peasy. Now, what is this? Just clay. Okay, that's fine. Just some clay? K. Okay. More platforming. Let's see if it goes a little bit better this time. No, it does not. <laughs> I hate being covered in sand. Yes, do try harder not to fall in, would you? Sorry, Vice. Oh god, it's so bright. This is rather spacious. Oh, nice. Got some healing items. Might as well. He really said don't die, forehead. Okay, I will not die. This is awfully empty. That can't be a good sign. <laughs> Anakin voice. I hate sand. So no dodging. Got it. I remember when I put that as my <laughs> as my description for journey. I love prequel memes. There we go. More of you. Okay. I might not be allowed to dodge, but I can at least parry. Got a word. And an herb. Stop blocking me. God, I wish I could... Ow! I wish I could dodge. There we go. Oh god. You're just gonna walk after me? Fine by me. Easy peasy. Complex machine. Cool. Okay, this one is still locked. So I guess I'm just ignoring that one. Oh, 
Ooh, this is an awfully long bridge towards an ominous door. Now, surely that means that this is the exit, and not at all very foreboding towards a boss or anything like that. Iona. Four hours, not bad. This doesn't look suspicious at all. <laughs> Lovely. Surely that... That must be something good. <laughs> I suppose that was to be expected. Hey, look! Oh, the music. We are free to unleash the entirety of our powers. Yeah! It's about time. Ooh, close. Gotta be careful about that. What is this thing? Okay, that's one row. Okay, wait for it. I detect magic within the glowing cubes. Then let's just watch out for that. Oh. Nice, that's another ring. First circle, style cubes, you really have a bad relationship with geometry, Ike. <laughs> it's not my fault! I don't mind geometry. Geometry clearly has an issue with me. Oh, two for one. Oh, two for one again. That's one. Gotta wait for another spear. Oh, oh, they're swapping. I see. Okay, just swap it. I know you. You're gonna swap any second. There, got it. Another one. Oh, I missed it. Ow. I gotta heal. Please hit. Nope. Okay. Ow. Got it. Oh. There we go. What do you got for me now? Scott Cawthon! a curious sight indeed, says the talking book. Oh god, he got- he- oh, here comes the- oh! He hit me with the fattest boy I have ever seen. Ow! Oh, it's just reflecting. This is a powerful foe. There you are, you bastard! Kaine, welcome back! Kaine! I'm gonna kill the shit out of you! Now hold still and die already! I don't think that's working. Oh no. Now what, Kaine? Watch out! <laughs> Commendable effort. How did you find us? 
Beats me. I just kicked a bunch of ass and wound up here. That's valid. And without even bothering to get dressed. Vice. Fuck off, book. <laughs> uh. Kaime, the glowing cubes take priority. Screw your priorities! I'm gonna kill this thing my way! Ah, oh, dang. Ow! Ow! A-plus banter. I know I love it so much. Okay, you have two... One finger left and two stumps. Oh, here comes the boy! Boy! Ow! <laughs> Come on, bring those cubes down so I can do damage to them. Ooh, was that all of them? Yeah, it looks like it. Ooh, lost an arm. Ow. Woo! That was close. What do we got now? Oh great, a giant wall. This should prove interesting. One. Two. Three. Four. That's way faster. Actually, maybe not. Maybe as long as I actually hit my shots, it shouldn't be so bad. Oh, we're getting somewhere. Four left. Nice! Absorbed everything. One, two, three, four. I'll drink to that. And that's how dinner is made. I've never heard that one before, but I approve. Oh, it's the prince. What's up? You doing okay? Oh, there's your mask. <laughs> oh, heck yeah, I play video games. Kaidam! <laughs> Oh, it's a royal mask. Okay. I think Kaizamu is the word for king. Oh, rules do not exist to bind you. They exist so you may know your freedoms. It's what Fira said. Oh, the old king said that. Yay, we got a new king. He's very young, though. Heck yeah. 
We're bros with the king now. We're bros with the king. Nice. We can have whatever we want in facade. Oh, no, that's all right. We were just happy to help. I believe the regent has just given us an order. Hmm. I guess so. In that case. That's fine. How about you make rule zero? And have it say that if people don't like a rule, they can vote to change it. A splendid idea. That is a good idea. Yori Saro. Oh. You obtain oh, rebirth. Uh, thanks. But I think most of your praise belongs to someone else. I, I think I think that's another Dragon Guard sword. Aw. It's it's not a problem. Fear uh Let me get that sword. Rebirth. Yeah, that's a Dragon Guard sword. Shizuku-san, thank you very much for the super chat. I'll read that at the end of the stream. Thank you so so much. Do you know how to cure the black scrawl? So soon. So even a king couldn't recover from it. Hmm. Ah. Uh, so no dice. But on the bright side, I think we got a sealed verse from that big block monster. It seems there is no way around it. We'll have to collect the sealed verses after all. Yeah, it's the only lead we have. We came across an old song that says if we find them all, we can cure the Black Scrawl. And yes, we are well aware that refrains penned by minstrels half in their cups are hardly a reliable source of information. <laughs> that is such an amazing sentence. Refrains penned by minstrels half in their cups. So basically, he's calling them drunk. Hey, I'll believe anything. Half There's in their cups. I love that. Help me save Yona. And I'll collect verses, orbs, crystals, magic goat meat, whatever. All right. Oh. He makes non-English speakers learn new words. I mean, I've learned a word or two from Vice. <gasps> Friends, Pien, of course. Oh. <laughs> Just try not to get yourself kidnapped again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there we go. We got a sealed verse. I'm worried about Yona. Let's go back. Okay. To Yona we go. We can understand them now. Entrance. No, weapon shop. No! It was just a coincidence. Okay, weapon shop. What do you got for me? As per rule 6909. Nice. I will hereby engage in tr the trading of weapons. Would you like to buy something? Earthworm's Claw and Beast Bane. Let's see. Beast Bane seems pretty good, but it's expensive. But it's 172 attack and 40%. Ooh. It's short, thin. Okay. Do I have something I can sell to get some money? Uh, earthworms aren't worth a lot. Uh, I can sell the Bream, but it's only 750. Do I have any trash? I guess 
Pyrite, I can get rid of that. Clay, berries, boar hide, that sells for quite a bit. Wolf fangs also sell for quite a bit. Let's see, goat meat, goat hide. Dented metal board, I have tons of those. Strip bolt, yeah, sure. Okay, that should be enough. Beast Bane. Oh no, I'm a few hundred short. Ooh, let's see. Leather gloves. There we go. Now I should be able to buy it. There we go. Down to 90 gold. I am broke. Let's see here. Beast Bane. There we go. Heck yeah. This sword is so good. Pancake, thank you very much for the super chat. I just finished my hefty school project. Otsu on that. The streams helped me a lot with motivation. While the uh, Premiere Pro, uh, Pro was begging for a break. Oh no, not Premiere Pro. My condolences. Also, Yippee, finally near. Thank you for introducing me to Drakenir. Anytime. Wait, I introduced you to Drakenir? No way. You've had that zero profile picture since as long as I can remember. I was sure that you were a fan before meeting me. But if I was your introduction, I am very, very honored. I'm glad to have been able to do that for you. Alright, let's go check on Yona. Yeah, the hyperfixation hit hard. Almost two years now. Let's go! One of us. One of us. And now I'm doing the same to you all in chat. Welcome to Nier. <laughs> I hope that you get stuck and never leave. Are rules, even if they are absurd. I don't think they're absurd. Oh? Those rules are important to the masked people. You don't say. I do. And I think it's important we respect that. Yeah. Well, well. The boy is beginning to sound like a man. Yeah. Boy? I'm not a kid, you know. Hey, less talking, more walking. What kind is it? <laughs> I've always wanted to know about Nier, but never got to play it, so watching you helps a lot. Yay! I will be your guide. If Vice w doesn't want to be a tour pamphlet, then by lord, I will be that pamphlet for you. Wish Dragon Guard games had PC ports. Me too, buddy! Please give me give me re-releases of Dragon Guard 3 and 1. Or even better, remake. You did a near remake. Why not a Dragon Guard remake? It will be cool. You can get a really good action team on it. Like make it a proper Muso game that isn't so clunky. Like I would eat that up. I would buy four copies. I can't wait for a Dragon Guard playthrough. Trust me, I have been trying to make it happen, but because it's an old game, it's very tricky. Still, I'm 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 so glad that I'm able to play near. Right, thank you very much for the super chat. So happy to see my favorite boy stream my favorite game. I just wanted to thank you for using my thumbnail. It was my first time making one. Yeah, I'm glad that you liked it. The stream has been so fun. I love hearing your commentary. Thank you so much, and thank you for the thumbnail. I thought it was so cute. Please remake. I know me remake. Please. Save me, Yokotaro. Yokotaro. Yokotaro, save me. Yona? Okay, you're still here. That's good. Yona? Oh, hey. How are you feeling? Better. Now that I'm taking the medicine you brought. Huzzah. Good. Stay here today. Of course, I can stay. You bet. Really? 
you'll stay with me? Really? Hmm. Yeah, Yona. I'll stay. Yay! <laughs> Cute. Now get back to bed. Okay. He's such a good brother. I wish I had a brother like that. <laughs> I don't talk to Izuru Aniki very often, unfortunately. Right. So, we've had hack and slash or character action. We've had bullet hell. We've had twin stick shooters. Now? Text adventure. I hear a voice. I squint and see a boy standing before me. His hair is silver. His skin is pale. And he stares up at me with glassy eyes. Soon... His lips begin to move, but no sound comes out. What is he saying? I can't hear him. I can't hear him. I can't hear him. I can't hear him. I can't. I can't. I can't. I try to leave, but something about the boy holds my gaze. I watch his face, expressionless, as his lips slowly flutter. What is he trying to say? It. Wait. It's a phrase. I can almost make it out. It starts with an S. Then there's an E. I can almost see it now. The letters begin to fall together. One after the other, faster and faster. Sealed. Verse. It's a sealed verse. The thing I'm looking for. The key to saving my sister. I stare at the boy with re renewed ferocity, trying desperately to make out his next word. Dream. Dream? What? What the hell does that mean? The lips move again. Faster now. I can't follow them. Damn it. I can't make it out. I want to scream. I want to tear the walls down around me. But instead, I force myself to be calm. I can do this. I can do it for Yona. Slowly. Ever so slowly. I parse out the letters that make up his final words. Forest of Myth. The next morning. I could listen to an audiobook if you voiced it. Thank you! That's a very, very sweet compliment. Thank you so much. Just a dream. Even in my dreams, I'm hunting sealed verses. Must really be on your mind, huh? Morning. M morning, Yona. What's wrong? Are you feeling sick too? Nah, I just had a weird dream. No, I just... I had a strange dream. What was it about? It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Because I had a dream too. Oh? Oh yeah? Yeah. Me and this boy were playing a game together. What kind of game? It was called Guess the Words. I think he made it up, because I never heard of it before. That sounds awfully similar. How did it work? The boy would move his mouth, but no words would come out. Then I had to guess what he was trying to say. It was hard. I wanted to play hide and seek, but we had to play his dumb game instead. Huh. So what did he say? I don't know. All I could figure out was dream and forest of myth. But don't worry. I'm going to study hard so that next time I can figure out everything. We should play a game together sometime, too. You got it. Sure, Yona. I'm ready to make that stew anytime. Oh, crap, right. I need the ingredients for that. All right. Side questing time. Let's get Yona her ingredients. Something troubling you, lad? It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Come on. I need to go ask Popola something. All right. Side quest time. Let's see, uh, vice, incomplete quests, Yona's cooking. So we need one venison and one wheat. Where can I find that? Maybe in the village? Surely they must have some sort of, like, raw materials I can buy. And if I'm short on cash, I can just <gasps> do a quest. What's your favorite music in Nier? Oh, that's a good one. Ooh, that, that is a good one. In 
a replicant, I'm not sure if I could pick. There's too many good ones. I really uh, like... Oh, no, I can't say that. That's a spoiler. Never mind. Oh, right, the dog. I forgot. Excuse me. Have you seen the old man who lives here? You mean Granddad? He passed away. Oh. His heart finally gave out on him. Oh, man. Looks like he went with his best friend after all. Here, hold on a second. His dog had this leaf in his mouth when we found him. That's the herb Granddad used for his heart medication. <laughs> Max must have been fetching it for him. Well, I suppose I owe you a great deal. I can't give you much, but I hope you'll accept this. Such a faithful animal. You think Max and Granddad are together in heaven? I do. I'm sure of it. Yay, quest complete. <laughs> uh, we don't deserve dogs. Let's see. Popola? No, that's Devola, of course. Hey, Devola, can I ask you a favor? You're asking me for a favor? Well, now I've heard everything. What's up? I heard you and Popola used to sing at the tavern. I never got a chance to hear it, so... Wait, you want to hear us sing? <laughs> Popola's been swamped lately, so I haven't sung with her in forever. Well, now is the time as good as any, right? But hey, if she's up for it, I'm willing. All right. Hmm, what... Which job should I give you first? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about that. Okay, let's go check on Popola. Devil and Popola karaoke collab. Hey, I want to see that. We <laughs> look at all these flips. We <laughs> do a flip. I did it. I did another one. Backflip? Yay. Nier came back. He came home to see me. Yay. Aw. <laughs> Yona. Hello there. Hmm. What's up, Popola? Oh, hi. I just got a strange letter in the mail. Oh. Dearest Popola, I hope this letter finds you well. I'm writing in hopes of bringing to uh, your attention a certain dream issue of concern regarding recent events in Dream the Village. I was hoping I might be dream able to get your advice dream on the matter. Recently there have been dream reports, dream dream of a certain dream 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 evil curse, evil, and dream someone, hmm. That is certainly one bizarre piece of writing. Who's it from? The mayor of a small village in the Forest of Myth. It's a wooded area up north. The Forest of Myth? Huh. They're usually a bright and cheerful group of people. Something like this is very out of character for them. I have a bad feeling about this. I'll check it out. Uh, you will? But... Don't worry about it. I've got business there anyway. Oh. Oh, well, all right. Oh, right. Thank you. A sealed verse, right. Man. It's to the point where... <laughs> man. <laughs> screw, screw Minecraft, man. It's to the point where... Dream doesn't even sound like a real word anymore. <laughs> hey there. You mind giving me a hand with this? Sure. Book smarts. Sure. What's up? Hopula asked me to organize her bookshelves, but it's kind of a big job. I'm hoping you can take care of a few of them. Here. This book goes in the second shelf from the left on the east side of the second floor. What, what was it? 
Take that book to the second shelf from the left on the east side of the second floor. It's east side of the second shelf, shelf from the left. On the east side. It should be here, right? Or not? Is it? Okay, no, east. East side. This is east. Here we go. Here's the spot. There we go. Does anyone else have that problem where they gotta, like, go in a circle and just go never eat seaweed? The first book is all set. Thank you. Now take this book to the third shelf from the right, on the south side of the first floor. Hey, Vice? Yes, lad. Aren't you all powerful? Can't you just, you know, use magic to zap this place into shape? The infinite power of Grimoire Vice is not to be used for such trivial tasks. This isn't trivial. You are the one so enamored with hard, honest work. <laughs> what was it again? Take that book to the third shelf from the right on the south side of the first floor. South side, first floor, third shelf from the right. Okay, south. One, two, three, here. Here we are. Alright. Just say you don't wanna do it. That's what I'm saying. Come on, Vice. Just say you don't wanna. Or maybe he maybe he can't, and he's just too embarrassed to not say that. The second book is back where it belongs. Oh wow. That's a huge load off my mind. It's always nice to meet someone else who appreciates the value of a good book. You my sh my short-term memory could never honestly say my short-term memory is abysmal. Anyway, here's your reward. Nice. Easy enough for a quest. Actually, I forgot something. Hold on. Hold on, Popola. Popola. I forgot. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Popola! I have a duet request. Can I ask you a favor, Popola? Sure. What is it? I heard you and Devila used to sing together at the tavern, and I was wondering... Oh, goodness. Well, yes, it's true we used to sing there, but I haven't done that in some time. Well, guess good as reason of any to do it again. Too busy? That's part of it. But also, I need a certain drink before I can sing in public. I'm a little shy, if you know what I mean. Ah, you need a little bit of liquid courage. I get it. Well, that should be no problem, right? It's a tavern, after all. Actually, the stuff I like to drink is pretty rare. Still, they used to order it from the tavern in Seafront from time to time, so you could try asking there. Five shots? Nah, we just need two shots of vodka. <laughs> okay, seafront. Adult juice? I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> that, uh, that doesn't sound quite right. Okay, this shouldn't be too bad going to seafront. We do have a boar after all. Adult juice reminds me of Miss. Oh right, little misfortune. I forgot. Is there fall damage? Nope. But you do fall on your butt if you fall from too high of a, from too tall of a height. High of a height? How do you say that? Too high a place? I got a letter from Nier today. He's in a faraway town where he can see the ocean. I hope I get to see the ocean someday. I bet it's huge. I hope Yona gets to see the ocean as well. Strong butt muscles? Uh, maybe. Either that or he has a very soft butt for, to not take fall damage. Sorry! Starving. A city of this size must have some manner of eatery nearby. Near beach episode when? Uh, wait for it. 
this to this is just we'll wait until we get later in the game. Excuse me, do you know Popola? I'm trying to find a drink she likes. Sure, I know Popola, and I know the drink too. Sadly, I don't have the ingredients on hand. It's a bit of a special brew. Hey, hi again, Sam Regal. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. But if you wanted to fetch me those ingredients, I'd be happy to whip some up for you on the house. Oh, great. What do you need? That's five lizard tails and five mouse tails. Now, why would you need that? No, I mean, what do you need for the drink? <laughs> yeah, I know it sounds crazy, but those are the ingredients. Okay, then. Well, if you say so. Five lizard tails, five mouse tails. How many do I have? Uh, I have two mouse tails, and I need five lizard tails. Okay. Tails? Yeah, I don't know. Apparently, this is what's needed for the brew. Okay, sure. How do you even juice the tails? I don't know, maybe it's a long drink. <laughs> Damn it, Ike. <laughs> this is what you signed up for. Need to find lizards. Keep your eyes open. Be on the lookout for any lizards. Lizard, lizard, lizard. No lizards, huh? No lizards anywhere? Well, that's terribly disappointing. What? What's your problem? Leave me be! They disappear once you start looking for them. It's always the case! There wasn't a single lizard out here! That sucks! There's nothing! No lizards? How's it going see? Oh, there's eggs. No, never mind. It's just little chickens. I got a bane seed. Okay, I know there's lizards at the eastern gate, so I'm gonna go check there. And I need to find something, all of a sudden they disappear from the face of the earth. Yep. Even when it's something simple as like, oh, I need to find my phone, it just up and vanishes. One time I got bit by a lizard. Oh, that sucks. I'm sorry. Hopefully it didn't get too hurt and the lizard wasn't dangerous. I wish I could meet the kind lady Nier told me about. I bet she's really nice and always says nice thing. I wonder if that was what wa mom was like. Uh, how about that, Yona? Ooh, lizard! That's one. Any other lizards? Oh, there! I see! I, 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 I gotcha, I gotcha. Any more lizards? No? That's fine. Let's see if we can find some more over here. None here. Okay, let's head back. Maybe maybe they respawn. Maybe they respawn. Devil and Pope like came to keep me company. They even sang a song for me. Aw. You're a wizard, Harry. <laughs> You're a lizard, Nier. <gasps> lizard! 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 Nice. 
Any other lizards I can get my hands on? Any ones? Any at all? Ooh. Ooh. Get over here! Oh, I gotcha! There we go. Now, if I remember correctly, the mouse tails are at the junk heap. I think there should be another lizard down here. Yep, there it is. Okay, I think that's enough. Nope, not the lost eggs. Ballad of the twins. Yep, got the lizard tails, and I need three mouse tails. It's been five hour hours? It doesn't feel like it. Oh yeah, so it has. I barely even noticed. Whoop. Okay, we gotta take a stroll to the junk heap. We don't have fast travel, unfortunately, so we're just gonna have to walk. That's uh, one thing that you gotta get used to if you're gonna be playing near and do the side quests. There's a lot of fetch questing. You're gonna have to run all over the place. It's just so much fun. Yeah, I agree. Off we go. Towards the junk heap. I don't know what we hit there, but apparently we hit something. Was it Kaine? I would hope not. <laughs> If I do that, I would have to sleep with one eye open. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, time for some mouse tails. Let me just pick up whatever the heck this is from copper. Any mouse tails over here? New. No. And in here, I guess. Okay, keep your, keep your eyes out. Should be some mouse tails around here. Oh, there. That's one. I need three. Oh, there's another one. Might. Two. One more. It's okay, we can just re-enter and get the rest. Weren't there some near facade? I don't think so. I don't remember. But that's alright. Let's just back out and grab another one. Then we should be able to leave here and go back to seafront. Okay, mouse, mouse, mouse. I heard one. There it is! Okay, I think that's everything. Right. Back to seafront we go. Mouse meat skewer, I guess? I mean... In the apocalypse, I can think of worse things to eat. Popola sent me a book about a big tree. I hope it has a happy ending. Oh yeah, nothing worse than a sad tree. Speaking of trees, we're going to be seeing a tree soon. Superhero landing. We eat mouse meat, though. I mean, I'm sure there's places that do that. I've never had mouse meat, but I... I hesitate to think that it's that bad if prepared if prepared properly. The weather looks so like warm, like there 
Like, the lighting is so different. Like, it's not as gray as it usually is. I appreciate it. It's nice to have a little splash of color. Probably tastes like chicken. Isn't that a thing that people say that most foreign things that people usually don't eat kind of taste like chicken? Like, I know some people that have eaten dog said that it tastes like a little bit like chicken, too. And apparently, like, people have asked really weird, strange, sick people what human tastes like. And, uh, apparently human also tastes a little bit chicken-like. Frogs taste like chicken. We'll see the more you know. Yay, I didn't run them over this time. So chicken is the standard. More or less. Human tastes like pork. Why do you know that? You, you said that with such confidence that I gotta ask question. That, that, like, you, you were very sure about that fact, so I, I, I don't want- I just wanna know. I wanna ask. <laughs> like, you didn't- like, you didn't skip a beat. You knew instantly, like, no, 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 it tastes like pork. Here's your ingredients. Don't ask. I'm asking. What kind of drink uses this stuff? The way I had to stop when I realized what you read. <laughs> oh, it tastes just as extreme as it looks. These humans oh, are also called long pigs by certain people. Long pigs? Huh. That's a new one. Anyway, tell Popola I'll have this stuff sent over to the village as soon as it's ready. Okay? Got it. All right, cool. A drink with a lizard's tail inside certainly sounds impressive. <laughs> yeah, Popal is really something when she starts drinking. Yeah. Surely you jest. No joke. Once she got so plastered, she practically destroyed the shop. <laughs> Knocked down a wall and everything. Does alcohol affect Devla in the same manner? Devla is more of a lightweight. If she has even a little. She starts acting all cute and meowing like a kitten. Devil, huh? For true. For true. Alcohol is a fearsome chemical indeed. I like that even that like, Vice is too proper, so he doesn't say for real. So he, sa he says, for true. Also, Devola acting like that, I cannot imagine it. FT, FT. <laughs> for true, for true. Do we check with Devola then? Which job should I get? Come back. Okay, I guess not yet. I bring it to Popola, I guess. Hey, you're for true. Say psych right now. <laughs> what would be a very, very old fashioned way of saying say psych right now? I, mean, I guess surely you jest is more or less say psych. Let's see if Popla is down to get plastered. Blasphemy. <laughs> I guess that works. Hey, Popola. The tavern's got your drink. Oh, that's great. Let me get Devil and then we'll head on over. Guys ready to hear the twins sing together? the duet
one th cool thing about this arrangement of Song of the Ancient, it only plays this one time. They made a whole ar arrange for this one part of the game. This screen, as soon as you leave this screen, you are never hearing this arrangement of Song of the Ancient ever again. I love the effort there. They didn't have to do that, but they did. Should we finish singing? Not yet. Oh, so beautiful. Reminds me of back when I was a lot younger, it does. Prettier, too. Such an unusual sound. I feel like I could listen to this song forever. Aw. I hear that. Funny how she can't sing it unless she has that crazy drink, huh? Hey, somebody needs a little li li liquid courage. And yet, somehow it feels oddly familiar. Well, that was fun. Hopefully it won't be so long until the next time. Fingers crossed. There we go. Heavens, what a thrill. I had no idea those two had that in them. What a thrill. Me neither. Ballad of the Twins is complete. Cool. What are we doing now? I forgot. What were we doing? Oh god, here we go. <laughs> it is... He has arrived. <clears throat> Thank you very much, James, for the super chat. Sir Grimoire Vice's mannerism is that of a noble gentleman. I'm sure him and I would have a great time during tea break, should the occasion arise. I'm sure you would, James. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. All right, where are we going? Um, oh, right, forced a myth. He's vice in an alternate universe. <laughs> I don't know about that. Hey, James, are you a book? Are you a floating tome? I must inquire. <laughs> Vice and James collab when? Okay, Forced of Myth should be over here. Get out of my way! I have to save Yona! Calm down. You cannot prevail if you are blinded with rage. Onwards! Hmm? All right, here we are. If you're sleepy, maybe you want to have a cup of coffee. The music here is very calming. It sure is quiet here. Such silence bodes ill. There's trouble on the way. I'm certain of it. You know, a little optimism now and then wouldn't hurt, Vice. Such cheek. <laughs> this is my melatonin now. <laughs> I mean, if you're trying to sleep, then sure. Excellent. Thank you very much. Hi, I just wanted to say thank you for streaming today. It's giving me so much comfort. I love, uh, much love always. Thank you. Thank you very much. If I'm able to give any sort of comfort, then I am nothing but happy. Hmm? Hi there. Okay. Not much of a talkative person. I get it. Um, hello? Real bright and cheerful. Oh, Vice. Okay, so... Clearly this isn't working. Are you wearing glasses? Huh. So glasses exists in this time, huh? Those who 
dream. Those who dream? Hold a moment. There is a strange new sensation in my mind. Oh, oh god, the screen is getting taken over. Vice's voice rose in a quizzical way. It is not quizzical. Oh, my bad. What's going on? The villager's body shuddered as he slowly opened his eyes. Perhaps we should start by asking this man. Uh, who are you? We heard something happened to this village, so we came to see if we could help. The mayor stared at Nier and Vice. If you can speak to me, I must have caught you in my dream. In your dream? The mayor explained. In the past weeks, a mysterious disease called the Death Dream had spread across the forest of myth. Those who caught it were cursed to fall asleep and live forever within the world of their own dreams. The village mayor had determined the death dream was spread from person to person by spoken words. Before he could learn more, the disease took him as well. Vice stared at the mayor, his mouth twitching slightly. Now see here. He said. Are you saying that we have been absorbed into your dream? Well, yes. Said the mayor. I think you have. In other words, said Nier. Caught the death dream? Before the mayor could confirm Nier's suspicion, Vice exploded with rage. Ridiculous. Preposterous. Completely unfathomable on every conceivable level. I don't even recall falling asleep. That's just how the death dream works. Though polite, the mayor was clearly trying to brush aside the book's remarks. My remarks are not to be brushed aside, fool. How about I be the judge of that? The mayor twisted his mouth into an embarrassed grimace, then quickly changed the subject to who Nier had seen and what they had discussed since coming to the village. Something there must have caused you to enter my dream, said the mayor. A certain conversation, a specific word. Something. Nier and Vice racked their brains, but could find no easy solutions. There were simply too many words to consider, too much random chatter, too many meaningless conversations. Grimoire Vice does not engage in meaningless conversations. I do think you do, Book. The mere suggestion that Vice chose his words carelessly seemed to sting his pride. It does not seem to sting my pride, you bloated gasbag of a narrator. You wanna fight, bro? It has demolished it utterly. Okay. Irritated, Vice looked skyward, as if searching for answers in the heavens. I was doing no such thing. Just leave me alone already. The anger created by his harsh words bled over to near like a contagion. Wait, said Nier suddenly. Did someone just say contagion? Yes, I believe so. What of it? Well, the villager told us to watch out for contagious words, right? The mayor leaned forward with renewed interest, pushing a start of vice aside in the process. He must have said something, right? Asked the mayor. Some specific combination of words. What was it? It was about dreaming, or something that dreams, or... What the hell was it? A sheep? Cried Vice suddenly, blurting out the first thing that popped into his head. The others stared at him for a moment before slowly shaking their heads. After a few more minutes of thought, Nier's face suddenly lit up. I remember, he said. Those who dream. That's what he said. I'm sure of it. At this, the mayor produced a thick sheaf of papers from his pocket. He flipped through them a few times before finally nodding his approval at Nier. That sounds right, he said, as a stray sheet of paper fluttered to the ground. My notes also mention something about that. I bet it was the last thing you heard before falling before you fell asleep. The mayor shook his head, his worn pencil stub tracing lines across a lone piece of paper. For the last month, I've done nothing but study the disease we call the death dream, he said. I mean, 
I'm the mayor, right? It's my job to protect the people from whatever comes along. But I never expected a couple of outsiders to start entering people's dreams. The mayor paused, a grimace crossing his face. I should probably be taking notes or something. Vice immediately fired back. I applaud the force of will it takes to research a disease in your dreams, he said. But perhaps we should bend your efforts to escaping this place instead of trying to understand it. The mayor's hand tightened around his pencil, snapping off the tip. I have tried to escape. From the very first moment I realized I was locked inside my own dream, I have been looking for a way out. But I don't think it exists. I mean... This is my dream, right? If there was an exit, I'd known about it. He paused for a moment, his unfocused eyes staring at nothing. My village was beautiful, he said to no one in particular. And it was filled with the most wonderful people you could ever hope to meet. But once this disease took hold, things changed. It's like someone took a sponge and soaked all the color out of our lives. I just want us to be whole again. I want us to be free. And I won't stop trying until it happens. Mir nodded in agreement. Huh, wait a second, I didn't nod. Look, if we can be of any help, said Nir, just ask. Now, hold on, I did not just say that. Silence, cried Vice. The grimoire looked from near to the mayor and back again, his face filling with confidence. Grimoire Vice, as his face is always confident, thank you very much. Now as you see here, mayor, you told us nothing can exist in this dream without you knowing about it. But yet, you seemed surprised to see us when we first arrived, yes? The mayor slowly raised his head, realizing da realization dawning on his face. Oh my god, he said. You're right. You're right. I had no idea you were coming. The human imagination is a limitless engine, said Vice, and dreams are the fuel. If you can imagine an exit, then it must be so. With your permission, we shall search it out. Thank you, said the mayor. I don't know how I can repay you. Payment is not required. We are as eager as you to be done with this place. The mayor suddenly felt as if he could breathe again. He'd almost forgotten what it was like. Good luck, you two, he called at the departing forms of Nier and Vice. We're all counting on you. As Nier slowly faded into the misty forest, the mayor was struck by a sense of deja vu. I saw this man once before, he thought. But where? Nier's mood darkened as he trudged through the forest. Hours earlier, when the beauty of the place was still a new thing, he'd been confident they could get in, find the exit, and be home in time for dinner. But the deeper they went, the more the forest closed in around him. The mist made it difficult to see more than a foot in any direction, and moss-covered rocks seemed to be determined to twist his ankle. More than once he'd been forced to steady himself on the rough bark of a tree, and, this ha and his hands now felt small trails of blood on everything he touched. <sighs> Additionally, Vice was proving to be a spectacularly po poor traveling companion. Unhindered by either terrain or physical effort, he spent most of his time urging Nier to pick up the pace and grumbling about their slow progress. Finally, after Vice muttered something about legless turtles being more adept at navigating the environment, Nier snapped. Okay, Vice, cram it for a second, would you? You don't have to walk. Nier leaned against a tree and tried to stretch the knots from his back. How can this stupid forest be so big? He muttered to himself. 
The moment the words tumbled from his mouth, a cacophony of insects sprang to life. Every imaginable form of buzz, click and hiss roared out at a volume that rattled his teeth. Nier slapped his hands over his ears and screamed to be heard. Vice, what's going on? Nier could see Vice's mouth moving, but he might as well have been shouting in a tornado. The insects screamed. The forest howled. And then, just as Nier's ears seemed to be ready to tear out from his head and go running for cover, the sound diminished. Hesitantly, he removed his hand from his left ear and listened to the creatures of the woods. Zree, 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 zree. Shark, shark, shark. As the insect symphony dimmed another decibel, Nier began to detect patterns in the sound. This isn't random, he thought. It's not just white noise. It's something else. The insects weren't just calling out. They were asking a question. One with it is lacking. Two with it is ideal. Three with it is dangerous. What is it? By my pages, is this a riddle? I guess so. I mean, it feels sort of forced, but maybe it's the key to getting out of this place. Then I leave it to you to answer. One with it is lacking, two with it is ideal, three with it is dangerous. What is it? The answer is... A secret. Inwardly furious that Vice left the task to him, Nier sighed and gave the only answer that made sense. It's a secret, uh, right? The sound of insects stopped as suddenly as it began. The forest under undergrowth parted before Nier, like a rippling wave opening a new path. These forest anthropods are making a road for us. Vice said with glee. Pleased at passing the test, Nier moved on with new intensity. The path offered his body relief of the undergrowth, or from the other growth, but gave even greater cheer to his mind. As long as they were on a path, their journey had a purpose. I guess the forest has accepted us, huh? Nier said after a bit. Vice spun around to face his companion. Do not mistake the will of this forest for some happy pet you can suddenly befriend. We have no idea where this path leads. As Vice finished speaking, a pair, the pair turned a corner and found themselves facing a clear forest spring. Smiling, Nier picked up a small rock and sent it skipping across the surface of the water. Good heavens, said Vice. His surprise was understandable. Each time the rock struck the surface of the water, a musical note rang out. When the rock finally stopped moving and sank to the bottom of the spring, the ripples it left behind came together to form words. I enter through the window, but I break no glass. When night falls, I vanish. What am I? Absurdly easy, balked Vice. Now answer it. Nier grit his teeth and tried not to reach out to strangle his companion. He's right. After all, this one is pretty easy. I enter through the window, but I break no glass. When night falls, I vanish. What am I? Sunlight. A plume of water suddenly burst from the spring. Sunlight filtered through the trees and reflected off the plume creating a shimmering rainbow that spanned the entire horizon. In all my years, said Vice softly, I have never seen such a sight. Perhaps I have misunderstood the intentions of this place. Hey, look, cried Nier, awakening Vice from his daze. There's a house or something over there. 
Glancing in the direction of his friend's extended hand, Vi saw a small cottage nested among the trees. That's weird, isn't it, Vice? I mean, who'd build a house all the way out here? Nier walked over and pounced on, pounded on the door. After a minute of solid banging, the door cracked open and a small man peered out. His body was cloaked from neck to toe in a large black cape, while his face was obscured by mist. Hmm. Um, began Nier, but before he could... Yet any further, the cloaked man held a hand up and began speaking. I have four legs in the morning, two at noon, but end the night with three. What am I? Nier tried to ask the cloaked man who he was and what he was doing here, but he simply repeated the question. If we were to engage this man in conversation, said Vice, it seems we must answer his riddle. Yeah, I suppose, said Nier. Well, I guess it's an easy one. I have four legs in the morning, two at noon, but end the night with three. What am I? A man, a demon, an angel. A man, right? I feel like that's, that's true, right? Why would it be a demon or an angel? Mm. A man. The mist dissolved from the cloaked figure as he spoke a single word. Correct. With that, the man flung his garment aside, revealing his true identity. Y you're the mayor, cried Nier. The small man slowly shook his head. I am not the mayor you know. Now listen to my words. Long ago, I saw a version of you that was not yourself. Um, sorry? What's that mean? It will make sense in time. At present, I simply congratulate you on cracking the seal to the death dream. Now I must go to the person at the forest entrance. With that... The man turned on his heel and slammed the door behind him. As Nier watched, mist seeped up from the ground and enveloped the cottage, erasing it from existence. When Nier and Vice returned from to the forest entrance, they found the mayor leaning against a tree. As soon as he caught sight of the duo, he sprang to his feet and scrambled over to, to them. Good gravy, he cried. You made it! You actually made it back! His hand, his left hand grasped Nier's and pumped it so fiercely it threatened to dislodge from the socket, while his right seized Vice by the cover and swung him through the air. God, by the heavens! Stop shaking me, fool! We have not even told you if we were successful or not! The mayor smiled broadly and shook his head. I'm just happy you're alive. I didn't think I'd ever see you again. Nier withdrew himself from the mayor's eager handshake with a slight smile. We broke the death dream seal, he said. At least, I think we did. The mayor's face beamed as Nier filled him in on, one, on the details. When the tale was done, the three of them laid down on the forest ground and fell asleep. Nier cocked his head. Okay, hang on a second. This is crazy. Why would we just lay down and go to sleep? Cease your endless, endless prattle and go to sleep, fool. Fighting against the rules of this place is futility itself. Nier and the mayor obediently reclined atop the grassy earth. Have you forgotten, continued Vice, this is words that can... It is words that control the death dream, words that allow us to move from place to place. No matter how unnatural they seem, the words are absolute. Therefore, if the words tell us to sleep, then sleep we shall. And once we do, the story will continue. With that, the trio found their eyes growing heavy, 
their breath slowing. This is the first time, began the mayor, the first time I have felt tired since I was imprisoned here. His words were cut off by a loud, long yawn, and he remembered nothing more. They might have slept for an hour or a year. When they awoke, things had a slightly more real quality to them. The mist felt thicker, the leaves greener. It was clear that they had awakened from their dream. Nier shook the mayor's shoulder gently. Good news, he said. I think we made it. Oh, wow, said the mayor in an awed voice. We did. I'm back. He blinked once and then again, as if not quite believing the sight before him. You two have no idea how much this means. The death dream was spreading throughout our village, and I wanted to, well, I thought I could figure out how to stop it, but... I guess that wasn't the case. I must have caught the disease and become trapped in my own dream. The mayor started to stand, then collapsed back on the earth. He stared at his leg, as if trying to remember how they worked, and glanced at Nier and shrugged. Without a word, the young man reached down and pulled the mayor to his feet. Real life may take some getting used to, said the mayor as a wry smile crossed his lips. You shall relearn in short order, I'm sure, said Vice. For now, you should return to your home and rest. No, said the mayor, swaying on unsteady feet. No, I can't. Some of the villagers are still tra trapped in the death dream. I have to save them. The mayor slowly made his way to the divine tree in the center of the village, and bowed his head and prayed silently. This is a holy tree, he explained when the prayer was finished. It's the guardian of our village history and memories. Superstition will only make our mission harder, muttered Vice. We should not put our faith in gods. The mayor shook his head. Not the gods. The words. Legends say that our tree is home to a powerful magic known as a sealed verse. Nier and Vice could not contain their surprise. It seemed a goal had been found in the most unexpected of places. I say, muttered Vice, this is certainly a stroke of luck. As the th three of them said their goodbyes, Nier mentioned the strange man who had given them the third riddle and the mysterious words he had left them with. I once saw a version of you that it was not yourself, muttered the mayor. What in the world does that mean? Lost in thought, he stared into space for a long moment. You know, he said softly, this is going to sound odd, but I had a feeling I'd seen you before too. Nier tried to keep a straight face and failed, but the mayor didn't seem to notice. Deja vu, right? Eventually, I figured it's just some kind of illusion created by the death dream. It probably doesn't mean anything. Nier and the mayor gave a nod and a smile, but inwardly his thoughts were racing. There's something wrong about the mayor and his words. And exactly what what exactly is going on here? That riddle would prove to be the most difficult one of all. Oh, thank you so much. Now I can finally return to a normal life. This is one of the most bizarre diseases I have ever encountered. We did it! I know. That's why we have to help the other villagers, no matter what. Oh, we got a sealed verse from that! Yeah, if you can't believe it. That was a boss fight. We get a sealed verse and everything. That is actually a boss fight. The text adventure is a boss fight. And it's not even the only one. I'm not even joking. That's not even the only text boss fight in the game.
dark executions. Did you guys hear that? I think my neighbor's being loud. Yeah, I think I can hear my neighbor. That's unfortunate. Ren, thank you very much for the super chat. Here's a tip for Ike, the excellent storyteller. Thank you very much, by the way. I thought tip as in, like, advice. I could listen to you talk and never get bored. Well done. Thank you. Hopefully my nar narration was, uh, was to taste. For a sealed verse, that didn't take much effort. And speak for yourself. I had to do all the reading. Yes. If you don't hear it, don't worry. Okay, that's good. Is it the neighbor again? Yeah, but he's not drilling. I just hear him talking very loudly. Thank you, <laughs> Ike Papa, for the bedtime story. Good night. <laughs> Good night. You, you, thank you very much. I'm going to bed. Just wanted to give you a lunar tear, bud. Aw, thank you. Is that an onion? I guess it does look like a lunar tear, bud. But <laughs> thank you for playing the guest game of the world. Hope DOD... Uh, can be remade someday and love you. Thank you very much. I hope DOD gets remade too. It's almost as if someone was guiding us to this village. Yeah, we did. That's true. We did get guided here. We had a dream. Don't overthink advice. Maybe the death dream wanted us to get here. Who knows? We should save so we don't have to do that again. Closing in on six hours, not bad. But we're not done here with the text adventures. We got these guys as well. This person must be dreaming too. Let's help everybody. It would appear that way, yes. Enter this villager's dream? Why yes. Can't say I'm very excited to go back there. I will the say dream world sorta of creeps me out. For anybody, like for those of you that are experiencing near for the first time. Whenever there's a text adventure in the Forest of Myth, I won't say anything beyond this, but pay attention and try to remember as much as you can. That's all I'm gonna say. Perhaps you should spend less time complaining and more time getting on with the mission. Yeah, yeah. I have a goldfish brain, oh no. Well, time to whip out pen and paper. Start taking notes. I have goldfish memory. Well, maybe you can you can collaborate. Maybe you guys can work together. Oh, I just realized that you guys are in the way. I'm so sorry. We're putting you down here for now. During story time, you guys you guys get to sit here. Actually, you know what? Let me just do this real quick. Let's have you guys here. Here for now. Here's where you will be for the story time. <clears throat> I breathe air scented with death and resist the urge to laugh, for I know how it will sound like the words of a madman. How long have I been in this fresh hell? My box, my prison, is tucked beneath a stairway in the long unused catacombs of some infinite castle. Outside, I hear the sounds of a funeral hmm? dirge that plays without end. Light has no place here. Wind is a forgotten friend. I pray for death to come, but he forsakes me. Time passes, and eternity slips in a single tick of the clock. Someone knocks on my prison. Anyone there? I hear an unfamiliar voice say, My savior. I claw at the door of my jail, embedding thick splinters under my ragged nails. I scream for help. I laugh. I sob. Surely this is a product of my adult mind. Surely it cannot be true. Help me, I cry, for the love of all the gods. Help me. Impossibly, I hear the sound of a lock being torn out and falling to the floor. As the door slowly creaks open, I have just enough time to see a silver-haired boy and a floating book before the li light pours inside. My eyes, 
accustomed to blackness, explode with pain, and I'm forced to turn away. Who are you? I ask, shaking hands covering my face. How have you come to this place? I am Grimoire Vice. This is Nia. Long have we been searching for you. Now come, stand. We shall awaken from this nightmare together. The one known as Nier extend his, extends his hand and pulls me from the cell. Though my eyes are slow to adjust to freedom, my ears are as keen as ever. They recognize the staccato sounds of heavy rain. Heavy rain? Jason? I never thought I'd he to hear that again, I whisper. Would that this would that this were not such a terrible storm, said Grimvar Vice. Look at your feet. I force my eyes open and see water pooling around my ankles and lapping at my shins. There's so much of it. Yes, and more comes with every moment we delay. If we do not make good our escape, we shall all drown in the castle. We know you are weak, but you are our only hope to survive this place. Time, that long-forgotten friend, made itself known again. I nodded my head and swore to save my rescuers, no matter the cost. The castle catacombs are a maze, twisting upon themselves like an endless entrails of a giant. I squint down the dim corridors and proceed north. At the end of the corridor, I find a row of twenty gorgeous canopied beds resting atop a carpet of velvet. All are covered in a thick layer of dust and cobwebs. Searching for the door to the next room, I come upon a shapeless mass of gray matter that has been shoved against the side of the wall, and despite my fever, I think I see the outlines of a door just beyond. When I reach out a, f a finger and touch a piece of the mass, it turns to dust and drift away on the wind. Realization slowly dawns, and I fall to my knees and weep. Corpses. I face a mountain of charred and crumbling corpses. I look from the beds and back again until the horror dawns full upon me. Someone has piled these bodies into a tower and set them ablaze. Whether they were alive or dead, I do not know and sanity will not permit me to consider the proposition further. I make a sound, whether scream or laughter I cannot be certain, then my mind grants me merciful blackness, and I find myself opening the door and leaving that most terrible of rooms. I squint down the dim corridors and proceed east. Um, oh crap. North? I squint down the dim corridors. <sighs> I don't know about this one. East? No. West. Maybe? At the end of the path, a row of heavy wooden casks lie on their sides in a dark chamber. Doubtless, they are filled with wine. My thirst roars to life. I cannot remember the last time my parched throat had relief. I scramble to the first cask and pull frantically at the cork. Oh, frantically at the cork, my bad. The theft of a few cups means nothing, I tell myself. The casks will be ruined by the flood regardless. Finally, the cork surrenders to my attack and thick red liquid bursts forth from the hole. This is no wine. This is a blood still warm from the body, whether animal or something else, I cannot say. The foul liquid soon mixes with the rising flood waters, creating a warmth that laps against my thighs. By all the gods, are the rest of these casks filled with blood as well? I lack the courage to confirm my suspicion. Disgust quickly becomes fear as I turn to flee, but my weakened legs betray me sending me toppling into the red ocean below. The smell of death is everywhere, 
It threatens to consume me. I must escape this hell. Crawling on all fours like an animal, holding back screams lest any foulness enter my mouth, I lurch forward through the red waters and out of the room to freedom. I squint down the dim corridors and proceed east. Maybe I should continue east? Maybe north? Let's try north. At the end of the path, the waters rise to my waist, exhausting me both physically and spiritually. I pray that this is the way out. Eventually, I can, st I can stand the sight of the waters no longer, and so turn my eyes upward. Imagine my surprise when I see a series of paintings hanging on the faded plastered wall. Each depicts a person in the prime of life, clad in clothing of the highest quality. The styles, however, are strange to me, leading me to believe that these people had lived long, long ago. One subject wears an outfit that particularly catches my eye. It's constructed by a thin, breezy cloth, decorated with a motif of flowers and birds. While encircling the figure's waist is a leather belt of the most perfect construction. It is a stunning costume even by modern standards. I gaze at the portrait. I am struck by a desire to touch it with my own hands. Yet, as I extend a single finger to the painting, I am gripped by a most unpleasant feeling. <sighs> Staring closely at the image, I see it bend and warp into the f shape of another finger. Something behind the picture is pointing at me. Is it another prisoner? A fellow inmate trapped for eternity in this place? I cannot let it pass, and so I seize the portrait with both hands and throw it into the water. The wall is hollow behind the painting, and inside I can just make out a body. Whether or not this is a prisoner, there would be no rescue. The poor soul is long dead. Scraps of clothing lie on the floor around the bones. Only a small amount of the fabric has survived, but it features the same delicate designs that were depicted in the portrait. I've been admiring a row of corpses blocked from view by portraits of each victim at their pinnacle. Enough. Shielding my eyes, I paddle forward through the water. I squint down the cor dim corridors and proceed south. It has to be east. Right? We tried west, we tried north. Surely it must be east. At the end of the path, I find myself in a great hall with only the sounds of rain for comfort. The waterlogged red carpet squishes beneath my feet as I approach the center of the room. Once there, I behold a beautiful dining table upon which rests china and silver of the finest construction as well as the remains of a fantastic feast. As my eyes continue to adjust, I see many chairs surrounding the table, each holding a dinner guest. Noticing movement, I approach the chair at the table's head, but as the truth of the matter draws, me on, draws on me, I recoil in horror. The host of the feast is a corpse, as are all the invited guests, an army of foul, wriggling insects have made homes in the remains and this is the movement i saw this once splendid feast was now nothing more than a requiem for the damned i take a moment to steady my shaking hands and then slowly back away from the table desperate to lose sight of the abomination before me my gaze lands upon the chairs upon which the dead were seated this is a mistake, for the chairs prove to be even more terrible than the feast itself. Each one is covered with a layer of spikes that run from the seat, up the back, and down the arms. This explains the color of the carpet beneath my feet. 
I can only pray that the unfortunate diners were dead when the meal began. For if not, it is a simple task to envision the agonized screams that must have sprung forth from their mouths. My mind grasps fran frantically at the possibility that these souls had committed some terrible crime for which this was punishment. Though in truth, I suspect they had committed no crime at all. There would be no tomorrow for these unfortunates. This was their last supper. I squint down the dim corridors and head west, north. Water has risen to my chin and now laps greedily at my mouth and nose. You dumb bastard! Shouts near. He surely desires to say more, but the rest of his insult is cut short by the rising water. Grimoire vice, wet and tattered, floats on the water's surface. It is already too late for him. This wasn't. This wasn't how it was supposed to end. Dang it! Like I told you, it's a boss fight. If you mess up, you actually lose. Where does it put us? Well, thank goodness we saved. What is the rule of the directions? Nothing. Pick one and pray. It is pure guesswork. This On the bright side, you get to hear me talk a lot. It would appear that way, yeah. Can't say I'm perhaps you Yeah. I... Are the directions RNG? I don't think so. All right. We've already read this, so let's get to the choices. North. Let's see, we went east. Then we went north. Then we head east again. Oh, wait, this is new. No, wait, never mind. Yeah, this is the dining table. Okay. Um, let's head west. Uh, south? West? Uh, south again? Or east, maybe? Oh, I guess if I take too long, I, I just die. Well, that was unfortunate and very quick. I was just walking back and forth and then I drowned. By the way, I'm curious. Uh, when I'm doing the reading, does it fe genuinely feel like an audiobook? Or is that just something that you guys say? Do you do you do because I li used to listen to a lot of audiobooks? Do you guys do the thing where you just close your eyes and as I'm saying things in your head, you're just painting the scene, sort of like a movie or an illustration? I do that all the time. I know that some people can't do that. Uh, I forget what it's called, but my, uh, I I think it's like between a scale of from like one to five. I don't know exactly where I rank. I think I can picture things pretty vividly in my head. I think I'm at, at like a four or a three. So whenever I listen to audiobooks, that's what I tend to do. Even when I'm reading, that's what I tend to do. That's one thing as a writer that I like doing sometimes. Uh, as tempting as it is to say something like, The man walked up the blue stair. Like, sure, that's fine and all, but I think it's a lot more fun for the reader sometimes if you say, 
the man walked up the stairs. Because when you do that, the reader will specifically paint the scene with a staircase that they themselves think is fitting, that they have been in, that they decide to put into their scene. And I think that makes for a lot more engaging reading. Just the novelist's opinion for the day. This person must be dreaming too. If I actually started streaming six hours ago. So it would seem. Anyway, let's continue. I'm very excited to go back there. That dream world sort of creeps me out. I can't see anything, so it's hard to explain. But your words paint a vibrant sensation that feel what writing feels like. That might be one of the coolest things I've been told in a long time. I mean, it's unfortunate that you have a hard time picturing things, but hey, that's that's that, that's all good. If you're still able to enjoy my silly little narration, then I think that's good. I imagine m manga panels animated as I read. That's really cool. You know what I used to do? When I used to uh, go on walks a lot, because uh, I, I, knew, I knew a certain furry friend that very much liked going on walks. And what I used to do is I, I would listen to music, and as I was walking, I would picture exactly how I would do like an MV for that. Because back then I was super into After Effects. So whenever I would, uh, I would just like walk this little furry friend of mine, I would, uh, I would just picture that. I would give it, do really ambitious and vivid things, only to then proceed to never actually do them. It's a lot more fun to visualize things in your head than actually putting them out in front on paper or actualizing them in any, any sense. There are so many times where I wished that as a motion graphics designer, I can just think things into existence. It would make things so much easier. Prince Violet, thank you very much again. Your voice has a very specific color to it, like water. I also forgot to say this earlier, but congrats for 900k on Maze. Yay! Only 100k more, then it's at a million! Exciting! I think that would make Murio Kupi-san very happy, so let's get it to one mil. And it makes one of my favorite things, one of the most fascinating things about, uh, about uh, humans is synesthesia. We've talked about it before. It's a blending of the senses. So like some people can see sounds as colors or like objects has colors or things like that. A bunch of different things. Actually, uh, the the friend that saved me from my predicament a few days ago does actually have synesthesia. And there's a few times where I've spoken to him and I've shown him like something that I'm working on. Uh, for example, when I showed him some music ones, uh, he's, he told me because I colored I colored the tracks when I did that, and I gave my strings in the song, I gave the, the string track a sort of golden color, like goldenish yellow. And when he sat down, he was like, oh, you colored the strings the right color. And I was like, oh, thanks. I had no idea that I did, but yay. And there was another time, because he also does a little bit of music. One time when he was talking to me, he was like, I, I just made something that sounds awesome. But it's the ugliest thing I have ever seen. <laughs> because apparently it sounded great, but the colors were atrocious. And I was like, I, I'm sorry to have your struggle. I'm sorry that you got to deal with that. He's just like me for real. <laughs> Maybe there's a few of you that have synesthesia. Maybe you've had that problem. When you're just kind of like... <laughs> Oh, this sounds great, but man, is it ugly. <laughs> Friend sounds cool. Yeah, he's really cool. I like him a lot. Freaking mood, man. Oof. <laughs> oh, the pain. I wish I had it. I think it'll help with art. I wish I had it because I think it would help with music. It's a lot easier to, like, figure out what notes there are and develop, like, a good ear for pitch if you have that. It's not necessary, but it does help a lot. Sorry, this became like a little bit of a zatsu, like in the middle of the game. It really does help with music. God, I'm so sad that I will never experience a live orchestra performance with synesthesia. But oh well. Enough about <laughs> synesthesia and envy. Yeah, yeah. 
I just, uh, I just realized this is the st same stream from earlier. I had no idea I streamed this long. Not often, but sometimes. All right, here we go again. Out of curiosity, Synesthesia Gang, what color is my voice when I narrate this text adventure? I'm just curious. Aquamarine. Ooh, I like that. That's pretty nice. I'll take Aquamarine. Let's see. Um, proceed east. North. Uh, west. Oh no, this is the wine room. Dang it, okay. Okay, back to east. Uh, what about east again then? Okay, th this is the execution room with like the dinner table. North. Emerald green, metallic blue. Oh. Purple? Oh, okay. That's interesting. So, it, it's not the same for everybody? Has it have, has there ever been a, uh, like, a thing where one person that has synesthesia and another person, person that has synesthesia disagree over what color something is? I remember my friend telling me once that when he was very young, he didn't know that most people don't have synesthesia. That, like, he didn't know that you're, su you're not supposed to see things that way. So when he was very young and in kindergarten, and you know in kindergarten they have the alphabet on the wall, right? With all the letters. And to make it interesting for uh, kids, obviously, they gave all the letters, like, pretty colors. And it bothered the hell out of him because he was like, All the letters are the wrong colors. Why are they the wrong colors? Me and my cousin? Oof. Heated arguments, I see. I remember you telling that. Oh, I so I did tell that story before. Okay. Interesting how a lot, uh, lot of the colors so far have people interpreting Ike's narrator voice as a cool color. Okay. So no warm color. I've been told that my high notes are a very yellow color. And that my screams are a very deep, dark purple. The person that told me that said that the screams were were so, so intense that it almost was a little bit overwhelming to them. So I felt a little bit bad about that, but I was still grateful that they told me that like, oh, this is what your voice is like. It's very interesting. All right, let's continue reading. <clears throat> Against all hope, we make it to the front door. Break it down, someone cries. And so I give myself to the effort. In tandem with Nier and Grimoire Vice, I slam my body against the thick, sturdy door. On the third try, it gives way, and we find ourselves sprawled on the ground outside the castle. The storm is in retreat. The clouds above are still dark and foreboding, but to the west I can see a thin shimmer of sunlight trying to break through. How can I thank you? I cry as tears of joy rain down my cheeks. I would surely have died in there. Looking down, I suddenly notice that my dress is in tatters, and sheepishly I try to cover my exposed skin. Your dress, asks Vice. Then you're a woman, madame? I am. Oh, I didn't realize until now. I proffer, I proffer at the two with a smile. I suppose that comes as something of a surprise, seeing as how I only exist only in the form of words. I can see that the one known as Nier is disappointed that the torn dress will be given no further description, but he hides it well. <clears throat> Excuse me, Nier? Young man? Near? Focus! What 
with a nod and a shrug, the three of us set, set forth to our awakening. But behind us, an awakening of another kind is taking place. Black smoke fills the abandoned castle, providing the countless damned souls inside with their final shroud. After a moment, the castle's windows shatter with a mighty roar. A fresh breeze blows through the hallways and corridors, clearing the smoke away for good. As we watch in awe, uncountable black shadows slowly flicker to life, crossing to and fro in front of the broken windows. The castle's dead have awakened to their new life as shades. Hmm. Hmm. You have anything to say about that? Uh. Hopefully there will be no labyrinth next time. I hear that. Yay, we did it. Okay, we have one more of these to do. So I'm just going to go save. There we are. Place your bets. How many current viewers in this stream do you think has fallen asleep due to me reading these things? I'm kind of curious. <laughs> There's, there's an evil part in me right now. There's an evil part in me that wants to suddenly make a l lot of really loud noises to wake anybody up. But I, I, will, I will be a good boy and refrain from doing that. And another victim. This work certainly is trying. I already fell asleep during the desert. <laughs> Please don't. I won't. I won't. I figured a book like you would be into all this word stuff, Vice. Even I have my exceptions. Now let's be off. All right. Another text adventure. Here we go. Ooh, Kainas theme. This one is pretty interesting. So if, if you're curious about more lore, pay attention. <clears throat> a colony of massive sculptures was visible in the distance. Their tall forms scraping against the sky. Huh. Vice and Nier had never seen such a sight, and their eyes widen as they try to take it in. Those buildings must be huge if we can see them from this far away. What do you think, Vice? As Vice considered his answer, the sun beat down on them with renewed ferocity. Perhaps they are some manner of mirage, he said. Under, the, under this heat, a mirage or two would hardly be an unexpected sight. Nier nodded and wiped the sweat off his brow, leaving a trail of sand in its place. He thought he'd never been so thirsty. The ancient road which they walked was black and cracked with age. Here and there, thin wisps of grass pushed up through the rocky surface, as if defying those who had laid this material down over their home. The heat reflecting from the road made Nier lightheaded. His feet hurting, he crouched down to rest. I don't know how much longer I can do this. Is someone playing a joke on us or what? The complaining had already begun. Vice tried to not let his eyes roll too much. A joke, he said. No, no joke. This road leads to the city of art. Perhaps the path itself is simply some manner of grand artistic work. You don't sound very sure of yourself there. Perhaps not. But thinking of it in this way might make it easier for you to bear. Nier glanced at Vice's grinning face, shook his head, and resumed walking. As time passed... Nier's feet grew more painful, and his throat drier than he thought possible. He tried not to look further than the next step ahead, because the bright sunlight made him hesitant to trust his own senses. We are definitely getting closer, said Vice, in an effort to cheer his companion. Yes, this much is certain. Encourage. Nier lifted his gaze. Suddenly, he stopped walking choosing instead to stand in the middle of the road with his mouth and eyes wide open and his finger pointing in the distance. Water! he cried. It's water! Water? asked Vice. Pre 
preposterous. I don't see any water. Over there, just ahead of us. Look, the sun is reflecting off it. Without waiting for a response, Nier sprang to life and bounded towards the site. What in the... There was no water. There was nothing but sand in every direction. Oh no, he's starting to see things. It's a Fata Morgana. Mm -mm -mm. Near closed his eyes and sighed as Weiss floated up behind him and chuckled softly. I believe this is known as a mirage, he said. Many a desert traveler has spoken of such things. Nier shook his head, bewilder bewildered. Suddenly, he pointed off in the distance, his eyes open once more. Wait, there it is! I just missed it! Look, it's right there! Nier sprinted off again, leaving Vice with no choice but to follow. After a few minutes of running, Nier came to a halt. I could have sworn it was around right, right around here. Oh, got a burp. Confused, he put his hands up to his eyes and rubbed them vigorously. As soon as he stopped, he noticed a blue shimmering pool of clear water just over the next rise. With a shout, he bounded off in search of it. The chase continued for nearly an hour until exa an exasperated vice finally floated up to Nier and struck him in the face with his cover. Enough, you blithering idiot! Stop this at once! There is no water here! Nier's face clouded. There isn't? There is not! And perhaps next time you will listen to me when I tell you as much. Vice paused for a moment and continued speaking in a slightly kinder tone. However, I suppose this mad chase was not altogether wasted. It seems we have arrived in the city of art. Nier looked up, stretched out before him, was a row of impossibly tall sculptures. Their journey was at an end. They're huge, cried Nier, completely forgetting the heat and pain of the f past few hours. I've never seen anything so big. Each sculpture was formed from roughly the same shape, a tall rectangle that stretched up towards the sky, but that's where the similarities ended. Most were covered with panes of glass, that reflected light in a thousand directions, while others seemed to be nothing more than the frames of steel. Some had tall spires on their tops, while others possessed tri triangular caps. What kind of city is this? said Nier. Where are the people? Where are the houses? Perhaps this land is intended exclusively for artistic use. The debate continued as they made their way through the city. Miracles of artistry were everywhere. Great iron crates with wheels sat silent on steel rails. Beautifully carved works with lights of red, amber, and green dangled over the street. As they moved away from the massive sculptures, they found a great array of smaller ones. Some were covered in glass or brick but many were composed of materials they had never before encountered. The sheer variety of colors and styles were staggering. Unable to find a theme or purpose to these abstract works around them, Nier and Vice eventually fell silent. On the outskirts of the city, they discovered three sculptures in the shape of humans. Nier uttered a sigh of relief as he approached them. Finally! I was getting tired of modern art. Hmm. Are we at the end? I don't know anything about this scene. No, 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 no. Far from the end. There were three statues that were indistinguishable, except for a single word chiseled onto their right arms. 
one red alpha, one red beta, and the final one, red omega, I mean gamma. As Nier moved to touch the nearest statue, a bird flew from the top of one of the sculptures. A lightning, mm, a lightning on the shoulder on the statue's shoulder, it emitted a brief, beautiful song that took the form of words. Only one form is real, the others are false. The real form will always speak the truth. The false ones will only speak lies. And with that, the bird departed. As if on cue, the three statues shuddered to life acquiring color and form as they began to breathe. Hey, look at that, said Nier. They're alive. The triplets bowed low before Nier. Please, said Alpha. You have to get me out of this nightmare. I'm real. Stop lying, said Beta. He turned to Nier and threw his hands in the air. Alpha's a fake. You know, I am the real one. What a load of crap, said Gamma. Beta is fake. Everyone knows I'm the only real one around here. Okay, let's let's think about this. Uh Alpha claims he is real. Beta claims Alpha is lying. Gamma claims Beta is lying. Their respective pleas given, the three statues returned to their frozen state as silence once again enveloped the city. Okay. Which one would it be? So, one will only tell the truth. And one will only ta tell lies. So, Alpha... Let's say Alpha speaks the truth. You have to get me out of this nightmare. I am real. Stop lying, said Beta. So, Beta... If Alpha is telling the truth, then Beta is a liar. Then Gamma says, Beta is fake. Everyone knows that I am the real one around here. Calling Beta fake is also true. Assuming this. Everyone knows that I'm the real one around here. Hmm. If Beta is fake, and Gamma is telling the truth, maybe? Hmm. I'm very stupid. Let's, let's see. Alpha's a fake. I'm the real one. Uh, I'm bad at logic puzzles. Hmm. Okay, so if Alpha is lying and Beta is telling the truth, and then Gamma could be lying and saying that Beta is a fake. So maybe it's. Beta that's telling the truth? I, I think Beta might be real. Because if Beta calls out Alpha for lying, that is a truth. And then when Gamma calls out Beta, calling Beta a liar, that has to be a lie. Then Gamma and Alpha have both told lies. I think Beta is the real one. When you considered all the statements, only one of them could be the real thing, said Vice. Nier furred his eyebrows and considered his answer. Only one form is real, the others are false. 
The real form will always speak the truth. A false one will only speak lies. The real one is Beta. Though Nier's voice betrayed a notice noticeable lack of confidence, he was relieved to see Vice nodding at him. If Alpha was telling the truth, began Vice in the dry tones of a lecturer, Beta and Gamma would be fakes. But in that case, Gamma's claim that Beta is fake would be the truth, even though Gamma is a liar. Therefore, that theory crumbles. Now, let's presume that Gamma spoke the truth. That makes Alpha and Beta liars. In this situation, however, Beta is calling Alpha a liar, which would leave us with two statues telling the truth. Finally, let's assume that Beta is telling the truth. If so, Alpha and Gamma's lies would make sense. Therefore, Beta must be real. As Vice finished his explanation, Alpha and Gamma crumbled soundlessly into dust, while Beta sprang to life once more. Congratulations, villager, said Vice in a cheerful voice. The time to awaken has arrived. Thank you for saving me, cried the villager. He dropped to his knees and bowed his head, as low as it could go before an uncomfortable near pulled him to his feet. Why did you have a dream like this? asked the vice. Have you been in this city before? The villager slowly looked around at the bizarre objects and sculptures that dotted the landscape and shook his head. I... I don't think so. I mean, it's impossible, right? There's no way I could have ever been to a place like this. But at the same time, I... I feel like I've seen it before. Deja vu, muttered Nier, just like the mayor. The vague sense of unease that struck Nier during the mayor's dream spread once more through his mind. That was rough. I am positive I have seen that place before. Okay, what do you guys think? Clearly, that was a city. That was a city with street lights and everything and skyscrapers. Something that apparently to this people, to these people does not exist currently. They have never seen. So how the hell are they dreaming about it? Okay, that's enough. Don't need Okay, there. Now all the villagers can wake up, right? Yes, if the mayor's assumption was correct. I think I've had enough wordplay to last a lifetime. Thank you very much. You're telling me. Anyway, let's go see the mayor. All right, that's the last of that. Let's drop you guys back up here. Like so. There we are. All right. No more text for a while. Hope you enjoyed Ike's narration for the day. Oh, how wonderful. Thank you so much. Here, I have something for you. Oh my god, Faith! Wow, this looks valuable. I can really have it? Of course. It's apparently a weapon some renown, but we have little use for it. Well, we appreciate it. Thank you again for everything. Yo, hold on. Faith. Oh, that's from Drakengard. Oh, but it's weaker. It's weaker than the Beast Bane. Okay, hold on. How fast is my attacks? That's pretty speedy. How fast is Faith? Barely any faster, but it looks so cool. It looks so cool, though. Ah, uh, rule of cool. Rule of cool applies. We're keeping faith. So how was the village? Oh, it was truly magnificent. 
There are no words, really. Ha! Vice cracking jokes, huh? <laughs> Neat. Let's get back to Popola. She'll probably want to know what's going on in there. Ike, you're lagging. I know. It comes and goes. <laughs> Just deal with me being a little, little bit choppy. It'll go away in a bit, I assure you. Alrighty. Back we go. Do you understand now why I decided to spend so much time getting that boar? Imagine how much... Ow! How much running we would have to do across that field if we didn't have the boar. How did Nier go from Shadow Chronicles levels apocalyptic fantasy to Android Girl by Deco by Deco Nina? Uh, don't worry about it. You'll see. Everything makes sense. Hey, do you have time to take this parcel to the Airy? Friend of mine helped me out, and I want to give him something special. Accept the quest? Sure. Fragile delivery. Sure thing. Oh, and this is really fragile, so you need to be careful, okay? Don't go rolling around or getting knocked over or anything like that. Sure. You'll need to take it to the chief's house in the area. It's the house at the highest point in the village. Okay. Ike, no. Ike, yes! Okay, so I can jump. I can attack. I cannot roll, however. I think if I roll, I break it. Crap! That did not sound good. I think we broke something. Well, there is little point in finishing the delivery now. Let's go back and apologize. Oops. Yeah, I guess. Hey, dude, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, but your package got damaged during delivery. Yeah, I thought that might happen. Should have bought the guy a nice steel rod or something. Anyway, I've got another one here, so maybe you could try the delivery again? All right, now let's do it for real. I just wanted you guys to hear that. I feel like I can do this. Like, as long as we don't roll, as tempting as it might be, and then we just speed past on the boar. We should be able to do that, right? Excuse me, pardon me, sorry. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Thank goodness that the package doesn't break because of me flipping around. Oh, good god, the boar doesn't count. Yeah, thank goodness for that. Get these bats out of here. That boar is quick, I know. That's the speediest boar I have ever seen. And I'm very grateful for it. Oh, that's bright. Here we go. Okay, the village chief is up there. Hopefully, I don't run into any shades. Because I do not feel like fighting with a fragile package. If I have to do that, then I'm gonna just use magic and keep my distance. I love when he goes, excuse me, pardon me, sorry. I don't know where I got that from. I think I got it from some sort of cartoon, and then I just kept saying it. I don't remember where from. Up the ladder. Up the ladder we go. It's over. It's all over. That poor girl. What are they talking about? Okay, it doesn't seem like there are any shades. That's good. And here we are. 
That wasn't so bad. Hello, sir. I, I have a package for you. Me? Yes, fine. Just leave it and go. Uh, okay then. I'll just leave it right here. Yes, that counts as him accepting it. I I'll go tell the client we're done. Can I make this jump? I wonder. Oh, almost. Ah, no. <laughs> no dice. Oh, well. Can do this, though. We. I did the same thing my first time there. I know, it looks like you can make it, right? But it's just a little bit too far. I'm sure that there's a strat to make that jump that speedrunners use. I am not aware of it, though. Thank you, Mailbox, for healing me. All right, now. What do we do now? How many sealed verses do I have? I'm curious. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven sealed verses. I'm trying to remember what other ones do we need. I think there's two more that we got again. Oh, sorry. It's very... Oh, clear skies. That's nice. It's like the nicest weather we've had so far. Sorry, sorry, sorry. There's a food shortage, Ike. Well, with all the sheep that I've run over, not anymore. We're all set with your delivery. Appreciate it. Hope everything went smooth. It can be a little weird to strangers, but he's a good guy. I'll heart. take your word for it. Anyway, I've got a little something for you. Oh, nice. 1,400 gold. Okay. And now what? I guess Popola? Here we go. Mm, what time is it? It's closing in on 7. Maybe I should start thinking about dinner. I do have some leftover pizza since the other day. So maybe I'll throw that in the microwave. Popola! The death dream certainly is a strange illness. It's near 1am, I gotta get some sleep. Good night, everyone. Good night! Thanks for staying. Yeah. It was something, all right. Even I, with my natural love for words, have no desire to visit that place ever again. Wow, they really didn't like the Forest of Myth. You guys did well. You've been making a lot of long trips lately. Are you sure you're not pushing yourself too hard? I'm okay. I can't just sit around all day while Yona's sick, after all. Mm hmm. If you say so. So, anything I can do for you? Well, I suppose there is one thing I could use a hand with. The work probably won't happen for a while, but once it's done, we can use the canal for trade and travel and all kinds of useful things. Unfortunately, however, we're a bit behind schedule at the moment. If you're willing to help out, I'd really appreciate it. Oh, uh, sure. No problem. What do you need? Great. So, the man I originally asked to help on this project hasn't shown up for work in a few days. I'm starting to get a little worried. So, maybe you can head over to Seafront and check up on him? I'll mark the location of his house on your map. He always carries a red bag over his shoulder, so he should be easy enough to find. Okay, red bag. We can do that. Got it. Alright, everybody. Red bag. Keep your eyes peeled. I kinda feel like Dora the Explorer sometimes. Do you see a guy with a red bag? 
Where? <laughs> a canal, is it? Fascinating. If we had a ferry, we could put these days of endlessly running about behind us. Don't you just float everywhere anyway? Right. Do you think I am borne aloft by the winds, lad? It takes stamina to maintain this height. Oh, really? Huh. You could at least try to hide the utter dismay, you know. <laughs> that's one thing I love about Yokotaro games. It's all the banter that happens during gameplay. That's why whenever you're playing a Yokotaro game, whether it be Dragon Guard or any of the Nears, if there's chatting during the fight, don't do damage. Wait until they're done talking, then you can go back to hitting the enemy. Because sometimes it is really important. And even when it isn't, it's usually pretty funny. Sorry, sorry. Well, I... Well, I'm going nowhere alarmingly fast. I'm sorry. All right, so what are we looking for here? Oh, that's the guy. But first... There it is. If you're ready to get... Come back if you're... Fish fear me. Let's try this beach. I haven't gone fishing in so long, but I hike you really want to. I want to see if I can, like, maybe get a few Niji buddies and just have them agree to, like, hey, do you guys want to off-collab and just, like, get a cabin in the woods n near a big lake and then just, like, have a fishing trip? I think that would be so much fun. Come on. Oh, that, that, that's, no, this is trash. I know this is going to be junk. Oh, or not. I, oh, a sardine. I wasn't expecting that. Who would be down to do that? I don't know. Thank you for being my sleep, Adai. Have fun and good night. Thank you. I feel like there would be down for some reason. Couldn't really tell you why. Come on. Oh. Maybe Fuchan? Maybe. It would be difficult, though, to do an off coll and collab with that. Because I know that traveling is not the easiest thing for Fuchan. Let's try the earthworm. I keep getting sardines. Fishing is just IRL gotcha. Um, I mean, with gotcha, you can't do anything to increase your chances. There's no pity... pity pulls in, in real life. Okay, I need to find... what was it? Blowfish? Let's see. I need... Seven blows, well, six blowfish. Hmm. Where do I... What... What bait do I need? Just lure... L like, lugworm, earthworm... Oh, see Daisy. The fish got away. Camping and barbecue is the best? Oh, that sounds amazing, actually. Well, that's a nothing. 
I feel like the Aussies would be down to camp and fish. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Ren. Ren would absolutely be down for, down for camping and fishing. He's all about touching grass. Yeah, I can see it, but hey. I feel like when you lived a life that long, <laughs> you kind of... You have your petty card that you're allowed to play. Hmm? I could stare at the sea all day and never get bored. I'm hungry for blowfish, so I brought as many lugworms as I could carry. Oh, That's heck yeah. Those guys seem to like. <laughs> Thank you for telling me that. I didn't catch a thing yesterday, which meant dinner was seaweed wrapped seaweed. I better make a serious haul today, let me tell you. <laughs> seaweed wrapped seaweed, huh? Okay, lugworms, here we go. Uh, just please, no sardines. That is all I'm asking. Okay, come on. Come on. There we go. Oh, this might be it. Maybe. This doesn't feel like a sardine. Is this a blowfish? No, nope, that's a sardine. Well, I guess blowfish are gonna be our gotcha for today. Ooh, this might be a blowfish. This seems like it. Did you go fishing IRL often? Not often. I've only caught two fish in my entire life. Oh, there we go. <gasps> I remember going on a fishing trip with my class when I was very, very young. And I didn't catch anything that trip. But others, they, they straight, straight up landed like entire salmons. They were huge. Their luck was something different that day. I think it's because, like, somebody I knew was, like, really into, like, fishing stuff. And he went to a fishing shop. And I think they kind of, like, scammed him. Because he bought some sort of, like, snake oil thing. Like, not, not literally snake oil, but, like, something that is advertised as doing a certain thing. But it really doesn't make much of a difference and is kind of a bad product. They gave him some sort of, like, some sort of dough. It looked like some sort of Play-Doh that you're supposed to put on your hook instead of something regular, like, I don't know, like an earthworm or something. That was the bait I always went with. And, uh, yeah. We kept using that, and we didn't get a single thing with that. So it was a huge waste of money and time. Maybe if we do do that fishing trip, I should do some research on what are actually decent baits. Man, I am swimming in sardines right now. Give me the blowfishes. My mom used a Cheeto and said, here, fishy, fishy, and believe it or not, she caught something. That's incredible. Hey. Trust the process, I guess. Oh god. That looks like a blowfish. Okay, how many do I got? Uh, vice, quest, fisherman. Okay, I need... Th hmm? Three more. You can fish in Texas and get stuff. You wanna know how bad it is? There was one time when I went to some sort of thing where they brought an entire truck of uh, rainbow trout. It was either that or some sort of salmon. It was t some type of salmon. What the hell am I pulling up here? And uh, even then, like because it was in a tiny, tiny, like sectioned off uh, lake or basically a pond, and everybody was fishing there. People were pulling up fishes every other second or so. And there was a contest with somebody that pulled the biggest fish that weighed the most. We get a prize. And people just kept pulling fishes and pulling fishes. And throughout that entire day, little Ikey 
didn't get a single bite. Could you imagine how crap my luck must be? Looks like a big one. Yeah, there's a big one. I don't know what it is. I think it might be a bream, maybe? This feels like a bream. Come on. I paid for this lugworm. I'm going to make it count. Well, you're whipping back and forth, thinking I'm not going to catch up with you. Well, think again. There we go. Whoa. Yep, that's a bream. That's what I thought. Come on. I want another blowfish. Ah, oh, that's a sardine. Well, we are going to need sardines as bait eventually, so it doesn't hurt too much. Does Finana match if we are fishing her Ryu guards? Nah, I don't think we're fishing for Ryu guards. They're a tough bunch. I don't think I could land those guys. They're too powerful. This might be a blowfish. Yep, that's a blowfish. I got one more bait before I gotta go buy more. Oh, I feel like that might be another blow blowfish. Yeah, I think that's a blowfish. No, that's a freaking bucket. Uh, I thought I, I thought I was fishing. I was not. You're ready to get Give me my lugworms. Come back. Bucket Evelyn made his grand return when I was looking for a blowfish. Two more. Two more. We just need two more. Okay, prayer circle. Blow fish, blow fish, blow fish. That is not a blow fish. Come on. Blow fish. Blow fish. Come on. No, that's a sardine. Dang it. So many sardines. Come on. Ooh. Another sardine. No luck today. Okay, here we go, here we go. This feels like a blowfish. There it is. One more. We just need one more. Sardines love you. They, they truly do. But hey, we're gonna need them as bait at some point, so might as well gather them. So I don't mind getting too many. Oh, that's another blowfish. And we're done. Nice. What's up, old man? I 
got the fish. Fine work, my apprentice. Fine work indeed. Well, as promised, here's your next lesson. And by the way, Pops, what are you doing with all these fish? Huh? I'm eating them. What else would you do with such tasty morsels? I mean, that's good. At least it's not going to waste. Oh. Let's start the second one. Eh? No, oh, right. The next assignment. Go and catch me seven rainbow trout, would you? All right, sure thing. How on earth can one man possibly consume this much fish without growing weary of his diet? What I don't eat, I sell. But I can eat a lot. <laughs> now get moving, apprentice. Them fish won't catch themselves. Speaking of rainbow trouts, yeah, funny how that works out. Aren't blowfish poisonous? Not if they're prepared in a certain way. I know that fugu is a very very delicious fish to a lot of people. It's just that you need a license and you need to go through a lot of training to prepare fugu because if you don't, you can end up killing someone. There he is, okay. Um, hey, uh... Are you the guy who's supposed to help repair the canal? Popola sent me to... Oh god, it's over. My life is over. Why is your life over? Surely you must realize nothing good can come of being involved with this particular endeavor. Vice just knows that Nier is gonna be like, We can help him. Easy, Vice. Hey, so, are you alright? What happened? It's my wife. She left home a week ago and hasn't come back. Oh, that's not good. I'm so worried I can't even focus on my work. Oh, my sweet dumpling, where are you? I don't like the way you said that. Oh, that's terrible. Would you like us to help you look for her? Really? You do that for me? Sure. Er, but do you have any idea where we should start? Yuri Lowenthal again? This is not Yuri Lowenthal. Well, she always used to enjoy drinking at the tavern with her friends. At least I don't think it is. It sounds nothing like him. All right, then I guess we'll start with them. Thank you. This means the world to me. Oh, and by the way, my wife always carries a red bag just like mine. If you mention that, it might ring some bells. Okay. I've met some odd couples in my day, but none who felt the need to wander about flaunting matching luggage. It's not that out there, Vice. If only you knew what was going on in the 2020s. People want to have matching Louis bags and all that jazz. <laughs> you need to get with the times. Coordinated outfits are all the rage. Plus, these bags are special. We bought them for our anniversary. Well, okay, that's actually kind of sweet. But now my sweet dumpling is gone. <laughs> and it's all my fault. Oh, God. Okay, okay, just stay calm. We'll go look for her, alright? You sit tight. Oh, poor guy. I'm willing to bet that man knows more about his wife absconding than he's letting on. What is that supposed to mean, Vice? Valentine's is chasing us, man. Damn. Hey there, I'm, uh, looking for a woman carrying a red bag. Are you now? Interesting. Did something happen to her? Is that Laura Bailey? She hasn't been home and her husband's worried. Do you know anything about where she might be? <laughs> Trouble in paradise, is it? Oh, those two never change. Anyway, the short answer is no. She hasn't been around here either. Though come to think of it, she always got on well with the woman over at the tackle shop. Maybe you should try her? Tackle shop, got it. I'll do that. Thanks. Hey, what's the rush? You've got a cute face. Why not sit here and join me for a round? Uh, sorry, ma'am, but I'm not old enough to drink. Nice save. Yeah, yeesh. Okay. Excuse me? Hey there. Do you know a woman with a red bag by any chance? A red bag? Oh, sure. 
Although now that I think about it, I haven't seen her in a while. Hold on, I know this voice actor too. The last time she came around, she mentioned something about leaving town. Cassandra Lee I Morris? It was just idle talk. Leaving town, huh? All right, thanks for your time. I haven't seen that lady with the red bag lately. I hope everything's okay. Yeah, I think that's Cassandra Lee Morris. If she has truly left this charming hamlet, finding her may prove most difficult indeed. I just hope she hasn't been attacked by shades or anything. If anyone was wondering, that's the English voice of Morgana. From Persona, I should probably say that. <laughs> Okay, so what are we looking for here? Not old enough to drink, but has somehow been alive for 1400 years? I don't know, maybe you need to be older in these times. Hmm? What the heck? Hmm. Something about that shade seems rather odd. Yeah, what is its deal? What do we got here? Oh. Hey, look at this. It is identical to the red satchel carried by the man who sent us on this mad quest. Perhaps it belongs to his spouse. Oh no. Mm. Do you think the shades got her? I fear it likely, lad. I sense no other activity in the immediate vicinity. We were too late. Well, this is terrible. What are we supposed to say? Well, considering this is near, I suppose it's the norm at this point. I know. How many side quests have somebody died in already? Not necessarily quests. We had the mom and her lover that were running away. They died. The dog and his owner died. The king from Facade died. However difficult it may be, we've no choice but to tell the man the Now to add this lady to the pile. Ow. Okay, you know what, whatever. Why is everyone dying? Because the world is dying. This is a dying world. I know it doesn't seem like it, but the world is very much dying. Describing dead people as a pile. Morbid. I mean, we already ran into a pile of dead people in the dream, if you think about it. Hey, did you find my sweet dumpling? Yeah, how about that? We didn't, but we got this off a of shade. Oh no, this, this is hers. I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> That's messed up. <laughs> That's really messed up. Jasmine. <laughs> <laughs> Your sweet dumpling has expired. <laughs> that's so bad. <laughs> that's, that's so bad. <laughs> oh, that's so bad. <laughs> so our fears were correct. Oh, God. How could this happen to her? <laughs> This is all my fault. It's okay. Why is this hit? If I may, my good man, why did your wife leave home in the first place? It's because... Because I... I think we should give him some time to himself, Vice. Okay. Huh? The dumpling is back on the menu, baby! S dumpling, you're not dead! What in the world are you talking about? Oh, oh, you found my bag. Thank you so much. I can't believe I went and dropped it like that. <laughs> I looked in chat and somebody said, Oh, thank God, something, fi something good, finally, for once. 
This is such a relief. <sighs> okay, seriously. What's going on? Five minutes later. I see. So, he found a shade with my bag and assumed I'd been attacked and killed? I'm just glad you're safe, Dumpling. But I'm also so sorry. This is all my fault. Oh, if I didn't eat that apple you were saving. Oh, God, I'm such an idiot. This was over an apple? An apple? Listen, I promise I'll never eat anything of yours again. You just promise never to run away from home again, okay? Run away? Have you lost your mind? I just went to visit my parents. Huh? Huh? <laughs> I told you about this. Going to see my family, gone for a week. <laughs> Remember? Ugh, are you serious right now? Why don't you ever listen to me? Um... Lad, my brilliant intuition suggests we should beat a hasty retreat from these two with all speed. I feel like I'm about to be in the middle of a... some relationship drama and I really want to dip. But I am very nosy. Didn't listen to me, and you ate my apple. Ugh, you are the absolute worst. What? Oh, like you're some perfect angel. What? You didn't even care enough about our anniversary to hang on to your bag. We just, uh. This tea is delicious. You, kid. I'm right about this, yeah? If anyone's wrong here, it's my wife, right? How about you leave me out of this? Wait, you're asking me? What? They're both in the wrong! You shouldn't have lost your bag and you shouldn't have eaten the apple. Is that... Is that impossible of... That impossible of a compromise? Oh no, it's your problem now. I hate it here. I hate it. I guess the first incident would be the apple. Well, you shouldn't have eaten your wife's apple. That's not very nice. But I was hungry, and it was just sitting there. But it's not yours. Look, I'm glad you went looking for my wife and all, but that was low, friend. Low. What? <sighs> Did I cross a line there? <sighs> I hate it here. Besides, it's pretty rich to come after me for an apple when you threw away my entire stamp collection. Ha! You're damn right I did. And I'd do it again. You are nothing but a hoarding slob. <laughs> you there. My husband's in the wrong here, isn't he? What? Uh, pardon, but madam, I... Who's in the wrong here? Honestly, both of them. The both of you are at fault. Now apologize to one another and end this ridiculous display. Big talk for a floating magazine. Jinx, you owe me a soda. I see you finally agree on something. One hour? What? Do you not even understand how frustrating this is, you colossal oaf? This is exactly what I hate about you. Fine, hate me. I'll still sleep like a baby knowing I'm not an unreasonable hag like you. Oh my god, this is getting spicy. Why is Nier still there? I don't know. <laughs> Price, what do I do? You turn on your heel and walk away as fast as your legs can carry you, my good lad. That's it. I have had enough. Instead of belittling me, why don't you get a proper job? Everyone in the neighborhood treats me like dirt, and it's all because of my unemployed slob of a husband. Uh, actually, I have a job now. Yeah, that's why we're here. You're not doing your job. Wait, you what? You're kidding. Why didn't you tell me? <laughs> that's great! What is going on? Well, I sort of wanted it to be a surprise. Oh, you big silly Billy. Well, this calls for a celebration. Come on, I'm going to bake you a nice apple pie. What? Um, oh. <laughs> I have no 
idea what just transpired, but it has utterly exhausted me. You, me, both. Well, looks like they made up, so all's well that ends well? In the course of all that madness, I have forgotten why we even came here in the first place. Yeah, his job. Oh, heck, the canal. We need to ask him about the canal. Hey, you. I can't thank you enough for all your help. Uh, sure, but listen, we need to talk to you about the canal. Uh-huh. All right. That's why you came here in the first place, huh? Well, now that my love life is rolling in clover again, I'd be more than happy to get going on the canal work. Did somebody call him Bakapuru <laughs> Dane? Bakapuru. I like that. Heavens, that was exhausting. Tell me about it. Anyway, let's go give Popola an update. Like the polyglot? I am nowhere close to a polyglot. I can barely speak a single language, let alone several. The couple with the red bags were a strange pair indeed. Indeed. It boggles the mind to think their relationship can persist despite such intense squabbling. Well, they looked pretty happy in the end, at least. Maybe the secret to living a happy life is sharing your feelings. Even when they're sort of mean and weird. <laughs> if you adopt such a strategy, I may leave for groceries one day and never return. <laughs> That's the most dad thing Vice has said so far. Let's see. There should be a... We've got some new items in stock today. Let's see, um, I know I needed wheat for a quest. So I'm gonna buy that. Come back soon. Uh, let's see, quests. Yona's cooking. We got wheat. Where the hell do I find venison? I don't even know what that is. We've got some nice. Berries, long um, ivy, <laughs> sap, and wool. Deer meat. Okay, I guess I gotta go kill some deer then. Where are there deers? I think, I think there's deers by the eastern gate. I had to check on Popola in a second, but let me see if I can find any deer first. Hopefully there's some deer here. I'm fairly sure there should be. I know there's some goats, but I know that there should also be deer. I'm fairly sure at least. Okay. Goats, or ram, whichever. What about here? Nope, okay. Oh, what's over here? Mushroom. Oh, something I can't carry. And no deers. That's unfortunate. I'm just gonna grab this. An iron ore. <laughs> you guys really miss Ivy, don't you? <laughs> do something fun with Ivy one day. Like, I, I want to learn how to sing with that voice, which is really, really hard and have it sound good. But once I once I learn, I want to try doing something uh, fun with it. Okay, so if there's no deers there, are there any in the northern plains, maybe? Maybe... Maybe over to... Okay, so this is the east. That's the north. 
So Southern Plains it is. I'm sorry if I'm going back and forth a lot. I just really want to complete some of these quests. But oh well. If Sunny can spend several hours running around aimlessly in Hyrule and have it be peak, then who says I can do the same? <laughs> Except that this world is not as big as Breath of the Wild, but still. Okay, let's find some deer. That looks like deer. There we go. It's still peak. <laughs> of course, it's sunny. That man knows how to make everything entertaining. I just noticed a super chat that came in during the lover squabble earlier. <laughs> I may not be about drama, but I need to know every detail of what's rolling. <laughs> well, now we do. Now, now we know the problem. They just bicker a lot because he ate an apple. <laughs> we are all very nosy. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had that. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think of times where I've been, like, genuinely nosy and not just doing it for a bit. <sighs> oh. It's another letter from Yona. Hold on. Dear Nier, today was awesome. Popola made this huge cake that was really yummy, and everyone in the village has been wishing me happy birthday. It's fun. I feel like a princess or something. I don't feel sick at all today. In fact, I almost forgot I had this disease. So maybe you can forget about it too. Come back home now? Yona. I'm sorry, Yona. I'm sorry I'm away so much. <laughs> Seven hundred gold. What up? <laughs> I say as I walk I into my sick sister. <laughs> Yay! Okay, hold on. I'm gonna get started right now. Okay, she's gonna cook. Yona, wait. Uh. <laughs> Don't boil it for too long. I feel like this one isn't important. I like if if you cut the meat too big, that's fine. Oversized meat that is still edible is better than smaller meat that is inedible. Be careful not to boil it too long, okay? Come on, I'd never forget that. Okay, let's see. How did she do? I recognize most of the ingredients, but the chunks of meat are so big, I don't think they cooked through. Oh, okay, that's the... Mm. Eat up, okay? Sh sure, Yona. It looks, um, great. Come tomorrow, Yona's not gonna be the only one here who's sick. <laughs> Near. Quest Yona's cooking is complete. Say, next time you go out, could you pick something up for me? Yona's gift? Sure, Yona. What do you need? Um, a melon. A melon? You got it. Okay. Melon. Alright. I wonder what she's gonna use that for. She's trying her best. That's okay. It's the thought that counts. Melon is delicious. Yeah, I haven't had a watermelon in a while. Should probably change that. Watermelons are very refreshing. Uh, I think the store that sells melons is over here. We've got some new items in stock. To uh, Come back but soon. it's right there. It's all over the place. Why are you not selling it? We've got. How are you not selling any melons? What? Okay, let's try Seafront then. 
Have you ever tried a bitter melon? No, I've not had a bitter melon. No suica for you? I don't care. I will find myself a suica if I if I have to go to seafront to get it. The premium ones, I guess. I don't deserve the premium. I'm a paying customer like anyone else. Sorry, sorry. I like watermelon, but I don't like cantaloupe. I'm not a huge fan of cantaloupe either. Watermelon though, yes, absolutely. Care for some Let's see. There we go, melon. Oh, that's expensive. Jesus. Thanks for How am I doing in my drink? Oh, I'm not done with it yet. Mmm. Vroom. Indeed premium wear. Yeah, this was really premium. Holy crap. I wonder what Yona's gonna use it for. Whee! It would be cheaper to grow a melon yourself, but god, I have no idea how the farming system in this game works. I have gotten the achievement where you grow a lunar tier, and I'm gonna tell you, it was not worth it. It was genuine agony, because the farming system in this game works in real time. If you plant seeds, you better water them, and then wait for your in-game clock to pass. That is so tedious. It is immensely tedious. And one of the quests requires you to get seeds for a pink flower. Pink flowers do not bloom. So you gotta cross-pollinate flowers, which is random, so you can grow an entire field of flowers and still have them not cross-pollinate if you are unlucky enough. I got your melon, Yona. Hey. If there's anything else you want, just let me know. Well, since you offered, would you mind getting me a watermelon? Is that not just what I got? A watermelon this time? Sure thing. I'm 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 done running. <laughs> I'm done running food errands. I'll worry about that some other time. Lunar Tier is generally one of the worst achievements I've ever done. The ability to purchase achievements in Automatum seems like a godsend in comparison. Yeah. And don't blame you on that one. Purchasing achievements felt very handy if I didn't feel like doing it. Hanagata. <laughs> so desu ne. <laughs> melon and watermelon are different. I, I am aware. Still, there was watermelons in town. They were not selling them. <laughs> Goodness, it sounds like the canal repairman had quite the problem on his hands. I'm glad everything turned out all right. Thank you so much for your help. Don't mention it. I'm looking forward to seeing how the canal turns out. If you need anything else from us, just say the word. All right, neat. Now what? Hey, wait. Hmm? Huh? I almost forgot. Yona is looking for you. Oh. Huh? She said she needed something from you. Time to go play big brother for a bit, huh? Uh Fine. I guess so. Thanks, Pobla. Time to go be a big brother. <sighs> Do you have to have a certain requirement to be able to buy the watermelons? I don't think so. I think you can buy watermelons in Seafront. If you can't, you can at the very least buy the seeds so you can grow it yourself. I think that's what most people do. They just grow it themselves. Excuse me, pardon me, sorry. Hi, Yona. What do you need? Yay, you're back. Popola said you needed something? Yeah. A favor, actually. Oh. What is it? 
can't help if you don't tell me, sis. Okay, I'm gonna say it. Ready? I'm ready, Yona. I need you to help my friend. Your friend? Yep, I have a friend. And we've been writing each other letters. Oh, she has a pen pal. That's sweet. Seriously? A pen pal? How delightful. So who is this friend? Um, well, he's kind of... He? He? It's a guy? Yes, and he's sick and in a whole lot of trouble. And I know that you and Vicey are the only ones who can help him. Vicey? <laughs> Tell me about this guy. <laughs> Did you hear how he said that? Tell me about this guy. <laughs> Just... Ooh, Nier did not like that. He's being a protective brother. He lives in this really big house down south, and he's super nice, and he's my friend. So you have to help him, please. Yona, listen. Please. Great. Now what do I do? You do what any other brother would do in this instance. You try to resist your sister's pleas until eventually you will just fold like everyone else. Can't say no to her. Fine. I'll see what I can do. Yay! Thank you! Uh, fine. I guess we'll go help out my little sister's boyfriend. Great. Yona's got a boyfriend. Is something amiss, Matt? Your voice is trembling. No, it isn't. Shut up! <laughs> They're so cute. Uh, they really are like a married couple. <laughs> okay, so south. The southern gate is over here. We gotta go give her BF the talk. We, we gotta... We gotta see if the BF passes the vibe check. Will we, as the big brother, give him our blessings? Or am I gonna have to make an example out of him? <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> well, you seem... Jesus. Does Aiki have any siblings? Yes, I have two of them. How can these creatures let us dispatch them without complaint? And Jeez. what would make them appear in this area in the first place? Ah, oh, dang it. it Out of my way. Oh, oh, ow. Ow. Ow, that hurt. Leave me be. Ooh, that was close. Ow, ow, ow. Ooh, that's not good health sound. Why am I getting my my crap rocked so bad? Come on, shield breaker. There we go. Okay, sure. Strength drop, why not? Whoa, okay, okay. Ah, I, I guarded though. Ow, that hurt. I'm trying to parry as much as I can. Ow. How did he hit me like that? I guarded! I swear I guarded! There we go. Oh, he broke my guard. Uh, strength capsule? Why not? I only have one of those anyways. Ow! Ow! Nice. 
Siblings, older, younger, both. I'm a middle child. That's it. All right. Here we go. Let's get the boar. And off we go. Hope nobody is afraid of spiders. Yucky. Oh. Everything just sort of lost its color. We have been waiting for you, sirs. Please, right this way. Hmm. Well, that looks ominous. Time for another video game reference. Hmm. Now where... Wh what is what are these cameras in this abandoned mansion or look abandoned looking mansion all about? What in the Resident Evil? Oh, just to wait. Wait until I keep walking down this hallway. Ta-da! Fixed camera angles. Wait here. It is Resident Evil, yeah. Waiting's a bitch. <laughs> Just let me know if any shades show up, okay? Yeah, you got it. I hate spiders. I almost dropped my phone on my face when I saw that spider. You might want to be a little bit on guard. There is a few spiders in this area. Just a heads up. God, this place seems really weird. Everything seems off. It's kind of creepy. Okay, there's a kitchen here. Nothing here. Ugh, my chair is getting uncomfy. There's a keyhole marked darkness here. I do not like this one bit. What's the matter, Vice? Scared? Vice getting scared because of this place is kind of funny. Also, there's a keyhole here <laughs> marked darkness. <clears throat> Did somebody mention the door to darkness? Let's see. There's nothing here. It's so empty. Uh, perhaps we should head back, yes? Hmm. You okay, Vice? I swear I just heard footsteps. There's a keyhole marked moon here. How's my drink doing? Almost done with it. Hmm. Okay, so that's the darkness door. Okay, so maybe this wasn't it. Oh. Mm, where where's the guy? Is it over here? Here you go. Hey, where'd Kaine go? Uh-oh. I knew this was a terrible idea. Haunted manners and the like. Why does no one ever listen to me? I'm sorry. Well then, where do we head? Hey, there he is! We have been waiting for you.
Are these doors gonna be open now? What's this? The picture has changed. Oh yeah, you're right. Huh. I thought it was in real life, no? <laughs> I was trying to draw attention to who the voice actor was that did that background voice. Look at this. What the heck? Oh, it looks like it's in pain. It's kind of scary. Yes. Come now. Brave faces. Uh, onward and upward, eh? <laughs> Poor Vice. He's going through it. What do we got over here? Hello? What's this? Moon key. Perfect. The BGM is not helping, but banging. <laughs> I love this BGM. Vice sounds cute. His voice is so nice. <laughs> yeah. It's precious when he is so scared. Okay, the moon key was over here, right? Shades. Whoa! What foul hole did they crawl from? Ooh, the music is going hard now. Oh, never mind. We exited battle. No more. <laughs> no more music. Star. We need a star key. There's somebody on my map. Oh, that's a spider. <laughs> Nemesis voice. Stars. <laughs> You're a male. Young. Not even 20. It's the boy! It's the boy! You figured that out from my footsteps? It's not hard, once you know how. Then I suppose I should tell you about my friend Vice. I... I only heard one set of footsteps. Grimoire Vice does not strut about like a common land mammal. <laughs> but enough of this it's introductory so cute. chatter. Let us hear your tale. My name is Emil. I'm the master of this manor. Oh. So you're the one who sent the letters? Letters? What are you talking about? Wait, it wasn't you? Of course you don't know. Such a thing would be far too simple. No, stay back. Huh? Huh? I'm sorry. It's my eyes. Anything I look at gets turned to stone. Suddenly, this whole place being in black and white makes a lot more sense. And, uh, so do the statues in the courtyard. That's why I live with this blindfold. What a remarkable skill. I've never heard of such a thing. Anyway, I suppose my butler might know more about the letters you received. This key here can unlock any door in the manor. So if you'd like my assistance... Oh, a master key. Thank you. Yes, please. So who wrote the letters? That's a good question. No, please. Don't trouble yourself. We can get around on our own. Oh, right. Sure. Well, here's the key then. The butler's quarters are at the far end of the manor. Let me at least give you a map. It's a big place, and I don't want you to get lost. Oh, that's so kind of you. Thank you, Emil. I want to hug him. I want to hug him too. Leave her. That woman is capable enough on her own. Jeez, remind me to never get on your bad side. 
I adopt him. He's mine now. I shall never be sad again. <laughs> or he shall never be sad again. Is he a good boy? Emil is the goodest boy that has ever good. Emil is such a good boy. Oh, there you are. What's that? A butler, or at least a remarkable likeness of one. What? I knew this was a trap. Curse my brilliant intuition. What do you mean? Huh? Oh, what the heck is that all about? Hello? Nothing? Okay. Ooh. Shades. Oh, there we go. That parry just now was complete accident. That scared the heck out of me. Oh, spiders. Ow. Hopefully I don't get poisoned. What do we got in here? Well, that's just splendid, isn't it? It's very dark in here. Nothing else? Okay. It's wine. I don't know. Last time we thought something was wine, it was not. Emil, best boy, so much fun that I got a kitten last year and named him Emil. Emil is a good name. Light key. Oh, whoopsie daisy. Ow. I'm desperately trying to parry. It is not working. That is a magic drop. I didn't mean to use that. I need healing items. This music is so sorrowful. And for good reason. Emil is such a beautiful name. Oh, it's this room. Emil is a beautiful name. I like it a lot. If I ever have a pet or something, I think I think Emil would be a good name for it. Well, is that another one? Hmm. What is your deal? <laughs> it moves. What's going on here? Sir? What is this? Oh, this is my butler. He helps me out around the manor. Okay. He's a good man at heart, but a bit inflexible. Almost like a statue. You're telling me. Yes, and I do apologize for that, Master Emil. <laughs> I doubt he's even human. We're here because my sister received some letters from this manor. Hmm, yes. I wrote those letters. Excuse me? Please forgive my impertinence. Uh... I'm gonna have to ask you not to do that. As you may know, Master Emil, deeply pained by his eyes, has shut himself away from the world. He suffers greatly behind that blindfold, and I feel it is my duty to help however I can. I heard tale of the exploits of an emerging hero, so I sent a letter to you under Master Emil's name. But I received a response from one Miss Yona instead. Okay. Wait, so Yona's pen pal is you? It is, sir. My letters merely requested that you come to the manor. I meant no ill intent. I'll be the judge of that. I want to see what you said. I believe Yona saw the exchange somewhat differently. Yeah, sounds like she misunderstood the situation. Okay, okay that's, a, that's a little bit better still. Regardless, I am quite pleased to see you here. Long have I dreamed of the day we might be able to do something about Master Emil's eyes. I see. Yes, well, I am afraid we, or at least this lad beside me, is neither hero nor physician, so if you'll excuse us... Vice want to get out of here so badly. <laughs> Please, we're so close. The cure for Master Emil's condition is located in this very manner. 
then why don't you just go get it? Alas, the location of the cure has become a den for those abominable shades, and I lack the skill to combat them. Ah. I beg of you, defeat the shades and restore Master Emil's sight. You know this is an impossible task. Why would you ask it of our guests? Well, you've no more time to waste, so... It's okay. We'll do it. We will? See here, lad. This is no time to play the hero. People need to look out for each other, Vice. And plus, we have to find Kaine anyway. Oh, right, Kaine. I forgot. Crap, I hope she's okay. A thousand thank yous. I owe you a debt that can never be repaid. Okay, we got the darkness key. I'm really sorry for all the trouble. It's My all... butler cares so much for me, but for him to make such outlandish requests... That's all right, Emil. Don't worry about it. Okay. Where was the darkness door now again? It was... But hey, at least I can petrify your enemies. That's gotta be some help, right? Yeah, sure. Imari-san, spachato, arigatou gozaimasu. Thank you. Right here if you need me. Maybe my eyes can be useful for once. Kind is easy to find. Just follow the swearing. You're not incorrect. Ow! Wow! 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 Emil, I would really appreciate some help. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Woo, woo, woo. <sighs> I'm gonna need some heals. Kinda stat. I really want to find some boxes right about now. Don't die now. I'm trying. Oh, I'm trying. I'm trying. Please, Emil. Emil. <laughs> Emil. Emil. I'm. I'm asking you. I'm asking you nicely. Emil. 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 <laughs> Did it work? Oh, nice. Any else? Anyone else? Any more? <gasps> A box. Please. Please have- Oh, have some heals in it! Have some heals! Oh, thank you. Oh, Emil is so strong. A weapon! Normally I would be overjoyed by that, but I really need some heals! It's awfully empty in here. Surely I hope- Oh, Emil, you scared the crap out of me. What the heck? Don't do that. God, I've never seen him do that. It's locked. What do you mean it's locked? What do you mean it's locked? No! I'm just gonna rely on Emil. Emil's gonna have to carry me through this entire thing. Savatara <laughs> Taiho! Oh my god! Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away, go away, please, please. Save me, Emil. Save me, petrification boy. Save me. Go away, go away. Until I have some heals, I do not want anybody near me. Oh god, there's more, there's more! What do you mean? Oh, no, I'm dead. <laughs> that was awful. How long ago did I save? How long ago did I save? Am I in Nier's village? Oh, thank god! Oh! Thank you for... Thank you, video game, for having mercy on my soul. Thank you for having mercy on my soul. I'm just gonna... 
Uh, Dark Lands? No, 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 no. I'm gonna have to use Dark Execution on this one. Immediately, I'm doing much better. I hate that I don't have sprinting speed in this area. I wait with you. Now, wasn't that a lot easier when I did wasn't panicking the entire time? That one health run was insane. <laughs> Intense, though. Why is there a save station here? Also, are you telling me that I was this close to a save station that would have healed me to full health, and I decided to go into the room instead? I hate everything. That was such an unnecessary death. This is it. We should find the cure somewhere nearby. Bah, I do not like anything about this place. Hmm? Whoa! Another book? Is this the one? The one from the legend? Did we find it? Hmm. This book's kind of like you, Vice. Oh, aren't we clever? Uh, I'm gonna bring back the lance. As if any mere tome could compare to the wonderment that is Grimoire Vice. Petrification is a fearsome power indeed. Oh, yeah, it came in handy quite a bit. Ow! Of this infernal book are sharp as knives. Guess you never learned that trick, huh? <laughs> I like that even in the middle of battle, There's they're no still taking this. pot shots at each other. Oh god. Leave those pages. Out of this. Get him away from me. Oh, you reflect magic now, do you? Ow. Ow. Oh god. Whoa! Oh my god, Emil! Emil is petrifying the pages! Let's go! Best boy! Oh, nice. Hit them with the stabby stab. Oh, okay. We're not done. We're not done. Oh, no. I can't petrify it. Hmm? Kinda? Oh, there you are. I was wondering. Jesus, not in front of the kid. He's too busy vomiting filth disguised as language. 
Oh crap. Oh! And besides, we'd never let you do that. Would you all please just shut the hell up? What? I'm just saying, if you bastards want to have a goddamn civilized discussion on the merits of bravery and sacrifice, we can do it later. What she said. I'm 100% encouraging us. <laughs> have we truly sunk to motivational speeches from a woman in her undergarments? Vice? I guess so. Not near agreeing with it. Come on, go down already. Now. There it is. Whew. Huh. Poof. Strangely anticlimactic. Vice, this is it. I wonder if you can actually Research translate the angelic on that. Well, well. Hmm. Handy. Oh, oh, obtained a sealed verse. Dark whirl whirl whirlwind. That's hard to say. This one is pretty handy. Oh no. This passage is written in some kind of code. We went through all this trouble to find it. And now... Oh look, Jeeves is back. Please allow me to handle this, Master Emil. What's wrong with your face? I shall put all of my efforts into deconstructing this cipher. No matter how long it takes, I will not fail. Sebastian... <laughs> Freaking Sebastian, are you serious? <laughs> oh, they did that on purpose. They absolutely did that on purpose. Ah, so the servant has a name after all. Oh, God. Every freaking butler, I swear. Emil, listen to me. What is it, Kaine? Your eyes are not a sin. Don't ever be ashamed of them. They're a vital part of you. Do you understand? Ooh, the shade part of her. What's this? A shade? How did you... This arm is an accursed weapon. I thought I would only need it until I had earned my revenge. Once that happened... <laughs> I figured it was all over. There's a reason I'm alive, that my arm is alive. And there's a reason for your eyes, too. Kaine! But listen, if this shade should ever... What she told him. Kaine. I promise I'll never give up, Kaine. But you can't give up either. Well, we're off. All right. Hey, so Yona's sick, and she doesn't get out much. Do you think you might be able to send her more letters when you have the time? I would be delighted, sir. As long as it's just something that's meant to cheer her up, I guess it's okay. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for everything. Take care, Emil. I hope your eyes get better soon. 
Sealed versus collected. I saw you exchange some words with that Emil out of here. Hopefully it was nothing inappropriate for a young man of his age. Speak the truth, Hussey. Book? Shut up. Yeah, calm down, Vice. We've got our hands on all the sealed verses now. All that remains is to find this grimoire noir. You mean the previous thing wasn't it? Finally save Yona. All right. Sealed verses. Let's just find grimoire noir and we can save Yona. No, that was Grimoire Rogue. Play along. This is for the people that haven't seen this before. <laughs> it's already eight hours? Really? It doesn't feel like it. I'm chilling. I could go for another eight. Oh. Why the cutscene? You and I still waiting for a watermelon? Oh yeah, you're right. Twenty four hour stream when? Uh, I don't know if I can. That's a lot to ask of me. Longest stream? I don't know. I have a hard time thinking that I can beat my Persona 5 finale. And that was hard, by the way. Doing the Persona 5 finale, that took a lot out of me. <laughs> oh, nice brother. It won't be much longer, I promise. I finally collected all of the sealed verses. Now, I just need to find Grimoire Noir. It sounds dangerous. Will you be okay? Of course I will. Is this gonna make me better? Is my cough going to go away? Definitely. Yona? You... You're... You're not gonna hate me because of this, are you? What? No. What are you talking about? It's just... I... I don't want you to hate me because of this terrible disease. Yona, I could never hate you. <sighs> I'm gonna go see if Popola has more medicine. Hmm. I get the feeling, though. She feels like she's a burden to her brother. It's very easy sometimes when you're in that position to feel like you're a bur burden to the people around you. But more often than not, the people around you are more than happy to do anything they can to make those that they care about more comfortable. Yona's looking weaker and weaker every day. Yes, but do not lose heart. You are the girl's last remaining hope. Hmm. I guess I go to Popola now? Yeah, seems like it. Eight hours again? Yeah, it's a lot easier in this game because almost everything is voice acted. In Danganronpa, I have to do the voices myself a lot. Except for the trials, so... That takes a little bit more out of me. Right now, I am chilling. I... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> my phone went off. Hopefully you didn't hear my Megalovania ringtone. <laughs> but yeah, I'm... I'm fine. I have no problems at all taking this easy. Also, I'm curious, what is behind this door? What is the purpose of this place? Beats me. Maybe it's Popola's hobby corner. Hmm. What's that? It resembles the shade we saw in the lost shrine. 
we saw this cube back in the Baron Temple. Perhaps the Prince of Facade gave it to Popola as a gift? I don't know, that's kind of doubtful. Look, Vice, somebody made a copy of you. Nonsense. I am nowhere near this filthy. <laughs> it's that lizard thing we fought in the airy. Who would make a figure of that anyway? And what is it doing here? Figure collector, I see. I guess so. But the question is, how do you know about some of these? And what are they doing here? Or is am I just supposed to accept this as video game logic? It's a sculpted leaf. Um, right? Oh, the force of myth, right? This is the first sane thing I have seen in this room. This is from the junk heap. For a decoration, it's certainly in poor taste. Hmm. Oh well. I feel like it's the latter. Well, if you say so. Hello there. Popola, Yona's cough is getting worse. Oh, that's not good. Any chance you could give me some more medicine? Please? The thing is, I actually just ran out. I hate to ask this, but can you get me some vapor moss? Vapor moss? You'll find it growing near the southern gate. Vapor moss, huh? We'll be right back. Southern gate. Okay. No problem. Let's get some vapor moss. Of course she's out. Uh, it happens. I've lost count over how many times I'm out of groceries. <laughs> so I'm really no better. I'm not one to pass judgment. <laughs> we get it, you vape. <laughs> I don't think vaping is a thing in, in this universe. Actually, I feel like vapes are slowly going out of style. I feel like I see them less and less these days. Or maybe that's just in my area. Okay, where's the vapor moss? Is this it? Yep, there we go. Vapor moss. Emil? Emil? What the? Hey, buddy, what's up? Oh, gosh. What is it? What happened? Hurry. Emil! Uh-oh. Emil? He doesn't seem to be sick. I think it's just fatigue. I can't imagine how hard it must have been to run all this way without sight. Oh yeah, that's true. He had to run all this way without seeing. <gasps> Right, Emil? I can see it. Hey, just take it easy, okay? The air. It's vibrating. I can feel it behind my eyes. So much pressure. Oh, God, there's so many of them. Get out. Get out of the village. The shades are coming. Huh? Oh, crap. Sounds like they're already here. Come on, let's go. How close are they? Did they already make it here? Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, the villagers. World Purification Commission report. What the heck? Like this? Hmm? Oh, God. Damn it! It's not gonna hold! Oh, that's not good! The shades are attacking! Okay, we gotta hurry. Oh my god, I wish I ran faster. Devila? The hell's going on? No time. Get everyone into the library. Please, make sure Yona's safe. 
Don't worry. I'll grab you. Just don't get yourself killed, all right? I won't. Now go, Devola. Hurry! We have to stop them before they destroy the village! Dispatch these smaller ones as fast as you can. I'll kill every last one of you! You wimps are hardly worthy of our steel. Come on! Come on! Bring everything you got! Pathetic. Even in death, they disgust me. Jesus, Vice. Ow. I won't let any of you pass me. Run. How did you Get block that? Here. I gotta ki take care of the mage. Those bullets are way too annoying. Hurry! Hurry! Burn the shades down. Get I'm trying! Oh my god! Right, this guy. I believe this one's called Jack of Hearts. More like jerk, <laughs> jerk of hearts. Hey yo! God, what is that brute? I don't know. We gotta take it down. Ooh, okay. Okay, at least that da damage seems to be on the table for it. Oh, Find ow! An for your attack. I'm working on it. Excuse me, pardon me. Sorry. Could you break your guard, please? Thank you. I'm just going to have to go ham on the magic, I guess. Oh, okay. The arms are vulnerable when it attacks. Does that count? Yes, it does. Time for a little hands-on experience. Hi, yeah. Grabby hands. Oh, let's go. <laughs> well, okay, never mind. Uh, that victory was short lived. Okay, that's not good. I think I need to run. I think I should run. Running seems like a good idea. Shade. How will we even know if our attacks are working? We'll out of the way. Keep hitting it until we find out. We can climb up from here. What is this guy, a Namekian? That's how tall he is, then that would make him a super Namekian. But I can't help but notice the distinct lack of green. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Ow! Uh... Oh, a strength capsule. Exactly what I needed. Come on. So then fire some magic into its mouth. I'm trying. I'm trying. Ow! Ooh, that's decent damage, though. <gasps> oh, what? Where am I? I washed up on the shore. Are you all right, lad? Yeah, I'm okay. You have lost health. You must be more careful. Climb as fast as you can. I'm trying. I should probably heal. Ooh. I would really appreciate if you got out of the way. 
Oh, I fell down again. Ah! There you go. Okay, got another strength drop. Not too bad. Okay. Ooh! Come on, let this be enough! Yes! Oh crap! Never mind, we're following. Like hell it is. That doesn't look good. Not at all. We can't let it get to the library, no matter what. Do I have any defense drops? Yes, I do. Come on, near. Put that blade to some good use. Like that. That'll do it. Wall Maria destroyed. Singeki no Kyoji. It's not exactly the same. Come on. Ooh, nice punch. Ooh, and the uppercut, too. This isn't working. Why are you... So what do we do? Why are the voices so loud all of a sudden? Nice, Kaine. You guys having a good time? You actually uh, came into kinda. the village. We still not done with you? Underestimate us at your own peril, fiend. Keep hitting it. At some point, it's got to start working. Is she trying to raise our morale, or is she honestly that insane? Doesn't Either one works for me? Let's go. I was about to say it doesn't really matter now, does it? It's heading toward the library. No, that's where Yona is. We just gotta be fast enough. What? Looks like you've learned how to swing that thing. Thank you. You're almost there. Keep pushing. That'll do it, I think. I gotta climb this thing. You really know how to put up a fight, kind of. Come on, come on, come on. Let's target the stupid face. Come on, keep pushing it. Come on, Vice. I'm counting on you here. You stubborn son of a bitch. Vice? Vice, why are you not doing damage? Oh, there it is. <sighs> oh, that's so sick. Whoo! Is that enough? Come on, make these spears count. Yeah. Nice. Ooh. I 
don't like how slimy it sounds. Oh, is that screen? Oh, no. Shades in the library. Yona! Come on, come on, hurry, 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 hurry! Oh god! Emil! Emil, are you okay? I can't keep fighting like this. I have to. There's no other choice. Otherwise, why did I even come here? Get out of here, Emil! No! I won't abandon these people now. You told me once that my eyes had value and that I shouldn't be ashamed of them. You told me that even a life like mine had purpose. Aww. So I won't just sit around and let you fight while I stay behind. Emil. Just don't die on me. I won't, Kaine. Let's take care of these shit hogs. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> okay. Somebody has been learning from the wrong person, but you know what? I'll let it slide. Oh my god, it's so triumphant! The three of us! The, the four with Vice! We got this! You are not done yet? Ah! Emil! Emil! Is there no way to kill this infernal thing? All right. Battle in the library it is! Come on, get the things. Near, hit the things. Hit the targets. There you go. Ooh, one more hit. One more hit. Hit the thing. Hit the thing, Near. I believe in you. There you go. Two left. One left. There it is. Perhaps we could chase it to the basement and seal it there. Those walls are thick rock. I doubt even this beast could break them. If you say so. I love basements. Ow, ow. Oh, God. He's doing the speed. Come on, come on, come on. Just a bit more. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Ow. Do something else, will you? Oh, he's done, he's done. Got him. Do it. Knock it down the basement. Oh, is this not enough? Shit. It's healing too quickly. Please tell me you have an idea. Now what? Oh, great. Do I gotta do all of them again? Okay, it's just one. Away from me. Away from me, please. Okay, I have a chance now. Strength to drop. Ow. One left. Come on. 
Got him. Do it. Knock it down the basement. Yeah, but I'm waiting for a certain thing to appear. There we go. Yikes. Down you go. Woo! Give me the key! Right! No! Dear God. <laughs> Yoda! What in the heck is happening? They're kneeling? Is that the leader of these creatures? Hold on a second. This sucks. What's happening? Finally. Where am I? It's been a long time, Grimoire Vice. Who are you? What is this place? I am Grimoire Noir. I am you. What? Do you not remember, Grimoire Vice? We too serve a higher purpose. Enough lies! Stay back! Why do you try to suppress the memory? Do you fear hurting someone close to you? Preposterous! Your denial is preposterous! We are mere books created to serve the Shadow Lord. Shadow you Lord? You have no right to forsake him. <laughs> the Shadow Lord? Do you remember our ultimate goal? Our ultimate goal? White and black shall fuse to one and set free shades to the world. Fuse? Us? No, I cannot. I will not. I will never! Your chance encounter with this boy. Your collection of the sealed verses. It was all set in motion by the Shadow Lord himself. No. We did mention that it felt Lies. like somebody was guiding us. Also, welcome to a game where two books are arguing the with each other. It's come for us to create a new and perfect world. <laughs> we shall become as one. <laughs> Become one. Vice, you dumbass. Kind Here we go. <laughs> Start making sense, you rotten book, or you're gonna be sorry. Maybe I'll rip your pages out one by one, or maybe I'll put you in the goddamn furnace. How can someone with such a big, smart brain get hypnotized like a little bitch, huh? Oh, Shadow Lord, I love you, Shadow Lord. Come over here and give Vice a big, sloppy kiss, Shadow Lord. Now pull your head out of your goddamn ass and start fucking helping us! 
<laughs> Let's freaking go. I am one with the shadow. Huh? Bitch. <laughs> the Grimoires exist to create in this world a new and just paradise. We must unite. The world demands it. Paradise. Yes, and we are so close to realizing it. Please don't go, Vice. Emil. Who's there? It's okay. I'll understand. I'll understand if you forget us. But I promise I won't forget you. Emil. I'll remember you. No matter what. I'll keep the memory of Grimoire Vice alive forever. And that's that's not all I'll do. You hear me? Chase you till the end of time, and I'll bring you back to us. Oh. So please, please, please come back. Damn it! We need to stop him. If we don't do something, that black book will absorb vice. Black, wise, black. Yes, now we shall unite in common purpose. Come on, Vice! And the world can finally bear witness to our true power. You got this, Vice, I believe. Vice! Vice! Right. Come on. Come on, voice! I believe! <laughs> Are we good? For the last time, my name is Grimoire Vice, and it is not to be abbreviated. Yes, sir. Vice! Vice! Good to see you, Kaine. Although I don't think anyone has ever accused me of being a little bitch before. <laughs> and you, we meet again. Vice, you okay? I believe I could ask you the same question right now. Impossible. We must unite. We must become as one. I don't like you. Ooh. And I want nothing to do with you. Besides, I have my companions. You're back. Of course, they're weak and they whine when I leave. Right. It's almost too much trouble. But they are my friends. I shall fight by their side. Now and forever. Right. Yeah! <laughs> oh, banger. Banger incoming. All your magical powers have been taken away? Damn you. Our true memories are still there. How dare you ignore them? Perhaps you should have scribbled them. I need you to mind. listen closely to the background music. Let us start by dispatching the nearby distractions. <laughs> Can't use my magic. Ooh, that was close. The fiend has stolen the sealed verses. We're just gonna have to give him a good old walloping. I'll get them back, Vice. Ooh, ouch. Take more than that to make us <laughs> He's hyping me up so much. I'm a happy boy right now. I love this game so much. Oh, 
Oh, he's still running. And I can't shoot either. I guess I just gotta fight these guys. What's that? Dark Blast? Nice! Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Don't care. Don't care. Give me that sealed verse back. Okay, what do we get now? Dark hand? Works for me! Yes! Dark phantasm? I dare you to... Put out some more pages. See what happens. Nice! Dark Whirlwind? Don't mind if I do. Dark Gluttony? Dark Wall? Dark execution. We have reclaimed my powers. Good heavens, the roof is about to collapse. Oh, that's lovely. I should swap my magic. Uh, Lance, there we go. Okay. Here it comes. Stay back. Ooh. I can't run now. Who cares about the ceiling? Finish this quickly. Oh, he's gonna charge me any second, isn't he? Maybe, maybe. Oh, there it is. That's it. Stand in time. Get up! No! If my sister. No matter how things unfold, it all returns to us. All of it. Yona! Yona! You're still standing? Yona! Are you okay? Yona. Is this blood? The fight's over. And I think we are lost. We? I never look forward to this. Sorry, guys. I think this is it. For me, too. Kaine, no! Oh, quit crying. Look, 
Before I go, we need to take care of this guy. Emil? Y yeah I want you to... <sighs> I want you to petrify me. You can use me to keep this thing locked away down there. No! I can't! Kaine! Stop! He's right! It's suicide! You can't do it! Your powers exist to protect others, right? <laughs> Kaine! Just do it, Emil. But... If you don't, it's gonna break down this fucking door! I... I don't know what to do! There isn't much of a choice here, obviously. The fact that they still make you do it, though, it's so cruel. Oh, you have lovely eyes. Kind of. No more crying, okay? <laughs> Grow strong. <laughs> Never lose hope. Vice. Spare me the goodbye, hussy. I imagine it will take more than this to kill you. <laughs> I doubt it. And I believe that is a good place to stop. We'll pick it up tomorrow. Uh, how long was that? Closing in on nine hours. Not too bad. Let's go back to somewhere a little bit more familiar, shall we? Hi. Whoa. <laughs> I haven't set up this scene. Look at me. I was too eager to get into the game that I completely forgot about that. Give me one second. Let me take off the cosplay as well. Let me just go off screen for a little second. There we go. Like so. Oh, what? <laughs> That's still there. Don't worry about it. There we go. Okay. There we go. Here. <laughs> like so. Okay. Ike is back. Hello. Hi, everybody. <laughs> How's it going? Finally! Finally, we're playing Nier, and it feels so good. I'm sobbing. Pain, just pain. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I didn't mean to leave you guys, like, writhing in misery. That wasn't the idea at all, but Nier just is that kind of game. Myomi, you would stop there. I mean, it's a good point. It's the end of Act 1. Then we're going into Act 2 after that. Let's just be in denial for now. It's okay. <laughs> I fell asleep two times during the stream. I'm just lost. Don't worry about it. It was a long stream. I don't blame you if you <laughs> if you fell asleep. Moki to Kurihiro no Minasan, arigatou gozaimasu. The day has come! Ike's playthrough of Nier Replicant! I got super hyped when I saw this week's schedule. Ah, uh, the E and Dub is amazing too. Looking forward to the rest of the story. Thank you! Yeah, I really, really love the English dub for Nier. Nier is so, so good. 
<laughs> I can't Quildren Therapy Fund. Thank you. <laughs> You're the typical writer stopping at the most interesting. You gotta keep him hooked. You gotta keep him hooked. This is only Act 1? Yep. This is Act 1. Is there an order to playing these games? Yes and no. There is a order that I recommend personally, but it is kind of convoluted and really doesn't matter. How many acts? Arguably two. Actually, like three and a half. Hmm. Do you fear tired? I'm, I'm gonna be honest, not really. I don't even feel hungry. Yokotaro's writing does have a recommended order to make sin, but doesn't matter too much. Yeah, it doesn't really matter too much. Um, Like, if you really want to go, like, chronologically, you would have to start with Drakengard 1. Don't feel forced to do that. It is, number one, really hard to get a hold of. And number two, the game has aged. After that, I recommend playing Near Replicant. And Near Replicant has five eight endings. A, B, C, D, and E. I recommend playing Near Replicant until A, B, C, ending D. Then, step away from Replicant. Play the entirety of Near Automata. Then come back to Replicant and finish ending E. That's how I recommend the mainline series. Uh, how you play the mainline games. If you want to slide in Drakengard, once again, slide in Drakengard 3 after ending D of Replicant, but before Automata. Drakengard 3 is fun. I am glad you think so. What about different endings? Are you planning on showing them all? If I can help it at all, I am going to show every ending up until ending D. I do not want to play ending E before Automata. Is that how you're going to be playing it on stream? I can't play Drakengard, so we're going to have to stick to Nier. I wish I could play Drakengard, but unfortunately I cannot. Time to start hunting Drakengard discs. Hehe, <laughs> I still have mine. I started with Drakengard 3. I don't regret. I don't think Drakengard 3 is a bad starting point, personally. Would you recommend Nier Gestalt? Yes, I do recommend the original Nier as well. It's a little it's more or less the same game, but it is a little different due to Papa Nier being a, the the main character. Do you have automata perms as well? Yes, we do. We have automata perms, no problem. You have the disc? Lucky. Yes, I have physical copies of everything except Nier Automata. Because I missed my chance to snag a black box edition. It was so expensive when it came out, and I was broke. How many Nier ga games are there? Literally, on, on consoles? Two. Three if you count the remake as a separate title. In actuality... Three. There's Near Replicant, there's Near Automata, and then there's Near Reincarnation. I know nothing about Near Reincarnation, so that's why I don't talk about it. I don't know anything about it. Arguably, you can bring Sinnoh Alice into it as well, and I know even less about Sinnoh Alice. Reincarnation shutting, shutting down so, soon? Oh, that sucks. Hmm. Hopefully people, like, write down all the story details so that they don't get lost to the sands of time. Looking forward to it. Ending E and Replicant did throw a wrench into the whole playing order topic, but the experiences themselves are well worth it, the time, in my opinion. I 100% agree. Yeah, the, the ending E really does throw a wrench into it. Trust me, if you're like me that grew up playing the original, got super excited in 2017 when Automata came out and played the crap out of that, and then you played Replicant, without saying anything, wow was that a doozy to getting ending E. That was a doozy and a half. I did not expect that to happen. 
All right, let's read some super chats and I will be on my way. We have been at this for far too long. Well, not too far too long, but a pretty decent amount. Let's see here. Let's enlarge the chat right here. Let's see, starting from the beginning, we have Shigeru. Thank you very much. Pixel Hachi, thank you very much. James, thank you very much. Oh god, I didn't see your initial one. Okay, let's see here. <clears throat> Yorha number one type K, variant E. Codename 1KE or Ike. Support system activated. Communication established. Incoming message playback. Glory to mankind. <laughs> We're not there yet, James. Wait until Automata for that. <laughs> thank you. Anselmo, thank you very much. Uh, hi, handsome. I mean, uh, glad to have a new adventure with you. Who drew this outfit? Thank you so much. You are God himself. <laughs> this outfit was drawn by... Let me actually look that up real quick. I got you. Uno momento, por favor. This outfit was drawn by... I wrote it down. I know I did. It was drawn by Mito. Mito. Mito is the one that drew this outfit. I believe they're in chat, actually. I swear I saw them earlier. Ito-san, imasu ka? Are you still here? I don't blame it if you left. It's been nine hours. Oh, wait, there you are. Hello. Thank you once again for drawing the outfit. Do you have a thumbnail for tomorrow? Uh, I haven't picked one yet, but I am looking at the graphite tag. And uh, there, there's a few things I can pick from. So, very much looking forward to that. Uh, moving on. Uh, Punch, thank you very much. Dukali, thank you very much. Sasmus, thank you very much. It's okay if you didn't have a Valentine's date for Valentine's Day. I didn't have a Groundhog for Groundhog Day. I get, 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 it might just be me, but I, 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 I think that's a little bit of a different ballpark. Just a little bit. One is a day intended for couples. The other one is a day that happens again and again and again and again. <laughs> Let's see. Karoru-chan. Thank you very much. My first super, and it's for you. Thank you. I can't stay because of my cold, but I promise one day I'll give you an Akaspa. See you on next stream. Kanbatte. Thank you. Please take care of yourself. Hopefully your cold gets better soon. K, Thank you very much for the treadmill fund. <laughs> uh, Kizu. Thank you very much. I'm glad. You, I'm very glad to see... Yeah, very glad to see you having fun. English. <laughs> Thank you. Kinyako-san, arigatou gozaimasu. Eh, nihongo ga kikoeta. Ah, eh, fasado no koro kana. Eh, tomoratara chigaimashita. <laughs> Aiki no okage de mata hitotsu steki na game wo shirimashita. Arigatou. Kochira koso arigatou gozaimasu. Thank you for enjoying Nier with me. Eh, Haruka-san, thank you very much again. Hope you're sleeping well. Let's see, Prince Violet, thank you very much. Uh, Chai, thank you very much. Uh, Shizuku-san, arigatou gozaimasu. Masaka, Aiku-kun no Nia haishin ga mirareru nante. Nia daisuki da kara Aiku-kun ga haishin shite kurete ureshii desu. Ganbare no kimochi de muryo supacha dozo. Arigatou gozaimasu. Demo, muryo supacha to wa sonzai shinai desho. Pancake, thank you very much once again. Let's see, just finished a hefty school project. Oh, right, the, the premiere thing. Hope premiere decides to be nicer to you. Let's see. Right, thank you very much. And thank you very much once again for the thumbnail. Use, thank you very much. Hello, Aiki. Thank you for playing Nier. The BGM and the songs are so, so, so good. And the visuals are gorgeous. It's a feast for the eyes and ears. 100% agree. I got healing from your stream once again. Have good times. Oyasumi nasai. Sleep well. James, thank you very much again for that lovely super chat. Kitsu, thank you very much. Before I even played Nier, I learned the Song of the Ancients entirely by memory so I could sing it for my sister, who was already a huge Dragon Nier fan. That's so sweet. Now it's one of my favorite songs to sing. Aw, that's nice. I should really learn Song of the Ancients, even though I don't know how to sing in Chaos language or if there are official uh, phonetic lyrics that I could follow. 
but eh, it is what it is. Let's see, moving on. Hey, Axla, thank you very much. Hi, Ike. Just wanted to say thank you for streaming today. It's giving me so much comfort. Love you always. Thank you. James, thank you very much once again. Oh, I think I missed this one. Okay, let's see. What do we got? With all due respect, sir, but questioning a man of his book-like properties is quite insensitive. Alas, such a question is to be left unanswered. My, my apology is good, sir. <laughs> I will be sure not to do that in the future. Spotify has lyrics? Really? For the near soundtrack? Maybe I need to get Spotify. I feel like I'm the only musician under the, under the sun who still doesn't have Spotify premium. I'm one of the few that are actually just kind of like, ah, mu YouTube music is good enough. Mintaka, thank you very much. I think I need Ike Evelyn bedtime story readings to fall asleep to. Your narrator voice is so calming. Thank you. Uh, Ren, thank you very much. Rhea, thank you very much. Yu Yu, thank you very much. Uh, Itzi, thank you very much. Do you see pictures, movie, or comic when you read? I see... I see mainly a movie, but occasionally pictures. I'm I'm much like when I when I read a book, I see I see a movie playing in my head. Like I specifically remember reading a book where there was like a showdown going out on uh, on a bunch of like floating little icebergs, little islands, and I just remember it exactly so vividly how how clearly I pictured it. I could I knew exactly where the protagonist was, I knew where the antagonist was, all that. But sometimes I misinterpret the text a little bit and build the scene incorrectly in my head. So then when I read a line that recontextualizes everything, that tells me exactly where things are, and I'm it turns out that I am incorrect, I I like go, oh crap! And I just re-edit the scene in my head to fix it. I know that sounds kind of strange and maybe doesn't make any sense, but that's basically how it works for me. That's how it goes, exactly. I have those moments. Let's see, Prince Violet again. Thank you very much. Your voice has a very specific color to it, like water. Also, I forgot to say this earlier, but congratulations on 900k hits on Maze. Thank you very much. A water-like voice. I think I'll take that. That sounds very lovely. I I, I feel honored. I w or at least I would feel honored to have my voice be described in that sort of way. Let's see, Aoi-san, arigatougozaimasu. Aiku-kun no koe wa... Hmm... これどう読むかな心地心地心の字発音なんなんでしたっけ心地よいかな心地オッケーありがとうございます教えてくれてありがとう Thank you for the stream. Thank you very much. Kokochi. It's that like a sensation, maybe? Like a feeling? Who knows? ASMR when? I don't know. <laughs> when I managed to get procure a ASMR mic. Means cozy? Really? Okay. Kokochi yoi. Kokochi yoi. Hmm. Kokochi yokte. That's how I would say that. That Aiku-kun's voice is very soft. Do you like it? Do you like it? Can I? Can I? Can I? Super chat, thank you very much. Chloe, thank you very much. Priscat, thank you very much. Yasayan ASMR, thank you very much. Acha, thank you very much. Lenny, thank you very much. Kitsu, thank you very much. Emil, best boy. So much so, in fact, that I got a kitten. Oh, right. This is about the kitten named Emil. Say hi to Emil for me. Himari-san, arigatou gozaimasu. Masu, masu. Eto, Nia, hajimete miru kedo. BGM ga ii si, omushiroi game da ne. Nemui no de, ato wa archive demimasu. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Sleep well. Lenny, thank you very much. Let's see. Thank you. Uh, Asha, thank you very much. Uh, oh, that's Hangul. I do not know how to read Hangul, so I'm gonna look that up on Google one second. Oh, that's images, not translate. Translate. There we go. 
You got that right there. Uh, hoil. Hoil. Hoi. I think. Hoi. Thank you very much. Thank you. Don't cry too much. Oh, God. <laughs> Hangul is so easy to learn. I keep hearing that. I'm and I don't I don't doubt it. I believe that Hangul is easy to learn. It's just that the pronunciation. I am so bad at it. Getting like the the pronunciation right is very much a struggle. Debbie, thank you for the one gifted. That's some kind of you. Toru-san, arigatouございます. <laughs>。So if uh, if you want to see what happens next, tune in uh, tomorrow. Let's see. Uh, Tai, thank you very much. Otsaiki, thanks for the stream. I'm so happy to experience Near Replicant for the first time with you and my quibblings. I'm loving it so far. I'm already looking forward to the next stream. Well, luckily, you don't have to wait very long. It's gonna be tomorrow. Mito, thank you very much for the super chat and for the lovely asset once again. Harumo, thank you very much. Thank you for the stream. Nia, hajimete mita kido, sugoku omushirokute, BGM ga steki na game da to omoimashita. Tsuzuki mo tanushimi, tsuzuki mo tanushimi desu. Otsuaiki, arigatou gozaimasu. Thank you. Minji, thank you very much. Ranhan san, arigatou gozaimasu. Yoko-san, thank you very much as well. If you, uh, if I want to play the Nier series myself after your stream, would you recommend playing in JPVA plus other language sub, Japanese or Chinese? And your story reading time is so good. Uh, I'm, hmm? I'm glad that I listened to it with my headphones. Otsuaiki. Um, you can go either way. Nier has pretty decent English dub. In fact, I, I would say Nier Replicant is easily like... One of my favorite English dubs of all time. Actually, near Gestalt. I think that the performances are a little bit better in Gestalt, but it's the same actors in the remake, Near Replicant, the one that's currently available on Steam. And it's the same people giving almost equally as good performances, so you can't go e wrong with either. For the Japanese dub of M Replicant, it's still pretty good. It's really, really... Like, uh, how, how do you put it? You can't go wrong with either. I just have a preference for... The English, because I really like the actors, and I grew up with it. So, it's a little bit of nostalgia goggles, too. For Automata, once again, really good English effort. I really like the English portrayal of 9S. He does a fantastic job. Plus, uh, with certain re uh, returning characters, they do bring back the same English voice actors from the first game for Automata. So, if you get attached to, th to the English voices, then that might be something you can consider. But, for me, personally... I play Automata in Japanese. I play Near Replicant in English, Automata in Japanese, because the Japanese cast is so good. Oh, it's such a good cast. The JP is so good for Automata. Like, 2B is played by Ishikawa Yui. It's so good. She absolutely nails it. Every audio is good in Nier, regardless of language. Ac accurate. Very, very accurate. So you can't go wrong with either. But those are my preferences. If there are other dubs that I'm not aware of, then uh, maybe go with that. I don't know if there's a Mandari uh, Mandarin or Cantonese dub. So if, if that's the case, then maybe go with that. Who knows? Maybe it's Banger. I haven't heard it. Let's see. Moving on. After that, we have Exploded Aka. Thank you very much. As the first time experiencing Nier play, uh, playthrough, I absolutely understand why you and the Quibblings love this. It must be amazing to listen to the music in a live concert. Otsuaiki, Otsuaiki, and I love Kaine. Yes! More Kaine love. Let's freaking go. I would love to try the JPVA one. Highly recommend it. If you're playing the original release of Nier Replicant or Nier Gestalt in Japanese, um, the person that voices Vice is actually the same person that voices Angelus in Dragon Guard 1. So there's a, 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 a... I believe that the name of the actor is uh, Pita-san. 
and he shows up in close to every single Yokotaro project. He voices Angelus in Dragon Guard 1, he voices Vice in Nier, and he voices Michael, which is a dragon from Dragon Guard 3. So he keeps showing up. He does a great job. I like his voice a lot. I went to a Nier concert this week. It was incredible. Ran out of all the best merch, though. Yeah, I managed to get absolutely zero merch when I went. It went like that. Let's see. There's one more... Uh, one more super chat that I gotta read. Then I'll be on my way. I won't stop stealing you guys' time anymore. I've been doing so for over nine hours already. Let's see what... Let's see...先日アメリカ人の友達がアイクくんがいったのと同じニアのコンサートに行っていました。え、そうなの？友達がニアをいかに素晴らしいゲームか伝えてくれたのですが、私はんこれどう読む？み ミプレイミプレイかなミプレイだったのでアイク君の配信で内容を見ることができてとっても嬉しいです次回も楽しみにしています長時間配信お疲れ様でしたありがとうございますミプレイですミプレイかえミプレイあミプレイ未プレイ未プレイかあ未来の未かなそうオッケーオッケー教えてくれてありがとう未プレイ新しい言葉覚えたオッケー <笑><笑> I think that was all of them All right nine hours I think I need to give myself a little bit of a rest It's very very late <laughs> Okay, thank you all so much for coming. I had an absolute blast, and I will see you guys tomorrow for the continuation. Hopefully, I'll see a lot of familiar faces tuning in, and regardless if it's morning, day, evening, night, I hope that you have a wonderful time, and if you can do one thing for me, then please, be kind to yourself, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Also, Kanata, thank you very much for the super chat. See you! See you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.